This is a present from me to you. Look at your left. What? Well, friends, I look forward to meeting you people again. Hey, everybody. How is it going? It's time for game clearing. Time for revenge yet again. And tonight's revenge is on this game here. Who framed Roger Rabbit for the NES? Published by LJN, but made by Rare. This is a game I used to borrow off my friends a lot. Because weirdly enough, everyone I knew that had an NES had this, except for me. Like, everyone. It was really weird. I don't know why everyone had this. <clears throat> we were all like, when the movie came out, we were all like four. So I just don't know if it was just our parents picked up because they thought, ooh, cartoon, maybe they'll like this or what, but I don't know. 
But either way, I never did beat it as a kid, even though I pieced a decent amount of it together. So let's see if we can get some closure tonight and actually finish it up. <clears throat> um, give me a second. If I sound a little different, it's because my chair has been stolen yet again. So I'm in a different spot, a little lower than the microphone normally is, so it might seem a little off. The one that was an episode of AVGN, my condolences. I mean, LJN games have all appeared on on AVGN, so it's not surprising. Yes, Bagel has stolen my chair again. He has passed out in it. Here, let me see. Let me see if I can get Bagel Cam going again. Because it's rare when he lets me do this, but sometimes he does. But I gotta make sure I don't make too much noise with anything other than my talking, he says as he knocks over his fucking USB hub. Nice. Good job, John. Cam, are you on this feed? He is out. He's just completely out. I mean, if he'll sit still, I'll leave Bagel Cam on, but he tends not to. So here, let me... He's just passed out completely. Now I have to sit really still because this is balanced on my knee right now. So you're going to see my elbow getting in a shot every now and then. Does he like to sleep with his claws out all the time? Sometimes he does. He's doing it right now because the chair is on a slope. So he's like just kind of doing the lock himself into place. All right. It's time. Let's start it. Three lives. Alright, if you are not familiar with the movie, that's entirely fair, but Who Framed Roger Rabbit is about the character Roger Rabbit, who's there running around, and a human detective named Eddie Valiant, who's played by Bob Hoskins. You might know him better as Mario from the Super Mario Brothers movie, the live-action one. The whole point is that they need to figure out who actually framed Roger Rabbit for murder, because I believe, I can't remember the name of the actual character, it was like Mr. Acme or something like that, but the the deed for Toontown goes missing as a result, and the whole story is about trying to get that back, and trying to keep Roger from being killed by Judge Doom, who they assume, because uh, they assume Roger's the one that actually killed Mr. Acme, and then of course, you know, because it's called Who Framed Roger Rabbit, that's not the case. Marvin Acme, that was his name. Wow, um, a lot of you remember that. Weird, okay. Hang on, where's that other wallet? Oop. There we go. So, this is essentially an adventure game. So, we have to get a bunch of items. Pausing does nothing, essentially. The book is much different. Interesting. Okay, I didn't realize there was a book, but fair enough. Wasn't Judge Doom played else by someone else famous? Christopher Lloyd. Christopher Lloyd played Judge Doom. That's how he managed to hit those high notes that he hits at the end of the movie. No, oh, my wall is back. Well, I'm just going to grab more of that. Oh, my wall is back. I'll just grab more of that. Infinite money. The book was more based around comic strips than cartoons you would see in the theaters at the time. Ah. So, there's the overworld, and then there's areas like this. Alright, so I need to switch to... I can open this up with a crowbar. You have four of them. Apparently I need to learn how to aim said crowbar. 
Roger, you're, you're really not. Uh... Can you help me? Go away, you horrid man! It's because I hit her with the crowbar. Did that work? None of those work. That's supposed to open the door. The hell? And the crowbar's not there anymore. Shit. Can you help me? Yes, this building is empty. Okay, nothing I have to worry about here. We're gonna be doing a lot of searching around here at first simply because, oh, I know that there's an actual, like, finite place that things can be, but we're gonna try to play it proper because I know the speed run of this game is less than six minutes. It's stupid short. Is this a childhood revenge or a stream revenge? This is a childhood revenge. Gotta make sure I don't get run over. Can you help me? Yes, this building's empty. Alright, we'll need. We'll buy. Making my life easier at the moment. Can you help me? Yes, this building is. Oh my god. All right, cool. Saving me some trouble. Oh shit, the cops. Oh hey, a wallet. I'm just gonna go ahead and grab that. Oh yeah. And I, I gotta avoid that flower pot. That flower pot can actually kill me. Oh, shit. Ah, oh, the goons. There we go. So any cartoon character can be run over or hurt a bunch, but because Eddie is a real human, uh, he's gotta be very careful. Most of the deaths you'll have in this game are from that. Just Eddie just getting bad luck. Search this garbage can. A fishbone, nice. It's empty. Come on, Eddie, find some more. We need more of those fishbones to deal with cats. Sir, can you help me? Can you help me? Yes, this building. Oh my god, really? Are the buildings actually empty or off? Oh, damn it, the cat got me. And that's a life lost. Can you help me? Sorry, I cannot help you. Uh oh. Okay, so there might be something in here. What about you? Can you help me? Yes, this bill. Oh my god. Seriously? No, they might be right. Do I have to protect Roger? Not really. With some rare exceptions, you do. But for the most part, no. Alright, everyone's telling me this is empty. I'm just gonna trust him at this point. Alright, maroon cartoons. I don't think we can go in here, because this is actually where the murder took place. Try searching this building. Okay, well, there's a problem with that. Oh, wait, no, maybe not. Oh, but there's a cat. Conveniently, we have three fish bones. Enjoy, cat. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get a password. Oh, okay, so I think that's what I need to get into the club that Jessica Rabbit's in. What we really need to find right now is a store. Or we could just find some dynamite. That works too. Thanks, game. That probably means it's empty here now. Yep, now it's empty. All right, cool. Is there dip to avoid? Uh, very end of the game. Otherwise, no. Like, very few things kill Roger. Case in point. Oh, no, I missed. Okay, he can get run over by that car and be perfectly fine. Damn it. Can you help me? Yes, this building's empty. All right, neat, I'm out. 
Is this game long? Um, if we play at a normal pace, probably an hour-ish. We got a brick. Okay. Can you help me? Yes, this building's empty. All right. I'm running out of places to check. The gag factory. Uh-oh. Oh, shit, it's time for a fight. Let me charge up my punch. Get my ass handed to me. Come on. Come on. And wind up my punch a little bit here. And then completely miss, apparently. So if I'm moving, my speed control comes through on my actual charging. And then if I mash the attack button, it gets more powerful. But I have to actually, like, have started with the mashing while I'm moving. It's a bit annoying, but it works. All right, nothing at the gag factory? Does not look like it. Ma'am, is there anything in the gag factory? Empty. Perfect. Ah, oh, crap, 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 crap. Sir, can you help me? Yes, this building. Oh my god. All right. I can't tell this is a good or bad start at this point. Gold men. Nope. Do you that know bird can actually doing? kill Roger. That's one of the few things that can kill him. I don't. Assuming this is the hotel. What? How did we miss the store? We shouldn't shouldn't have missed that. Why a bird? The bird literally picks Roger up by the talons and flies away with him. Roger literally dies just by being carried away by a bird. Is this game randomized at all? Apparently it is a little. I couldn't find official confirmation on how bad it is, but apparently it is bad enough to be notable. Uh, I think that's a flashlight, which we need, but I don't have anything to do with this rat. So we need to hopefully find some cheese. Yes, try searching this building. I have a feeling that's because of the flashlight, but I'm gonna try anyways. Flashlight, nice! Heck yeah, we definitely need those. Would there have any more flashlights? I'm guessing not, because it won't let me search again. Is that a cat cam or a JPEG? That's the actual cat. That's Bagel. That's his butt. And I have no other position to put this other than on my knee. Man, what did you say? Can you help me? Yes, try Oh, still. Come on, more flashlights. Searching. Did we just get really lucky with that one? I'm beginning to think we did. Damn it. Yeah, so there's another set of flashlights there we can get. At least I assume that's flashlight, but we need cheese to get him to go away. Oh, sorry, Roger. While he's flattened, though, I can't move. I have to wait for him to rebound. A detonator? I need that. Ugh, I just really need cheese, apparently. That's what's currently slowing us down. Come on, there's gotta be something. As if it's just a detonator outside, like, it's good that we know where the detonator is. The problem is, we need cheese. Damn it. All right, I'm mad. It's time for the, the thing I remember doing the most in this game. Charging my strength to maximum. 
and is wrecking a dude's face. Can you help me? No, buzz off. Why I oughta? Can you help me? No, buzz off. Yeah, no, Eddie's punch can get really strong. You can punch Roger, too, if you really want. It doesn't matter. Roger doesn't care because he's a cartoon. But he gets, like, good knockback on it. It's a strong punch. All right, let's try in here. It might just be the detonator in this area. That's it. I think we are S-O-L. Yep. We gotta find cheese somewhere. So remember that the detonator is in building 18. I think this one we've already checked. Yep, that's the other one. We also might get lucky and find it in one of the stores if we can find the damn store. There's a store! How do I buy something? Press B when holding the wallet. Reese is asking, where's Bagel? <laughs> oh, is that the cheese? I thought it was the whistle. All right, let's, uh... Would you like a brick? All right, some cheese. How much cheese was that? Three cheese, not bad, for one wallet. All right, what else you got? More cheese, let's, let's just stock up on cheese. Okay, there we go, nine cheese. And we conveniently have a rat outside. Or if we did, it's gone now, because now it's just a cat over there. Can you help me? Sorry, I cannot help you. Okay. Oh, I need that. Oh, no. I put it too far away from the cat. Shit. All right, never mind. I'm just gonna... He missed. I'm just gonna take it. Spring shoes. No limit on this one. Now I can finally jump. We desperately need this ability. I thought there was a way to change what item the stock ah, there is. I'm gonna go and buy some roses. How many do I get out of that? Three roses. Pick up a couple of these. Are there passwords or save points? There are passwords, yes. Oh, is that all you're gonna sell now, roses? That's all you've got now are roses, huh? Damn it. Oh no! Okay, 11. Man, let me get my punch back. Can you help me? No, I'm afraid I can't. Oh, you're just an asshole, all right. Can you help me? Yes, try searching this building. All right, something's here. What do we got? Watch there actually be nothing here. Come on, I need something good. Give me something good. Another flashlight, nice. Okay, so with the flashlight, I remember distinctly that we also need a rattle. So we have to, oh, my infinite wallet's done. Nope, they're still there. Infinite wallet, oh fuck, of course. Come on, come on. Come on, come on. I ain't afraid of you. 
Oh shit, maybe I am now. Yeah, I missed. Is Roger able to do anything? No. <laughs> He's just kind of there. <clears throat> you were essentially babysitting him. Crud, so I've already checked all these buildings, right? Yeah, no, I've been here. Uh, let's try... I feel like I've been here too already. Oh no, it's the store again. Wait, I already have those. Damn it. Whoa. Okay, there's gotta be somewhere we haven't checked. Let's try here. 14, more crowbars. Still don't know how to open that door though. Not helpful. Oh shit. Oh, another thing is uh, you can be attacked when you're asking someone for help and that can actually kill you if you're not careful, which sucks. I know you can chuck the crowbar at the lock, but last time we tried it, it uh, didn't work. Yeah, we just whiffed four crowbars and did not open the door. It's little things like that that are annoying about this game. I mean, there's also more annoying things, but that's a good starting point, I feel. This building is empty. All right. Use the dynamite. You need that for something specific. But we need a specific... Oh, God damn it! another locked door. Oh, dog! Can you help me? Sorry. Oh, God damn it. What the... A heat-seeking... Flower pot. Fantastic. All right, last life. This is not going great. We have plenty of items, but not what we actually need. Try searching this building. You got some more cheese. You got some stuff to get at 18 and 19. Okay, building's empty now. Problem is, I don't remember how this game's layout works exactly. It's kind of a mess, as you can tell. I almost lost Roger again. I'm gonna get paranoid every time that bird gets near him. Oh, crap. Come on. There we go. Roger, get down. Building is empty. Am I receptive to help? I don't want too much to start with, if that makes sense. I want to figure this out on my own, because this is a childhood thing. But I also know this game is a fucking nightmare, to the point where I picked up a map. This isn't, like, a bit of a nightmare without an idea. Uh, speaking of that map, where is it? Yeah, here. That's the map of the game. Can you see my mouse cursor? No, you can't. The bottom left, that's where we currently are. It's, uh, it's uh, kind of a big map for an NES game. We're in for a long list? Not necessarily. Uh, like I said, most long plays had this game at an hour, and the speed run for this game is under six minutes. So, uh, we'll, at the very least, 
be taking this first part of the stream for it, but we might finish it in the second. Oh crap, nope, 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 we're in trouble. I actually, I'm really mad I haven't found Benny yet. Oh crap. All right, good, get stuck on the trees, because I did too. I really need a whistle or to find Benny. See if I can lose him for a bit. Okay. You said 18 had stuff? 18 and 19? Because there's 17. But here's the problem. There isn't an 18. <laughs> Unless it's like Toontown, which I still can't get to right now because I don't have the detonator. Oh crap, we are in a very bad spot. Oh, please be coming from the top of the screen. Please, no, fuck. Nope, we're done. Okay, I have to answer this punchline. Why are false teeth like stars? They come out at night. Whew. So we have to flick through the menu and find the actual retort, and that's what actually gets us out of those situations. But to pick the, the punchline, I have to go between holding down select and pressing left or right on the D-pad. The problem with that is, Roger's gone. Shit. Fuck. <sighs> All right, well there's the password if we need it. We have two continues left, thankfully, so we don't have to type it in just yet. So the reason the password is so gigantic is because it remembers your entire inventory. So every item we have is saved to that password. We talked about this last week uh, with the Flintstones game. The password was really short on that game, and that's because it doesn't save your lives. This saves everything. Your score, your items, it's all saved. I've already been in the hotel, I feel like, a million times now. Oh, now you're saying search the building, okay. Good, bad, I mean, like, it sucks having to type in that entire passcode, but if it's all like the same digit, it's not as terrible as it could be. Does it also save continues? I th think that might get recharged on password, but I might be misremembering that. Is there a way to knock down that bird if it gets Roger? I have no idea. From what I remember from my childhood, I think if you follow it long enough, you might... Oh. Uh, isn't that bad? Isn't this a trap? No, it's actually an item. Never mind. Can you help me? Yes, this building is now empty. All right, cool. All right, there's a cat guarding the trash. But not this trash. I got some meat in the trash. Eddie, maybe don't put that in your pocket. Whoa. And Roger's flat again. Uh, I'm more surprised we haven't found the damn taxi yet. 23. More roses. Can you help me? Yes, try searching. Oh, there's more in the building. Okay. Let's make sure that wasn't it. Nope, still keep searching. Okay. Is it going to be super obvious like the bomb was? So some dogs are fine, some attack. Um, 
if a dog is gonna attack you, then it'll kind of stay in a certain area, but uh, any dog can hurt you. They're basically, there's the territorial versions of animals, and then there's the running around across the screen version of the animals. Let's search outside then, maybe it's outside. Oh, there's a, the whistle. We need that. I don't have, oh no. Crap. I don't have any uh, any fish bones. If I can change it to a different animal that's guarding it, we can get it. Because there's no trash cans here, so I, ah, come on, really? Wait, but now I can get, no I can't, the cat is still there, are you serious? Okay, so we have a couple problems here now. There we go, get out of here. <sighs> we can't get that whistle, because if I get close to it, the cat attacks me. And just to show you, yeah, if you try to get close to him, he turns around. Roger, I really wish you could pick up things. Ugh. Roger? Oh, for fuck's sake. That fucking bird. Uh, 24. Can you help me? No, I'm afraid I can't. Oh, God damn it, so there might be something here. This building is empty. All right. God, where have I not been at this point? Because I feel like, yeah, there's 22. Okay, that cat's not territorial. And again, we don't have any crowbars, so we can't go in this building, so... Fuck. Why is the bird steal Roger? Because... Rare assholes. That's pretty much it. What the hell... Can we do? Where do we even find fish bones? We gotta find some garbage cans so we can... Possibly get rid of that cat in 23. Even garbage cans here. Oh boy. Bricks. More bricks. Roger was fantastic at picking up Jessica. I mean, to be fair, that's kind of a major plot point of the movie, too. Oh, I can't leave because oh, cause he's here again, isn't he? God damn it. Come on. You know what, at this point... No, he's not going to let me. Fuck, come on. Have a, oh my god, that brick went so far. He's too close. Oh my god, I can't hit him with a fucking brick! That did nothing to him, basically. Oh my god, where's my punch? Where is my punch? Get out of here. Oh, we're stuck at this point. Without Benny, we can't go where I need to. Without the whistle, because the whistle should be available in shops. I've been to shops before that, there you fucking are. Oh my God, you stay right there. Okay. Now we can drive. Okay, with the car, now at least we can go somewhere. Because we there's tunnels to other areas, but we can't use those tunnels unless... Uh, 
unless we have the whistle to get Benny or if we have the car in general. But now we're in a high-speed chase. And we ran right into them. Fuck. What's an elbow do when it rains? Gets wet. What I was trying to say earlier before Roger got kidnapped is every time we go through that punchline minigame, they add more punchlines to the menu, so it takes longer to actually get the correct answer. And the problem is, uh, the timer starts before you can pick your answer. So you burn through a couple seconds already just having the game load. So you have more like second seconds instead of nine. Okay, I know around here somewhere is a cave, and I think this might have one of the pieces of the will. But I need a couple things to do this. First off, a flashlight. Secondly, spring shoes to avoid these pits. And thirdly, I think I don't have the item I need. Yep. Which is a rattle for the rattlesnake, because if I get near him, he will kill me otherwise. I cannot pick up that piece of the will. I have to leave. So, but that's important. We need four pieces of the will to actually beat the game. So knowing that one of them is there is actually very helpful. Does anyone remember what building number had the... Oh shit, hang on. No, 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 get out of the car! Didn't work. Why are barbers fast drivers? Because they know all the shortcuts. I completely forgot what I was trying to say just then. Um... We need to find one... I need to remember what building had the detonator, because I don't know if we have the item we need to get rid of that animal that's there. What's in here? Just a snake. Okay. Yeah, mister. Smell your cat breath. Oh, come on! What's the best cure for brain, uh, water on the brain? A tap on the head. Building 18, thank you. I couldn't remember the number. I don't, I don't mind getting remember, or like getting remembers, getting reminders of numbers I would have forgotten about. So if we've seen items and I just haven't gone back to get them, please remind me of that. Because we know that 23 has the whistle to get Benny whenever we want. But we need the detonator to make it to at least Toontown, so we can make some more progress happen. Oh crap, they're right there! Floor, Benny! Oh, we outran them. Nice. I've been doing that, but you haven't seen any of my posts. Sorry! I also, as, as I pointed out, I'm not in my usual stream spot. I'm supposed to be like over here and that's, hi, sorry. And that's uh, so it's a little hard for me to read chat than usual. Oh, come on. What goes TikTok woof? A watchdog. All right, Zog, what number was that again? 18, you said? Let's get a handle for where we are number-wise. He says as he picks the building with no number in front of it. Fantastic. Oh, because it's the store. Buddy, I thought there's another way to make you change the item. What the hell is it? Is it punching you in the face? because I can't do that. I thought for sure there was some way to make him change the item. Other than leaving and coming back. Is it just... It's just leave and go right? Oh god. Okay. 
Okay. 18, there we go. And he killed me. <sighs> Alright. Where's that cheese? Have some goddamn cheese and get out of my way. I need this detonator. Okay, now at least we can do something. Oh, right, but I gotta go in a building first. Hang on. Um, I think I need... How does this work? Do, do I need dynamite or detonator? I think it's detonator. There we go. Welcome to Toontown! Does it seem pretty much the same? Then yes, you're, you've realized how this game works. It's pretty much the same. Don't be on this path, don't be on this path, please be behind me. God damn it! What animal would you like to be on a cold day? Otter? Oh, hotter, otter, I get it. Alright, you can tell we're in Toontown because everything's purpley pink. Can you help me? Sorry, I cannot help you. Fantastic. Hope that one ton weight gets you. Alright, there's some boots. Oh, yo, baby Huey. Can you help me? Go to Doom while you have the will, or when you have the will. Okay, that's actually helpful. Oh, that dog's gonna... Okay, that dog's going real fast now. Uh, I'm just gonna assume I don't have to search that room, and I'm just gonna ignore it. Just gonna assume I can't search any of these. I'm gonna leave now. I'm oh, sorry, Baby Her... Is it not Baby Huey, it's Baby Hermit. Okay. Do we even have enough... Might have enough time with this one? Oh yeah, he's not lined up at all. It doesn't look like there's anything here. I assume I can't talk to the shoes, right? Doesn't seem like it. At this rate, I might just switch to leaving the damn spring boots on so I can move around a bit better. I feel like I fit in more now with these on. I'm guessing I don't have to do much searching here based on the way this is going. Oh, you're getting comfy again? You know, buddy, you have your own chair. I'd love mine back. Oh, hello, someone I can actually talk to. Can you help me? No, I'm afraid I can't. And we're dead. Fantastic. <sighs> so the peas are not health? No, those are punchlines. The more I have, technically, the worse off I am. Technically. There must not be anything here. Searching, it's gonna be risky as hell. Oh, I think we made a mistake going this way. Yeah, we did! Why are false teeth like stars? I already saw this one. Where is it? Where is it? They come at a night.
come on. Oh, why are these all gigantic? Let's just assume we don't have to search any of the ones that have enemies running around. Ma'am, can you answer a straight up question? Oh god. Fuck, fuck, this is a try searching, shit. There's something here. Ugh, but I don't know if I'm gonna, if I can find it. Damn it. Damn it. Come on, buddy. Level with me. Can you help me? Yeah, try searching this building. Shit. I gotta search all of these now. It might not be anything helpful is the worst thing. Like, we need a rattle, because I know there are two pieces of the wheel that are locked behind the rattle. We have not gotten any of those. Eddie? Mmm, that's close. Eddie, kinda on a time limit! Oh, motherfucker. Didn't even see that. That was the item. Ugh. Well, at least we got a new trap to deal with whenever we get in fights, but... I would much rather just get the items we need to move on. Can we already search this one? Check here. Boxing glove! Don't mind if I do. I assume that's the only thing in here. Cool. Where's your health? <laughs> It really isn't a visible marker for it. It's just arbitrary. <sighs> hey, fuck off! Oh, of course it was empty. Oof. Two lives lost for nothing. Oh, we needed this, though. We need that baseball. I need to switch back to punching. Uh, actually, you know what? Let's try one of the gag items we have. Uh, cigar, maybe. Would you like a cigar? Here. Like a boxing glove? Oh, and not if I miss. How about a bomb? How about another bomb? Oh, that one detonates really fast. How about my fist to your face? <sighs> Did I search this building already? I think this is where I've got the boxing gloves. Yep. Can you make him laugh like in the movie, or is that later? Oh, wait, that's already happened a bunch. That's when Roger gets kidnapped. Okay, this is the item, right? And not just an actual hole in the ground? Yes, that's the portable hole. Fantastic. Ma'am? Ma'am, I need you to get in range so I can talk to you. No! Oh, God! And now she's not here, so now I have to go in the building and I can't, because he's fucking here! Jesus! Get out of here! Let me fucking explore this goddamn game! No wonder I never fucking beat this as a kid. 
I tapped out all my patience. All right, sir. Oh, of course. All right, I already checked all of these. Let's try a left path here. More buildings. The cat's guarding nothing. And there's nothing on the other side. Sir, can you help me? This building is empty. All right, neat. Sir, can you help me? As I stand below this one ton weight? Sorry, I cannot help you. Fuck. To be fair, you grew up with difficult and cheaty games, right? It's true. It's kind of what made me me, sadly. Nope, no one can help me. Let's see if anyone else can. Oh! That's part of the will. That's one of the four items we need. Try searching this building. Can do now. Jesus. One down, we know where another one is, but we need a rattle for it. Please just be in an obvious spot, or please just have been the piece of the will. Oh, fuck you. Come on, someone be more helpful, please. Sir, are you gonna be more helpful? Oh, fuck off. I'm gonna assume the item we the item we were looking for is just the will in here, but it's weird that no one else is telling us if there's anything else here. Was that our first part of the will? Yes. See? Four pieces in total, we've only got one. I believe if we can find the club that Jessica Rabbit's at, we can give her roses for hints. Ma'am, can you... Oh, hang... oh, fuck, hang on. Ma'am, now that the shoes are gone. Can you help me? Try searching this building. There's still something here. Hmm. Maybe that cat was guarding something outside? But I still have any fish bones, so I can't stop the cat. But at this point, we've checked every door we can access. It's gotta be the cat. There's nothing there. Oh, the rat's guarding a gun! I think I was thinking of a different building. All right, well, I would like a gun. Plenty of cheese. Here, take that, and I'll just casually take this six shooter. Okay, so we've got a gun. Oh god, we almost lost Roger. More cigars. What the fuck is that? Custard pie. Man, no one wants to help me. How about you? My God, come on. Uh, 
I think it's just useless at this point. I just really need a rattle. That's really what I need. I also need to find the damn club that Jessica works at. More baseballs. Ma'am, is there anything else around here? Oh, for fuck's sake, come on! Whoa. Think Jessica's club is in LA? No, I'm pretty sure it's in Toontown. Maybe you're right, actually, now that I think about it. The Ink and Paint Club, that's what I'm looking for, yeah. Oh, for fuck's sake, he's here again. Ugh! Come on! Have anything to get rid of you quickly? That works! Try any of these yet? I don't think I did. Come on! I just got rid of you! Oh no! Ugh. No continues left. We need the password. Fuck. Scratch pad. D309, D9, BG, dash, 739, H, V, O, and I hope to God that's the number, O, O, G, 7, D, H, Z, K. Considering he gave you a password, I'd probably say the game doesn't remember continues. I mean, that would make sense to me. Alright, let's enter that passcode. In, like, the slowest way possible. D... Three... Zero... Oh, there's something I need to check first before I commit to this. Fuck right off. There's zeros and O's. Uh. It's all zeros in your password? Well, that's good at least. D nine B G seven three nine HVO zero zero G seven DHZK. Okay, yep. Score is gone, but everything we picked up is still here, and our punchline list looks like it's back to normal. So, yeah, I think the theory about it resetting passwords, or sorry, your continues and lives is correct. Okay, so we're not fucked, thankfully. The downside is, though, we're back at my office.
Oh, and the other problem is we don't have Eddie anymore. So we need to find a whistle. Is it possible for you to kill Roger yourself? No, I can kick the crap out of him all I want. But I gotta be careful of that damn buzzard. What? No, sorry, did I say Eddie? I said Benny. I'm looking for Benny the taxi. Did I say Eddie? My mistake. Oh, I'm sorry if I said Eddie. I meant Benny. All right, well, there's garbage cans, so I can at least try to get some stuff to stop cats now, at least. Oh, fucking hell. Come on, fish bones. I can't stop searching. Okay, maybe I can. Come on. Empty. You done, dog? Jesus. Oh my god! Uh, this should be much better than it is. Fucking hell. Alright, the cat might be less annoying at this point. Empty. Yeah, the cat's easier to deal with, it looks like. At what point are you gonna say fuck it, mute the game, and play Popsky's album? I like this song, so not at all. I think you guys under do completely underestimate my pain tolerance. No, the clacker boards aren't my health, the clacker boards are my lives. All right, is there actually anything in this hotel at this point? Empty. You've also forgotten where the damn store is again. There's Maroon Cartoons. We got everything that was here. Because we can't go in. The wall's back up? Are you serious? Oh, uh, because I guess it just gave me my items. I guess the passcode is literally just my inventory. Well, at the very least, let's blow this back up. Damn it. Uh, why can't I do this while I'm paused? That would be very helpful. Why isn't it working this time? Oh, because I picked dynamite last time, didn't I? Wait. Did the game take my dynamite? It did! What the fuck? The dynamite's supposed to be infinite use, I thought. Okay, well that's a problem. Where do we get the dynamite? There's the whistle again. I still don't have any fish bones. Damn it. Uh I wonder. Nope. 
Alright. They were smart about that, I guess. Go to the shop. If I can remember where the hell the shop was. Oh, Benny, thank God. Wait, was that the shop? Is the shop locked now? How the fuck do I open this? It's supposed to be the crowbar. When you first enter, that's when you throw the crowbar. Oh, thank you. Jesus Christ. And yes, it was the shop. So it says in the manual that apparently Judge Doom starts buying up all the buildings in LA and locks them up. So that's why we need the crowbars. The longer we take, the more stores he locks up, or the more places he locks up, the harder it is to do the investigation. John, there are two shops. Okay. Regardless, that still does not help our problem of it's just selling roses. God damn it. Where was the second shop? I remember being at the top of a bunch of small places, so I think it's around here somewhere. I know it's got a building number, then it's not the shop. There we go. Crowbars. I will buy that. How many do we even have right now? Just the four? Yeah, okay. Stock up on these, because we're gonna need them. I swear there's a way to get the dude to actually get him to change the item. Other than just leaving and hoping it changes. Use the gun, rob him? I don't think that's gonna work. Do I have to go in another building and it changes? Oh, Roger, get up. Nope. I swear there was some way to make him change it. Wasn't there another locked building? There's a bunch of locked buildings. You should have bought the crowbars. I did. I have eight. <laughs> you get four every time you buy one. See? And they max at nine, so I can't buy too many. Every crowbar pickup was four. I believe every item gives you more than what you actually expect of it. So I don't think any item you pick up gives you just one. Even the wallet gives you two, I believe. Yeah, actually, let's see here. Six wallets. Yeah, I get two wallets instead of one wallet. Oh, well, might as well. Okay, we've already been to all these. Let's let's just go. Um, hmm. We need dynamite. Which again, I don't remember where we found that. We need fish bones to deal with cats. Man, just the three, huh? 
I was really hoping it was going to keep dropping them there. And I still need rattles, which I also have not found anywhere. Hang on, I'm looking at this map. Where have we not been on this map? Because someone said we had to go to, was it 19? Fuck! What do you give a seasick elephant? Plenty of room. Oh god, I keep forgetting they start us out of the car. Thanks, Itty Blip. Appreciate it. Uh. Okay. Let's, what is this building here, this giant one? It's the ho it's another hotel. This building is... 23 again, which is guarding the whistle. Oh, which we can get now. Take that. Give me this, for the love of God. Finally, we can call Eddie whenever we want, although we only have five whistles. Sir, is there anything else here? Thank you. Sir, is there anything here? Empty. Cartoons. Oh, god damn it. I'm hanging on to my damn warp holes for now. I'm gonna need them later, something tells me. Get out of here. Huh. <sighs> Twenty. Ma'am, can you help me? Empty. 21, oh, 22. Oh, this one's locked. I can't find my fucking crowbar. There we go. Ma'am, did I just waste a crowbar? No, oh, maybe I didn't. Can you help me? Empty. God damn it. All right, we're right up into the gag factory. Wait, actually, wasn't this where we got the dynamite? No, no it wasn't. Fuck, where did we get the dynamite? Ugh, or do I just have to hope it shows up in a store? Wait a minute. Aw, oh, fuck, John, tell me you didn't just for- Oh, hang on, I'm gonna try something in a minute. Is there really no one out here? There we go. Ma'am, please tell me there's something in this building. Nope. Okay, I gotta go back to a shop. was that one? Oh, now you're selling the fucking whistles? Ugh. Give me a goddamn whistle once I find my nine wallets. Okay, now you're selling flashlights. How am I on for flashlights? Seven. I, yeah, we'll pick that up. I think if I search it, change, mm, tell me it changes. I swear there's some way to change the damn item. I guess not. Where is the rattle? I will actually ask this question. Where is a rattle? Because I guess apparently the shop just does not want to sell it at the moment. 
I can also try the other shop by my office. Because right now, I can't make any progress. That's not the shop. No, oh, it should be this one then. No. What the hell? Oh, for fuck's sake, get out of here! Too many things in my fucking inventory! Oh, come on! And now he's gone, of course. I hate to tell you this is randomly placed. Yeah, that's what I, what I fucking thought. Don't swear you've scared the cat. No, Bagel has heard me swear many a time. Bagel is very used to me swearing. Hmm. Okay, so without dynamite, we can't do anything. And without the rattle, we can't get two pieces of the will. So we're stuck. Oops. There we go. Please be something. It's almost like go to 19. Oh, for fuck's sake! You know what? I'm running you fuckers over. Get over here. I'm running you over. Assholes. Empty. Dude, I'm getting stumped. I'm legit getting stumped. Someone said check 19, but I also can't tell which of these is number 19 without going in. Like, here's 25. I think we checked this already. I, I'm, I can't tell them apart. They're starting to blend together. <sighs> no, I'm afraid I can't, so there might be something here. No, there's not. Okay. Been here. Lost the cops by going in there. 24. 22. So this should be 20, right? Yeah, okay. So where's 19? Is this 19? It's the cartoon studio. Twenty one. So is nineteen here? This is hotel. This is a shop, which is selling more crowbars, which I could use right now. Thank you. Anything else? Just more crowbars. Just more crowbars. Just more crowbars. <laughs> Oh, yeah, yeah, hi, buddy. Yeah. This is the other hotel. What is this building? There are three hotels? Empty. You know what? Hang on. I'm gonna see if I can find. Oh, it's the dog. Crap. Oh, fuck. Alright, what's the punchline? What's worse than rainy cats and dogs? 
Uh, what? No idea. Fuck. Uh, but at least we know the continues recharge with the password code, so that's confirmed now. Hailing Benny the Cab was the answer? Oh, hailing. Ah, uh, yeah. That makes more sense now. Oh my god, where the fuck do I go? I feel like I've checked everywhere here. I clear- Oh, for fuck's sake! Get out of here! Where's my goddamn- There we go. How the hell did anyone beat this game? They figured out the speed run and never looked back. Tell me there's something here, dude. Ugh. Tell me there's something here. Ugh. And I have to fight him again? Come on! Game's not very helpful. It's really not. You're 16. Dog, you guarding anything? I can't even fucking tell. Lady, is there anything here? Oi. Come on. Sir. Can you help me? Oh, for fucks. Come on, someone. Thank you. What would any LGM game be fair, John? Th this is rare, though. Oh, hey, something we never found. Oh, hell yeah. A heart. A human heart! Three of them. Building's empty. Okay. Okay, so from what I remember, the human heart, it actually, there's like, I think it's Eddie's, like, love interest in the movie. I believe if you give them to her, she gives you hints. Oh, fuck, I wasn't moving fast enough. Shit. What do you give a seasick elephant? We already saw this one. Plenty of room. Dolores, yeah. Uh, she's in a specific building, but I don't remember what number that is. Someone said 19 was one of these thin ones, so there's 18. Empty. 25 has Dolores, okay. 19? 19. Oh, f oh, back off. Can you help me? Try searching this building, thank God. Fucking finally. You said 25 was where Dolores is? Let's go see Dolores. I believe that was straight up bottom right for 25. Ah, crap. Why do birds fly south in the winter? Because it's too far to walk. 
Ooh, that was almost out of time. We still need the dynamite, which is still a problem. That Dolores, it sure looks like it. Search the drawers in the buildings. Okay, so if I arm the heart. Can you help me? Look for the will in a cave above the top tunnel. Oh, she just straight up says that. Wow, okay. Also, Baby Herman can help the same way if you give him a rattle. Oh, neat. Okay. So one thing I did remember seeing... Oh, wait, you know what? Actually, that's not going to work. Shoot. Uh, well, actually, it might. Hang on. Oh, this might be the perfect time to do this, too. Uh, we need... Uh, we need to not get hit by a dog. Where's the whistle? Did I just skip it? I got distracted by the dog and skipped it, didn't I? Yep, sure did. Okay. Let's hop in Benny. And get hit by a car so we couldn't do this. Why is it River Rich? Because it has two banks. Okay, what I was trying to do is if I use the whistle over here, which is no longer armed because of that fucking minigame. Oh my god! No, wait, it, wait, what? It was armed. What the fuck? Why didn't that work? There we go. Perfect. Must have been standing in the wrong spot. Come on! Which hand do you use to write with? I'll use your write with a pencil. Oh, it's because Benny was in sight. Oh, that makes... No, that's not the case. I watched the video that they did that. Now, that cave was around here somewhere. It's pretty early. Oh, it's down there, right. Because that's the wraparound up there. There we go. Okay, we need... Flashlights. We need... Uh, there we go. No! Oh, thank God, I thought I fucked that up. Wait. What? Is this the wrong cave? What? Wasn't it there earlier? The fuck? Oh, there's Benny. That was the right cave? People are saying it was the right cave. She told us it was that cave, too. Do I risk it again? I'm gonna use up all my items if I'm not careful. Flashlight? He doesn't have it! Ugh, I must have changed caves. I didn't want to go through that. Alright, let's see if we can find another cave. Problem is, you know, kind of going real fast. It's going to be hard to find anything here. i got to wander around on foot. Uh, 
There's another cave in the top left. I guess let's check that. Mister. Nothing. Yay, where are there any other caves? Where are there any other caves? I see possibly two more caves on this map. Neither of which we are even remotely close to. Ugh. But there is one near the tunnel, so let's go back and check that one. Does it think you already have it? I hope not. We'd be in trouble if that was the case. Uh, we're gonna need to go to break here soon anyways. Bagel, I'm surprised you're still in the chair, buddy. You'd be up by now, normally. Somewhere down here. Is another cave. Yeah, there we go. And it's still not here! <sighs> I see two more caves on this map. I guess we gotta check them. No, 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 no. No grabbing that. All right, let's try this one. Thank you. <laughs> that could not be any farther away from the tunnel at this point. So yeah, they re-randomized. Incredible. No wonder I never figured this out as a kid. Okay, rattles. All yours. No, no! All right, fuck it, I know where the hole is. Here, have another rattle, I guess. All right, part of the will. Ay, ay, ay. Um, there's one more cave on this map. We might as well check it at this point. Because we're somewhat close to it. Uh, long cave. Hmm. Flashlight, flashlight. You'd think at this point I would start remembering the order of these things. Are you serious? <laughs> oh my god. Oh. Okay. Okay. We needed that too. <sighs> Just to show some Oh, god damn it, this bat. Just to show something here. Dynamite does not have a number next to it. It does not have a number next to it, so I don't know why it didn't remember it from the password. Oh, we are going the very long way to Benny. Okay, we've checked every cave. Let's go hang out with Dolores again. And see if she can answer where the next piece is.
Out of the way, out of the way! I'm driving here! Let's just hope we don't need any more rattlesnake rattles to worry about, because we're out of rattles, I think, again. Which actually means maybe we should check the shop first. That's not the shop. Wait, I thought this was... How do I keep making the same mistake every time? Roses again. Oh. Let's go find Dolores. I'm betting I need another rattle. I'm betting on it. You know what? Before I forget, fuck you. Dolores, my love, please answer my questions. Can you help me? Search the drawers in the building. Here, pick up this heart from the floor. Can you help me? Look for the will in a building by Doom's warehouse. Ooh. Let's go to Toontown. Okay, I think this might be the perfect time to take a break now that we have two pieces of the will and a general idea of where to go. Uh, I also know, and I'm worried about it, that there's a cave, or there's actually a couple caves in LA, and I wouldn't be surprised if one of the remaining ones was there. So I'm a little worried about that. Little worried about that, because again, we don't have any rattles left. Am I okay? Yeah, I'm fine. A little exasperated, that's about it. I'm also checking the map right now. Cause I'm trying to figure out where in the world the the club is that we're supposed to find Jessica at. Is it literally right next to his factory? It's gotta be at this point. I feel like we've looked at every building otherwise. If there's four wheel pieces and two were in LA, wouldn't the other two be in Toontown? You would think that, <laughs> but I don't trust this game at all. So who knows at that point? Ink and paint, it is right next to 19. How have we missed that every time? You're right, and this map, it's hard to read, but it's there. <sighs> it may have been locked? No, because we need a passcode to get in. You know what? Fuck it. I'm going back. Fuck it. If I'm pausing, if I'm stopping anywhere, I'm stopping at Ink and Paint. Oh, for fuck. Maybe I should have stayed paused. On what side of a school should an elm tree grow? Pens, where you, no. So this should be it. How did we miss that every time? Sorry. Here's Bagel Cam is back for a minute. Okay, you gonna let me search this? There we go. Okay, we need the passcode. 
Let me in. What's the password? Walt sent me. Okay, come in. Thanks. Like the monkey suit. Smart Alec. There she is! Jessica Rabbit! She's dabbing away! Her famous dance. Hey Jess, you wanna... Can you help me? Find my phone number and give me a call. Searching, telephone, 1-800-232-3324. I know some people wanted me to cover this at some point. Yes, that used to be a real number that if you called it, Jessica Rabbit gave you hints about the game. It is now, uh, apparently, it turned into a uh, sex line at some point. Apparently, it has again changed into something else. I think it's now a travel agency. And that might have changed because of COVID at this point, for all I know. I saw someone saying in 2015 it changed to something else. Uh, but people seem to have more or less remembered the actual message she tells you. So the message I found online was... It is shocking the way some neighborhoods are getting. You practically can't walk anywhere without running into stray dogs, cats, and other animals. It makes you wish you carried a piece of meat, a fish bone, or a piece of cheese around with you. So that's how I knew I needed those to get rid of the stray animals. The weasel that is guarding Judge Doom's warehouse is the one called Stupid. I've heard that the only thing that'll get him to leave is a quick game of softball. Do you know any place where you could get a baseball in a hurry? So yeah, that's the message you get from the call. So you get a you get a hint that you can use the uh, the food, the meat, the fishbone, and cheese to get the animals away. And you also learn that to get rid of stupid in front of the warehouse, you need to throw a softball. But no one seems to have the recording. It seems like they've gone off memory. So I don't know if that's just lost data now. If that's the case, that sucks, because that sounds so fascinating to have that in the first place. Otherwise, I know Jessica works the same way as Dolores, and I guess uh, Baby Herman does too. If you give Jessica roses, she'll tell you where the will is. So that's when we unpause, that's what we'll do. But for now, let's let's fucking take a break. Yeesh. Good thing the Kratos phone number still works. That Kratos phone number is hilarious. I love that that's a thing and is still a thing. Absolutely incredible. For those that don't know, in God of War 1 for the PlayStation 2, uh, at the very end of the game, there's a statue you can break, and if you do it, it shows you a phone number, and if you call it, it gives you a... It's Kratos yelling at you for like a minute or two, and he's talking about how there's going to be a sequel to God of War. It's really stupid and funny, and I know that one's been recorded for sure, so I can probably play that after the break. Night Stealthy. Is it only in hard mode? I thought you only get. I thought you got it in normal. Cause I oh no, cause I re, I replayed that game a couple times back then. Might have actually been in hard. Uh, all right, King Monty, Italian Enzo, Boss123, and Italian Enzo again. Thank you all for the gift subs and sub bombs. Everyone else, the list is a little too long to read out, but thank you all for supporting the channel as long as you all have. Uh, I'm going to quickly scan this to see if there's any hundos that are sneaking in there. Yep, Disturbed Freak is the hundo I see on the list today, alongside a couple 97s like Gex. And I saw a second one. I see Laid with 93. We're hitting the hundos now, which is crazy. I thought I saw two 97s. I guess it was just Gex. Oh no, 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 Terensu, I knew it. I thought there were two. Terensu also at 97. Either way, folks, thanks for seven. Your eggs tonight are courtesy of the following people. I got a couple eggs in the carton. 
Oh man, you hit 5,000 hours streamed at around the 15 minute mark. Oh yeah, that's right. Today, this stream officially marks 5,000 hours of streamed content on this channel as well. Your wife also hit 100? Wait, did she? I didn't see her on my list. Is that a different stream? I didn't even see her here. Oh no, an hour ago, weird. <laughs> Have you been up all night eating cheese? No, <laughs> oh, uh... Either way, folks, thanks for subbing your eggs tonight, or courtesy of. I have a... Why are there so many skips here? some weird issue. One of these isn't even playing? What the hell? Alright, well then I only have one egg to show, apparently. <laughs> and it's from Cole, and it's labeled Bonking John, but I dubbed it. Hey, John, I want to show you something. Sure, what is it? <laughs> you gonna show me it, or...? Ow, hey, what was that for? To show my affection. I see. Thank you, I appreciate it. Please warn me next time, though. Uh, sorry. <laughs> we'll do next time. Please don't bother people to show affection. That's fair. What was the last part there? Oh, without permission. Okay, bye. All right, that was cute. Thank you, Cole. And again, that was Yolk the Jokes comic. Uh, well, I guess I showed this on screen, but this was marked as skip because it's unrelated. Yeah, like, yeah, there's like nothing going on to that. Sorry. All right, we're going to go to break. When we come back, I'll grab some co-coms and we will continue Who Framed Roger Rabbit. See you guys in a bit. and hopefully when I come back, Bagel will let me have my chair, but something tells me I'm not going to get that lucky. Right, buddy? Yeah, you're still fast asleep in it.
just want to stay in mine. not moved and now I understand why he's not moved because uh, it's snowing a bunch now sorry there's a blizzard outside right now so he ain't going outside anymore winter decided to come back with a vengeance oh fucking hell I hate when I can't use my chair Ugh. just stepped on my headphone and ripped out the cord again I'm over where all the cord pile normally is. <sighs> this wouldn't be as bad if I didn't have this stupid carpet protector here for the for my chair, which just is so fucking useless. <laughs> It's so useless. And because the other chair we have is just a camper chair, it can't get over the plastic. So I keep getting stuck or stepping on cords because normally there's not supposed to be a chair here or whatever. And I can't move Bagel because he's also stuck in a corner now because of where the chair is. Since I can't lift it up. Oh my God, I hate this. There we go. There we go. Oi. That is a lot better now. Holy shit. Uh, yeah, no, I heard like Ontario got slammed with snow at the moment. Like I heard, sorry. I heard it's really bad in Ontario right now. You should get a lawn chair for this reason. That's what I'm sitting in. It's a camper chair, which is just like a lawn chair. It can't clear the, it cannot clear the carpet protector. It keeps getting stuck. But rocket camp camping chair doesn't sound as good. All right, I mean, you got me there. You're right. That there you go. Man. The chair that sits behind you normally? Yeah, I'm in Bagel's chair. He's in mine. <laughs> the worst part is, so the stream started late tonight because I couldn't get the cartridge working. And in the process of getting the cartridge working, Bagel stole my chair because I had to sit up and keep putting the NES cartridge back in to make sure it worked. So that's the only reason I lost my chair. But I couldn't get the cartridge working at all, despite the cartridge looking, like, completely clean. And I think the NES is acting up. So I put another game in after trying Roger Rabbit, for like, five times. The other game worked immediately. Then I put Roger Rabbit back in, and it worked immediately. So I've been super confused what's going on. I don't know if the, the AVS is given out or what. Just take the chair back. It's a fabric chair and he's got his claws dug in. To get my chair back, I have to ruin my chair. I am not doing that. Can I just say that I hope those who are on the West Coast are okay from the undersea volcano eruption tsunami? I'm sorry, what? Friends. 
is gold. An island in the Tonga is just gone. What the fuck? What? No, this this is my genuinely my first hearing this. Tonga tsunami floods streets and cuts communication after under two days ago. No, I have not heard about this at all. Holy shit, how did I miss this? Jesus. Trey, let me get your feet up. Alright. Well, on a lighter note, I just beat Halo Infinite. Nice, how was it? It's at least 343's best attempt at Halo. Even though 4 and 5 are not exactly the highest bars to surpass. Fair enough. But I, I, it was enjoyable, but I still think like the Bungie Halos are still the superior ones. One of these days I'm going to remember where the pins are for <laughs> for Cocom feed. In any event, hello chat. What's up, Beef? Not too much. I'm currently trying to not break the website. I thought that's the whole point is to try things and see what causes them to break. And then find ways to fix it. Normally, you're developing on a separate test website and production website. Unfortunately, I only have the one server because I self-host the website, which means if I accidentally break things, which I have done three times in the last week, you have to fix it very quickly. <laughs> oh. Is it better than Halo 1 at least? Um... Hmm. It's almost easier just to. S I could definitely rank five at the bottom, then yeah, four. Yeah, I feel like that's cons there's a consensus on five being considered like the least interesting. And I almost say still per like I th if I just had to say like best Halo, it's definitely Reach. I think Reach overall was like the best way for Bungie to go out with that franchise. Then. I'd probably say three, because I've played I played that game like crazy back during my high school days. Then yeah, I probably then I'd probably say two. Or I guess I'm kinda of went from my most favorite to kind of the middle. And then I start from the bottom. But I'd definitely say that would be like from, once again, best from 3 to maybe ODST, then 1. But 1's not bad. Alright, uh, let's see here. I don't like being in this spot, but I'll see if I can make the best of a mess situation here. As someone keeps sleeping, you should let me move to the couch yet. I don't move to the couch. I'm petting you. Yeah, that's what you get. Yeah. Hi. Just don't try to go outside. It's snowing a bunch. Oh, great. What's yeah. it? It's right back to sleep. Jeez. From Brooke Trout 96 thanks for the stream today. It helped me... Oh, no. It's helping me grieve my grandfather who died last night. Brooke, I'm so sorry. Oh, no. Just don't forget the good memories, okay? I'm so sorry for your family's loss. Hopefully, hopefully you'll all be okay. 
Oh, 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 my dude says, what a wacky game. Surely this IRL phone number given in game will let me call someone to get a hint. I mean, like we said, it, it's apparently not the sex line anymore. Apparently it is some other number. I think one of the articles that I even found info on said, like, it's now a, uh, a travel agency or something. Oh, he's up. Hi. And he's back down. God damn it, Bagel. Uh. Bad Chechpun says, excellent, excited rather for this. I rented this game from Blockbuster ages ago and it was a very confusing time. Well, good news. It's still just Hello. as confusing. Although at least now that we know everything's randomized, it's makes more sense. Definitely wasn't a thing I would have understood as a kid. Curecaster says, it's bunny night. Good luck in this uh, game. Thanks, Curecaster. Tolcario says, I can't stay for the whole stream due to work the next day, but now I have the money to support and the time to watch some at least. So here's my nightly cow. Thank you. Appreciate it. Enjoy your new job and congrats. Uh, a bunch of people sent off alerts, but no messages. Thank you for setting them all off. Appreciate it. Lady Annie Social says, Happy early birthday to Beefaroo. I just got my booster shot and my arms hurt a lot. On top of that, my cat got spayed today and I have to make sure she or her other pets don't lick the stitches. Ooh. The cone. The cone of shame sounds like it's needed. Even though it's not really shame in this case. Yeah, yeah. As the message mentions, Beefaroo's birthday is technically the 20th of January. So it would be officially next stream after it hits midnight my time would be Beefaroo's birthday. Because while the post on the Buru says it was posted on the 21st, I believe that clock uses GMT, which means it would be the 20th, my time. So his birthday is officially the 20th of January. Mind you, the clock, <clears throat> the clock for Boru is also off by like 20 minutes. So also that. So. Like, regardless of, of time zone, it's just kind of like you post something at 45 and it shows up as posted at, at the 20 minute mark. And it's like, weird. You really need to fix your time zone. <laughs> what does GMT Greenwich mean time? So, you know how sometimes if you look at a time zone, it says GMT minus a number or plus a number? GMT is the actual time zone. So, I'm GMT minus seven. So it's 10.39 right now, so it would be 5.39 a.m. in Greenwich Mean Time. Not to be confused with UTC, which is another kind of sort of standardized time zone. It's like GMT plus or minus one, depending on... Yeah, and GM GMT is basically London, as people are saying. It's basically the London time zone. Time zones are fun and a pain in the butt. I thought they were just a pain in the butt. So if you actually look into, like, the history and math and the coding behind it all, it, it's a blast for complete and utter nerds like me. If you have to do the coding, if you have to use them at all, they're a pain in the butt. To quote Tom Scott, they are a bodge among, amongst bodges. Paraphrase Tom Scott. The fuck does Britain get to be the center of the world? I don't know if you've heard of history, but uh, England kind of has a lot going in its favor for why that's the case. Uh, anyways. If you want the actual reason, it's mostly because Britain was in power when we needed to define what was the zero time zone. So we picked Britain, by which I mean Britain picked Britain, and because they were the British Empire, everyone else went, we have to use the clock of our most powerful neighbor. That yep. happens to be Britain, yep. because Britain was everywhere. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Light Lati says, the book was much darker than the movie. The author liked the movie so much that he deemed the OG book non-canon. Wow. That's surprising. Does this look infected? Says, who framed Roger Rabbit? Except it was totally fucking Roger who did it. Isn't there, isn't that like a Funny or Die movie? Like, I think there's, there's some site that's done that exactly. And then of course there's also the sequel that was supposed to happen that never actually came out. 
Uh, Fan Fiction Dreamer says, Your kitty is so cute, I would love to reach my hands through the computer screen and pet him. As creepy as that may sound, can you really blame me? No, Bagel's a cutie, he's just a butt at times, too. Go find out who turned Mr. Roger into a piece of art. Can do, chumney. Fan Fiction Dreamer says, Some cheese? Yes, please. And if only it was that easy. Uh, Light Lotsy says, Everyone knows Judge Doom's one weakness is dairy. Tools are known to be lactose intolerant. But <laughs> well, that makes me a tool. Fuck. Light Lotsy What kind said, of tool? Uh, fun fact for those who don't know, Judge Doom's true tune form was a gun-toting possum. His poster is in RK Maroon's studio. Is that confirmed, or is that from the book? I'm gonna assume that's from the book. It's a theory? Yeah, that's wrong. Okay, it's a fan theory? Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, so I, that's, that's what I thought. I thought they never gave you enough to work with. Mr. Zomfrog says, I will say that the one thing I found interesting about the OG movie was how different they worked. Like how by Toon standards, Jessica was the lucky one due to how funny Roger was. As well as them having a town all their own. Well, I mean, technically, Roger's the more famous one of the two. Technically, in the movie world, because Roger's like a famous actor, does a lot of movies. Or cartoons, I guess. And Jessica's essentially like a showgirl. But it would probably be the other way around in, I get it, yeah, in, in like actual allies. So it's it's funny how they just kind of bounce it out like that. I mean, it is a world of tunes. They are supposed to be kind of sort of opposites. So. Yeah. Doom was not in the OG book. Oh, huh, okay. Isn't he the main villain in the movie? He is. Yes. How do you... I, I heard the book was very different. I didn't think it was... They meant that different. Wow. I'm, I'm kind of impressed. A comic expanded on his origin as Baron Von Rotten, the tune of a thousand faces, basically a master of disguise. So the modified theory in light of that is that Pistol Pack and Possum is just another one of his disguises. Okay, that makes more sense. Who Framed Roger Rabbit was also about segregation. That is also true. That is kind of forgotten when you, all most people remember about it is like the ending scene with the with Judge Doom's voice getting higher and Jessica Rabbit. Uh Does this look infected it says if the portable hole can't keep them down, try the ho portable hole maker. <laughs> the gun? It's only got six bullets. I don't want to waste it. I think I might need it for Judge Doom. Um, Decay Legend James says, Here are some luck bits for completing this headache of a game, and to me, obtaining one of the last awakening shards I need in the game I'm playing. Nice. Congrats. And thank you for the luck. I might need it by the looks of it. Ebot says, I finally have enough of my own income to do this. I've always wanted to do that. And activates a Wario. A couple of them, too. Thank you, Ebot. Appreciate it. And Red's name says, Hello, John. I'm stealing some early birthday luck for tomorrow. Happy early birthday, Reds. Congrats and enjoy your birthday. Okay, and with that, let's hop over to Art Block. Let me get it all shuffled to make sure it's in order. Yep, sick. So Art Block starts here, I believe. It's a lovely picture of Electron Gen by Jun Ko. Chinese New Year Countdown Challenge Day 17, Electron Gen in her New Year's outfit by Tree Kianthia, now with tiger ears and tail. Very cute, nicely done take on this, and looks like Tree approves too. With a little mochi hammer and everything, nice. Very cute, Junko, thank you so much. Oh, oh, is it time? Are you leaving? Do I get my chair back? My god, I do! Holy Yay. shit, I get my chair back, I'll be right back. Gonna enjoy this. Thank you, buddy. I'm putting your chair back so you can hop in it later. But uh, yeah, it's snowing. You're not going anywhere. 
You're gonna hear him scream in a minute. More than likely. Oh my god, I'm taller. God, I missed it. It's so much better. Oh, and he's warmed it up for me too. Thanks, buddy. Sorry, your prize is snow. Good God, you don't realize how the height difference between these two chairs until you're forced to use the other one. I'll take you at your word for that one. Whew. From your Spence, I really like Dolby's J Blue design, so I asked him if I could draw it too. This is an idea for a sort of burst mode for it where the cape turns into a full on energy hydra. Sick! I like it a lot. Thank you, Spence, and again, thanks to Dolby for the original J Blue design, because we played Gotcha Force on Saturday. I never knew sitting was that arousing. That is not the sound of me being aroused. That is the sound of me being comfy. Next up, from Ellie Smash, it's Rosa and Saints Row. I decided my main contribution to the community beyond submitting things for the admission wall is going to be putting Rosa John in various character creators. So here she is in Saints Row the Third. I chose the hair based on John's crossplay of her and gave her the Laura Bailey voice because it seemed the most fitting. Nice, good choice. And she's got the sneakers and everything. Nice touch. I like it, Ellie. Thank you. Sorry, I can't tell the difference. <laughs> Fair enough. Uh... Next up from Mika. I drew Rosa John eating some Pocky while listening to music. Nice. Were you listening? Oh no, I see the headphone line now. There it is. I couldn't see it originally. Very cute, Mika. Thank you, thank you. Rosa, you can use a chair too, or did you lose your chair as well, the Luma Bagel? Next up from Ellie Smash. The second of my Johniverse creations from today, this time John himself in Death Road to Canada. I modeled after his avatar from OJ decently well, I think. Him being fierce-tempered is obvious, and I made him a fighter for the good starting weapon, and because he'd probably throw hands often. I, If I had no choice, probably. That's fair. That makes a lot of sense. Not too shabby. Thank you, Ellie, for that as well. Next up, it looks like Beefroo's in the hot seat. Which one of these is not a name of a version of the board game? Clue, Master Detective, Murder Most Foul, The Great Museum Caper, and Case of the Missing Pet. Uh, since who war blah, 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 since who wants to be a millionaire and Cluedo was played on Saturday, I combined the two and put Beefaroo in the hot seat. Poor Beefaroo. Esper, is this an actual like question? Because generally, I'm actually uh, not sure on this one. Master Detective, I'm pretty sure is true. Uh, Case of the Missing Pet, I think is one of the books. So, I don't know. Museum Caper or Murder Most Foul is the only two I can't decide on. I know I rec <clears throat> recognize the name Murder Most Foul. Yeah, but that that's, that's sounds the one I'm more thinking like of. a murder mystery book than anything. Yeah. Actually, some people had C, the great man, whatever they called it. Yeah. A couple, couple people said they have a copy of C, so. D is true for Clue Jr., so for Case of the Missing Pat. See, that's what I thought. Uh, so yeah, I think it actually is B, Murder Most Foul. Unless you're getting technical, and you're going, and Clue Jr. doesn't count. Yeah, thank you, Esper. I'm actually curious what the actual answer is. Next up from Grease Lightning. Esper says it actually is B. Nice! <laughs> In my search for motivation to draw things, I had a sudden idea. There are a lot of John Alts and a lot of VTubers, so maybe I can use them as practice. So as a small series, I'll be drawing various alts in VTuber outfits. With the first being Pon Pon, dressed as Inugami Korone of Hololive. I'll not be strictly doing Hololive and grabbing at various VTubers as I find them. In all seriousness, in a fist fight, I can win against any Hololive member. Quote of Inugami Korone. <laughs> I could see her throwing hands, Korone. Definitely. Thanks, Grease. This is a cool. I'm excited to see some more of these. Jump over to page one. I saw this on Twitter the other day from BLT General. Killed that boulder. You will feel the power of my fists. Angry punching noises. Flawless victory. Hello again. Hope everyone's doing well. This is to commemorate the ninth anniversary of your Resident Evil 5 co-op Let's Play. This May. 
So while it is early, it's never a bad time to put the boulder in its place. As always, have a good one. Sick. Thank you, DLT. Albino. I must see John and Luca's outfits. Why, why my, why me and not an alt? I know why, but I'm still saying it out loud anyways. Thanks, BLT. Can't believe it's been nine years for that already. You know why, I know why. Uh, <laughs> looking in a window, Cole walks by. Cole gets an idea, runs towards, I honestly thought this was me at first, but then I realized this is actually supposed to be Rosa. So Rosa gets sent into the sky, and then crash lands right back on top of Cole. From I'm Not Batman, follow up with page two. Cole, what the heck? Do you know how much that hurt? Oh, hey, what do you know? You fixed my back. It's not sore anymore. Thanks, Cole. Here, get some warm cream for your troubles. <laughs> Being part goat, Cole might have a tendency to ram into things, but this won't become a habit, right? Right? At least Rosa will know who to turn to to fix her back problems. To be fair, at this point, I feel she's come to terms with her back problems. I don't know if blunt force trauma will f always fix it. Also, she has magic, so she can make that go away. You think she would have done that first, but I mean, if it works. Maybe it's less effective the more she uses it. Maybe. And maybe magic on oneself is chaotic. Considering you how Rosa's specialty, so considering how much she keeps getting bigger, I'm going to assume trying to fix it is making it worse. So that's let's just assume it's an overflow situation. Thank you. I'm not Batman for the lovely comic. Cole, I call Cole even comment at the bottom. I still feel sore. Well, you had someone land on you. That's your problem. Next up, who framed Lucy Benui? Wait a minute. From BLT, uh, Johnny Valiant and Lucy Benui have the team up to clear Lucy's name. She might be guilty of something, but it wasn't this. Hello again, I saw your tweet about game clearing Roger Rabbit and had the brood, had this brood up over the weekend. Though I guess that makes Rosa and Lucy wives or however that works out. As always, have a great one. And you can just say it's an alternate version, alternate universe. <laughs> Mooch says, you gotta help me, John, I'm innocent, I swear. Okay, well, not that kind of innocent, but innocent in the crime for sure. Don't let them erase me. Uh, it was the Benui. Get her. I also love how fucking buff the Valiant John looks there. <laughs> Hell yeah. Gotta throw them punches. Next up from Waguigi 2020. I mustard ask you a question. Someone had to... Someone had to. Might as well be me. So let's relish this opportunity in baguette and ketchup. I don't see how the baguette one fits. So I mustard ask you a question. Did you kill white mayonnaise? So don't be a sauerkraut and confess. I think you went a little too hard on that to the point where it fell apart. Want to know something funny? A friend of mine from middle school got me into the Metroid series and his name is John, although he likes to be called Jonathan. What a coincidence that I find a streamer and let's player also named John. It's like the most common name in North America, but fair enough. Uh, who I would become a fan years later who would, though, eh, life is strange. P.S. Your life is stranger than fiction and would absolutely be a hit TV show. Video game and book series. Have you thought about doing it or making an official Jonaverse comic series? It could be big hit. I mean, you have the connections. We could do a Jonaverse comic, but it would be expensive because making comics is expensive and I would want the artists to be paid. We'll see. Don't mind the idea, though, Wagawiji. Thank you. Next up, also from Wagawiji, I'm sexy and I know it. I was listening to LMFAO during my bath and this came to me, John in a Speedo. Ah, girl, look at that body. Ah, girl, look at that body. I work out. God, I haven't heard that song in a while. Somebody gets me the brain bleach. Oh, okay. And now before I drink, I ask that somebody draw the whole TRG crew like this with Reese watching and throwing money at them with John having the most. P.S. Would Chugga like Party Rock Anthem, and do you have a favorite LMFAO song? Uh... I do, but you're gonna have to give me a second, because I actually only have, I think... What the fuck is even the name of that album? The one that actually is Party Rock Anthem's even from. Oh, I fucking don't know. Hang on, I got it. Sorry for Party Rocking, that's one. That's actually also my favorite song, I think, is Sorry for Party Rocking. Because it's just such a dumb idea. Uh... But there's also... No, not Champagne Showers. 
the hell is the other song? It's not one of the more popular ones, too. We Came Here to Party is also kind of nice. It's more of a chill jam. Uh, and Hot Dog is kind of weird, but yeah, it's probably like... Probably, probably Party Rock Anthem, Sorry for Party Rocking, and Sexy and I Know It. The three big ones from that album, anyways. Thank you, Wagawiji. And we'll end on this last one, also from Wagawiji, I think. And I cannot read that. That is very blurry. Okay, good, you wrote here. John says, Reese, do I have to be an ass? Reese, I have a sexy ass, a ass, a very sexy ass. Yes, you do, honey buns. Yes, it is a two-person horse costume. Sorry if it's blurry, but I couldn't get a good spot to take a picture. I'm surprised that you and Reese haven't done this. I don't think Reese would enjoy having one of those two-person horse costumes. P.S. The song is Michael Jackson slash Weird Al's Bad slash Fat in Lucagen Speak also. Oh, okay. Can TRG Let's Play Rugrat Scavenger Hunt for N64 as well as Banjo Tooie Multiplayer? I've never played one and thought two was one. Uh, as these games from my childhood that I played with my siblings as a personal request. Uh, we'll see. We haven't done any shooters, and most of the multiplayer from Banjo Tooie, from what I remember, is like the GoldenEye style shooter. Plus, I think we might do Banjo-Kazooie at some point as a single-player playthrough for a meal, when we can meet up and do it better, so we'll see. But I don't be shocked if it takes us doing Kazooie first before you see anything from Tooie. As for Rugrat Scavenger Hunt, none of us have any, like, experience with it, so that one's another wait and see. It's basically a Mario Party, but Rugrats. I'm not... I know, we've played it once on stream, but that was, like, 20... 14, so I barely remember it. Would Kazooie be um, just Chugga playing yeah. or single player? Because I, I think I don't know about Tim. For some reason, I thought he had already LP'd the game before. Uh, but for me, I've definitely played through it, and I led Reese through it as well. So, right. Oh yeah, I remember that that series. Wasn't that only like a year or two ago? Um, that would have been more than that because that was in the townhouse, and we've been in this house for almost three years now. Oh, God. So Which was the one that you got reminded of something, like, in December? Oh, that was from uh, Super Mario RPG. RPG, okay. Has he ever played Banjo before? He's told this story a bunch of times in TRG, and I've, to a point where I've forgotten the full details. Uh, we're, we're going up game, by the way. We'll continue our block after next game section. Um, It was... What the hell was it? No, the story I remember is about him saying he didn't play Banjo-Tooie because he hated Tooie the character and he liked Kazooie and he thought the title meant they got rid of Kazooie, so he never played Banjo-Tooie. But he... There was something about Banjo-Kazooie he did not like. I can't remember if it was he couldn't get past Mumbo's Mountain because he didn't know how the moves worked, or he didn't have a manual. I do not remember. He's told the story and I think I've forgotten most of the details I mean, at this point. I thought it was Spiral Mountain. Did he not even get to Mumbo's Mountain? No, I don't think he ever got out of Spiral Mountain. Oh, shoot. I think you're right, because he skipped... You're right, because he didn't want to read, so he skipped the tutorials, <laughs> and because of doing that, he couldn't get in? Or, or was it he skipped it, but he turned on the tutorial, it, and he didn't want to read and didn't do it? I don't... It's something like that. He screwed that up the tutorial right. as a kid because he hated reading. That sounds... Probably the closest thing to me that... I think I've ever heard Chugga do. Because, yeah, I hated reading as a kid. Oh, someone else reminds me. Apparently he said he also got suckered uh, in by the save and quit and completely rage quit after that because get, like having to leave and game over uh, made him lose the game. So that bothered him. Okay, that was another part. How does Chugga not like reading but then love RPGs like Xenoblade, which is far too much reading? Well, when he played Banjo-Kazooie, he was like six. That's he was how. a child. Yeah, that's why. It was why I never got very far in Super Mario RPG when I rented it as a kid, because I had no idea where the fuck I was going. Remember, he also told the I story as a kid that he couldn't get through Super Metroid because he didn't know where to get the the bombs. Remember that opening area? And remember how in the playthrough, it still took him a while? I gotta rewatch that. Oh, that playthrough. All right. He never read any of the tutorial because he didn't know that B was talk and not A, and he didn't head into the actual game because he thought Grunty's Castle was the final level of the game and spent hours trying to find the actual first level. That's That sounds right. That sounds right. That also sounds kind of fair. 
Gruntis Castle really does look very final level. Unbeknownst to anybody, it was just the main hub of the game. Good times. Let's run countermeasures for, for our boy, our boy High Wing. Thank you, thank you for the raid, Hi Wang. Hopefully your stream was good. You've joined us for something. We're currently trying to beat Who Framed Roger Rabbit for the NES. And uh, it's been a ride so far. We played Vampire the Masquerade today and I'm being an awful blood mage. Nice. Also, my LGS has this game for sale. Is it worth it? Nope. <laughs> nope. Uh, imagine an adventure game where the item locations are randomized, including when you... Was it... Well, did it randomize off of password or was it randomized off of continue? I think it was randomized off password, right? But either way, we, we were stuck for a while simply because we couldn't find where the item we found previously spawned. So... Uh, we we've been in trouble for a little bit. We finally made some progress again. We've actually paused here at uh, Jessica Rabbit's little show here. Can you help me find my phone number and give me a call? No, but how about if I give you a rose instead? Oh Jesus! You almost jumped on my head. Can you help me? Look for the will in a building by Doom's warehouse. Do you, can you give me another one? Wow, she just runs right for those. Ooh, rose. She's not going to give me another hint until we find that one piece, huh? All right, that's fair. Ooh, a rose. Now I'm dancing Ooh, around you. Look at me dance around you. That da Doing one Come. of those special shows out in the crowd. My god, there's just there's too many fucking items in this game. Are you Well, bye, Jessica. You have fun dancing over there. Jessica, if I throw a rose right here, will you just run to where- Oh, now now you're on screen. Hang on, I want to try something. No, oh, she's fucking looking at it! She's booking it! She's booking it! She wants that rose! Hang on, I want to know. I'm going to go as- f Oh, she she left. Oh, she's gone. She she left. She left her own show. Oh, she's She back. got the roses. She's, she's back. She's like, yeah, I'm she good. Got the I was about to say she got paid in the roses she needed for the day. Hang She's on, good. I want to. I want to know. You you're gonna come find this one? Nope, it disappeared. It disappeared. <laughs> Roger came Aww. running though. Roger was ready. I th for a minute, I thought that was Jessica. I thought it was too, and I realized it was Roger. Okay. It was so. So we gotta get back to Toontown, and it's by Doom's warehouse. So we're gonna have to. Uh, do a little bit of driving, because I do believe Doom's Warehouse is pretty far into Toontown. Oh, yeah, it very much is. Okay. I need to shrink the map to see the whole thing. Here, I'm gonna I'm just gonna show you on the map here I've got up. Uh this is the entrance to Toontown oh. at the very bottom right, this blue tube. The giant rectangle near the top, that's Doom's warehouse. We've got to drive all the way up there. 
and then it's in one of those five buildings around it. I'm gonna assume the one in front of it's the one we need. But that's where we're going. Oh, What's that's with the, the two buildings on the right of the warehouse? So, um, one of those is called the Magic Building, where if you go in there when you have an item in your inventory and use it, it spawns nine of that item. Huh. So if you're low on items and you need them, you can go walk over to the Magic House and get them, but you have to have the item in your inventory for it to work. Some people are also reminding about the Kratos Call. Oh shit, you're right, I forgot about the Kratos Call. Uh, hang on, let me go get that. Oh, the 80s uh, and late 90s to early 2000s with these phone numbers. Calling Kratos on the phone, secret message. Oh my god, you don't- why do you have a video of you typing in the number? Come on now. By the gods, you've done it. Somehow you found your way here to me. There's gotta be a better recording of this. I offer you my congratulations and my respect. Together, we shall conquer the perils that lay before us. And we shall always- Dude, dude, do, do, they did it. They found our Easter egg. Who are you? It's me, David Jaffe. I directed the game. What game? <laughs> Your game, God of War. Can you even hear this? This is super quiet in my ears. Don't, don't you get it? I can they hear it. Spent all that time breaking those statues. I mean, they must have taken like forever. And then they figured out the whole secret code thing. I do not know what you are talking about. We hid this secret pretty damn deep, huh, Kratos? If I kill you, I will get bored. So wait, 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 wait. If you got the secret from the net or a magazine, then actually you kind of suck. I mean, work for it a bit, right, Kratos? Actually, can I call you Crate? No. Go away, Ron. Right? Actually, <laughs> you want to get the codes off the net? It's so lazy. Hey, see, Crate, what, what are you so pale for? I am serious. You know, up close, you actually look kind of pasty, if you don't mind me saying it. It's kind of gross. Oh, my God. <laughs> ah! There you go. That's that. that's the secret phone call you can find in the original God of War. And it's uh, Kratos murdering David Jaffe. That was ridiculous and great. I love it. <laughs> I thought there was a higher quality version of that out there, and I'm pretty sure there is, but that was the first result that came up. God! Oh my god, please, game. Why are you so angry? Because I'm playing this game. It's all the rage. Oh, fuck! I didn't press select fast enough to get back in the car. I got ran over. Has anyone ever told you that it's really, really stupid that if you don't solve that in time, it's an instant game over? It's not an instant game over, you lose a life. Well, lose a... But yes, you it's stupid. I mean. It is annoying. To be fair, it's also annoying that usually will lead to you losing a life anyways, because the game literally... Wait, they're going... What? They're... I'm chasing them now! Oh! The tables have turned! Oh, fuck. I, f I went the wrong way. Uh-oh. Now they're gonna be chasing me. Nope. Or they got lost. Okay. That works. Apparently, Droid has a quality version of the call somewhere in his God of War video. Yeah, I didn't want to dig around that, but sure, if I, mean, I can play it back in better quality if... We find the Gerard one. Uh, I need to bring the map back up because I am actually kind of lost right now. I think you're at the billions on top of Doom's warehouse. No, I'm at the right spot. I'm at the right spot. Okay, so I need to go up here. Fuck! Of course, I had two turns I could have taken. What's worse than raining cats and dogs? Oh, hailing. Where is it? Hailing Benny the Cat. Thank you. 
All right, we're almost. <laughs> we're almost there. Oh my God. Now for the are long we there up yet? and down. Are we there yet? The music changed, yet? so apparently we are almost there. Are we there yet? Here we go. It should be here, hopefully. Yo, is there anything here? Can you help me? No. Oh, fuck's sake. No one in Thanks, this asshole. game is helpful. They said it was near, right? Or did they say it was above? Because there's four houses above the warehouse. They just said near Doom's, Doom's warehouse. Okay, so it's not this one then, unless I've just walked past it and didn't see it. Right, let's try one of the other four. All right, hang on, I need to... Bye! Fuck you, I should've taken your car. Oh, they're just walking past their own car. All right, you're just making my life real easy now. Oh, bye. They're so angry that they're like, no, we're gonna chase after him on foot. All right, that's Doom's warehouse. And yet they are still somehow, like, just barely off screen. Can you help me? No, oh my god, come on. What is the point of you people if you literally don't no answer the one question? No wants to help Eddie Valiant. Hello. Yeah, because it's snowing. Yeah. No. Oh, buddy, I'm sorry. Yeah, he looks real cranky. He was, he was sleeping in this chair for like the last two hours of the stream. Yeah. I only, I only just got it back when he woke up. Where in the world is this piece of the will? Speaking of Reese, I am reminded, did you figure out a way to get that butt table? Oh, no, we haven't yet. I didn't oh, go that. to the store after all. I forgot to today. Okay. Okay, building is done. <laughs> hey! The table. This lady has been the most helpful out of everybody so far. I know, and I'm still so paranoid, I'm still checking anyways. <laughs> She wasn't lying. Okay. There's two more buildings we can check. Ma'am, can you help me? This building is empty, good God. Well, I guess the process of elimination. Hopefully, if this one's empty as well, we're kind of boned. If this one's empty, we get to go back to all the buildings and double check. At the very least, the first three, possibly. Can you help me? No, I'm afraid I can't. What are you laughing at? Him? <laughs> I did not hear Bagel. Say morale. Oh my! Oh my God! It's right there! Thank God! That's three parts of the will. Three parts of the will. Again, also notice we still have the dynamite. The game just arbitrarily took it away when we used the passcode. We just need one more piece of the of the will, and then we can start moving forward with the actual end of the game. Yay! But we have to go find one of the three characters that'll tell us where the last piece of the will is. Our options are go find baby. I keep saying Huey, but it's Hubert, right? Uh, I don't remember with a about rattle, which I about. don't think we have any left. No, we don't. We do not. Fuck. Uh, so we gotta either go find Dolores or we gotta go find Jessica. Which means we're leaving Toontown. Uh. Herman. Why do we keep thinking it's a completely different name? Eight. Dolores is probably our best bet. I mean, Eight. she's closer, but not Eight. by much. Eight. 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 Whoa! Good job, oh, they're chasing, but they're stuck. Eight. They are stuck on another vehicle. 
I wish you could actually use the fast speed when you're not being chased, because I feel that would make this be a bit more tolerable. Like, the driving itself is fine. It's annoying that all these vehicles are in the middle of the road, but the driving is otherwise fine. <laughs> it just sucks that the, uh, that the weasels will show up in front of you sometimes, so you have no choice but to do the challenge. Uh, no, 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 wrong turn, wrong turn. Alright, they're behind us this time. Oh, they're coming! They're coming! They're rubber banding! Run! Drive, Benny. Drive like your life depends on it. Which I guess his doesn't, technically. He's fine, no matter what. Drive like Roger's life depends on it. I don't think he cares enough. Damn. Okay. Uh, might as well just go visit Jessica. We've got more flowers than we do hearts anyways. Oh, fuck! Right in front of it. What's the best cure for water on the brain? Tap... something... Tap on the head? Thank you, tap on the head. Okay, let's get in there. Jessica, I brought more flowers for you. I'm gonna put it over here, though. You gotta earn this one. Or <laughs> she's not coming back, she's upset. Because like I said she had to earn a flower. Here. Near home! <laughs> Can you she help me? really does go after that. Ah, oh, fuck! Oh, no! Fuck! Oh. I knew oh, it. How many... I knew Is that it. another rattle? It's another rattle, and we're out. Oh, we need to God. find more rattles. Damn it. I was really hoping you were wrong. <sighs> Did they take a copy of Rattle and Roll? They, I don't think they made that yet at this point. Fuck. Okay, so there are, I believe, three caves around LA. It's in this main hub area. But we can't do it unless we get a rattle, because I'm pretty sure everyone is guarded by a snake. So, I don't know if we have to go to the stores and hope to God that it they spawn there, or if we have to go find a building that carries rattles. And I forget which one we found them in earlier. Was that 19? That might have been 19. Cigars. What if I buy literally everything in your shop? Will you will you give me the item I need? No, you just really want me to smoke cigars. Oh, come on. Here, well, I bought a million cigars. Here, you have one. Oh. Have another one. He can't smoke. It's bad for his health. Have another one. Have another one. Another one. Five cigars to kill him! Doesn't it only take, like, two punches? Uh, it depends on how much I've charged the punch. Ah. I think it's, like, three full punch charges or something. Oh, more cigars. Convenient, because I used them all just then. Uh, oh, come on! I would love to do anything else in this game, please. So I'm assuming we can't leave until you beat him. No, we can't leave and we can't go in the building. Shit, shit. We literally have no choice until he is gone. And I don't know what dictates him showing up. I think it is fairly random. Here's the wind up. Yeah. Here's the wind up. Sorry, buddy. It's snowing. You can't go out. You hate the snow. Shit. I hate when I miss. No! The pot that Roger was blocking. Uh, well, good news. Now I don't have to fight him. But I still need the item, so I have to go back in. Cheese! Hopefully the shop... <laughs> I was gonna say, hopefully the shop reset. <laughs> now the shop reset, but not with what we needed. That is unfortunate. Yay, yay, yay. Yeah, where's the other shop? We're just gonna have to go there and hope.
Finally, Camille's calling card. Try entering a different building and coming back. We've tried that before. Whistles, which are helpful, but I think we still have plenty of them. Yeah, we still have seven. We're fine there. Are there any of these that are nearby the, like, region loading zones? There are two might... in total. Oof. And they're the ones that we have driven back and forth from. Because, yeah, if I were to speculate a guess... Um... Still cheese! <laughs> Jeez. Um... I would think that they wouldn't keep the entire world loaded at once. You would think that. But who knows? You would think that. Mister, I'm sorry. You have no choice. It's bad weather again. Roses. Are we gonna- we're gonna have to hunt down rattles again, aren't we? That's it. That's- we- I, we don't have a choice. Flashlights, which I think we actually might need to restock. No, we're fine. I got five. Ugh. How many caves were there total? I- in LA, I think three. If I could find my damn wallet, I'll buy it again. And if we find a rattle, it gives us three, so we'll be fine if we can get the rattles again. I think it was 19. I'm checking 19 again. Whoop. Yep, it was definitely here, because I remember that asshole. Ma'am, is there anything here? Please tell me there is. Ugh. I'm sorry, buddy. Oh, I heard that one. Yeah, he... he's mad. Hi. I can't do anything about it, buddy. Is going into Valance office reset shops? Mm, nope. I don't know what dictates it. It might just be... time? You would think it would be going into another loading zone. Like, now the shop might have something different. That rat, every time. Here, let's go to the shop now and see what's different, if anything. This one had roses last time, and still does. Yeah, I like this. Roses are red, violence is due. If I could just get back to it. Randomness is for roguelites, this game is poo. Mm. That sounds like it's probably from AVGN's video, if I had to guess. Yep, they haven't changed! Ugh. I thought there was some way to change what's in the store. Mister, I'll open that door for you, but it's just the storage room. Hi. No, you can't. I gotta stay here. I'll open this door. I can't go upstairs, buddy. Uh, I've also just now realized I did not turn on my game timer. So... Who knows how long we've been on this this time. There goes my TV remote. Very 20 minutes-ish? How long? 20 minutes-ish, I think. Okay, I was gonna say, I didn't think it was that long. Here, I'll turn on my timer and we'll just assume after an hour maybe we'll just go take a break. All right, someone pitched the idea of leaving town and coming back, and at this point, I'm willing to try anything. Especially since- He's desperate. Like, this is also right next to a warp, so it's not terrible. Unless the cops keep catching us here, which they have. Ugh, or the weasels. What trees do fingers and thumbs grow on? Palm trees. Our punchline meter is almost full. This is not gonna be easy. Crowbars, it changed! Check the other shop. It looks like we do have a loading that trick that'll actually make it change. And thankfully the cycle is short enough to be reasonable. Yeah. <laughs> Leave town IRL. Get away from this game. I I can only have one of these. 
Get out of here. Did you check what the shop was after you bought the crowbar? Uh, no, I did not, but usually it ends up being the same thing again anyways. And since we're here, still crowbar. Conveniently, that also gets the weasels off of us. What does the punchline meter do? AB ABGN didn't say. The punchline meter is how you get out of those, uh, those grabbings from the actual weasels. You have to sort through it and find the correct answer to what Roger is saying, because he's attempting to make the weasels laugh so they'll drop him. So the it's not from the actual weasels that text box is, it's from Roger and Eddie. I didn't mean to ask, do the hitting the cars actually do damage to you? No. It's the same items. <laughs> what am I supposed to do? Is it just after X amount of loads it does something? Like, we're stuck now, basically. Is it just an in-game timer? It has to be at this point, right? The only other thing I can think of at this point, let's go look at the caves that are around and let's hope we don't need the rattle. Maybe we're maybe we're lucky and we don't need it. He said in delusion. Um, at this point, we gotta do something. And maybe this will be enough time to rotate the next items in and out. Snake, no will. Where are the other caves? Oh, please don't be that one in a really bad spot. That would suck. Okay, they're both on the right side of LA. So of course, that's gonna be the one. Yeah, no, because one is pretty easy to get to off the highway. One, you have to do a lot of walking around. Bagel is upstairs crying because he wants to go out that bad. All right, cave number two is here. Uh, it might be. Hang on. One of these days I'll remember where anything is on this fucking list. <laughs> snake, no will. Every cave has had a snake, though, which is what worries me. Um, it's a snake. Bye. Later, fuckers. Okay, cave number three is in a really shitty spot, so I'm gonna see if I can do the skip again. Cool, that works. That saves so, a surprising amount of time. So there's, I assume they there's hit the last cave. back to you? What? Did they just bump Eddie back to you after he got hit? No, I used the whistle, and that summons him to the nearest road you're on. But, uh... Okay. It skips, like, I... Because I have to go all the way to the left on the map, go up, then go right, or I can just use that whistle and skip all that. And there's the will next to a snake. At least we know where it is now? Yeah. The only downside is you are out of your car and there's a reasonable time until you get back to the car. Yeah, it is a long walk back to that car. So Ow. we have to figure out where the fuck Ow. we're gonna find rattles at this point. Here, just to show how long of a drive it is otherwise if we don't do that skip. And this is sped up, mind you, because we're being chased. That is how much driving we skipped by just walking over and using the whistle. Wow. I thought it was the corner before, if I'm gonna be honest. Nope. Fuck! 
Why are false teeth like stars? We, uh... Only come out at night? I know, we gotta find it is the problem. The longer we're in this, the more answers there are and the harder it is to get there in time. That wouldn't be as bad if the answers loaded immediately instead of scrolling in. I hate that it takes two seconds before you can even use them. How many whistles do I have right now? It's next to my fists. Six, eh, I might as well. A little off topic, but I just scrubbed through Gerard's video and there isn't actually no recording to save you the trouble of looking. Oh, well shit. Oh, come on! Where's that portable hole? I'm just sick of this guy's shit at this point. I only have two left, too. Uh, did the shop restock? Nope, still whistles. God! Wow. I... Why? Because the game hates him. Fuck. I still love that Roger's hanging off the UI, but I think that's I, the I, only that, like, that's a nice to touch. It just sucks that I have to keep doing this multiple times in the same building. There we go. Two full strength punches. Okay, other shop. <laughs> Come on! There has to be some way to change the items! We're fucked! Uh, somebody was asking, how, how are you recording the game footage? The, the one here by Video Gamer Raptor? I'm using an HDMI uh, NES. It is called, I think, the AVS by Retrobit, I think? Retro USB. Retro USB, thank you. And the problem is, they, just like analog, they're probably not going to ship any out till 2023. some way to change this. Please tell me there is. I'm gonna throw a fucking brick at you. No. The clerk or the rabbit? Uh, take your pick at this point. Sir, if I give you a wallet... No, you're just gonna give me a rose. If I give you another wallet, I will give you entire wallets if you give me the rattle I need for progress! I'll pay whatever you want. Name your price. Please, just for the love of God. I need a rattle. I needed so it yesterday. So our, our only other option at this point is literally just going to every stage that we know has an item and hoping we find one. Oh, it's not even the right building. Oops. Actually, well, since I'm here. Oh, fuck off. I'm so sick of you. It wouldn't be as bad if I didn't have to, like, get somewhere to not get hit so I can actually go through my items and find a way to attack him. And I missed. Fuck. He mad now. He's very mad. There we go. Get out of here. Uh, tell me there's an item in here. Tell me this is the building I need for the rattle. Someone. Okay, there's an item in this building. Nope. Guys, what do I do? What do I... Genuinely, what do I do? Am I just in RNG's grasp at this point? Do I have no choice but to keep waiting till the shops update? I have a terrible possibility. Because you got... What was it, three rattles total? Yeah. No, there's no way it's a soft lock. If that's what you're thinking, there's no fucking way. This game's got issues, but I don't think it has a soft lock issue. <sighs> a 
what the hell could we do at this point? I guess we're just gonna have to systematically check every building. I can't find anything that says where to get one. That's because straight up, the items are randomized, so we're gonna have to check every building that normally has an item and hope to God it's there. Also known as play this entire game basically twice over. We basically have to play through the entire game, yeah. Okay, we got a building locked. Can you help me? No, I'm afraid I can't. Shit. Where's my crowbar? A heart? Well, there's an item. Not as helpful as I wanted. Empty. Okay. We're gonna have to systematically check every item. Or check every store. Although, hang on yeah. now. Um, there's one thing I'm trying to figure out. This map seems to have uh, a listing of every area that has an item in it. So it shows what ones we can check and hope for. So I think that might be it. I think we're just gambling at this point. You did do the super password, right? What super password? I don't know what you mean by super password. Okay. According to this list, there might be an item here somewhere too. Ma'am, tell me, for the love of God, is there an item here? Yes, this building is empty. Fuck. Back to the store. Cigars. Oh. Yeah, so the Game Facts Guide I looked up says, Note, I cannot tell you where all items are found, as they are random each game. Just talk to people and search buildings. Yeah, that's it. We have no choice but to search randomly, or start over again. Which means the rattle will still be somewhere, it's just well, it'll be in a different place, potentially. It is not beneficial. <laughs> Fuck. Speaking of not beneficial. Oh no. Well, there's our current password, but we got one continue left. Super password gives you eight of each item. So we're cheating. No, I'm good. I'd, I'd rather not cheat to get it. I would rather get it genuinely. But I will admit, patience is wearing thin. <laughs> Since we are essentially now in, like, in the throes of RNG, we have no choice. Rattle. Fuck. What? <laughs> I was oh, trying to speak oh, into it. Oh, existence. you were trying to make it will it into existence. Okay. All right, I'm gonna check every building on this map that shows it has an item, and hope to God it actually has an item. Oh yeah, yeah. It may actually be faster just to. Ch oh my God! It won't be faster if this keeps happening. He pops up so frequently. Why is he so frequent? Like, he does not need to show up this fucking often. Fuck you, buddy. My god, look at all those prompts. I know. Can you help me? Please, for the love of god. Oh. I'm just checking every fucking building at this point. I just don't think we have a choice in the matter. It could also benefit us to go search in Toontown at this point, because at least then it's different. My god, we may actually have to if everyone keeps saying the building's empty. The worst part is, we know where the will is, we just can't get it. We can attempt, like, a death landing, but I can't- I don't- Oh, you fucker. I don't think we're gonna get that lucky. Who made it, if anything, we should go to Toontown just to get more of those black holes to make him stop fucking showing up. You know what, that actually sounds like a really good idea. At this point, I think that might be our only option. 
<sighs> Let's check the store again. Uh, Dusk Rare actually made this game. Cheese, so it's a different item. And LJN published the game. Yeah, Rare made a couple games for LJN, including Nightmare on Elm Street, which is a decent game! So I hoped that maybe I would just really bat at the game as a kid. No, it is a bad game. It has... it has some issues. Okay, let's so try... let's just try Toontown places again. It's so funny how Mimi the Friday the 13th and the Nightmare on Elm Street NES games became even well after, like, the, the nerd episodes. Are there shops in Toontown? Supposedly not! Supposedly not! But I'll check this map again to see. I think Toontown is actually just straight up places. Oh, we're chasing the cops again. Nope, they turned around. What trees, your fingers and thrones, guys? Palm trees. Uh, I'm looking to see if there's any store in Toontown, and the answer seems to be no. <laughs> no, there are not. Uh, let's try it. Oh, right. We also had the issue that a bunch of these places just didn't have anyone to talk to, to ask. Or I could be not paying attention and get hit by that. Boots. Pigman. Can you help me? Thank you. Is this the one that had? Okay, an actual lady. Can you help me? Oh, fuck off. You wanna help Go me away, now? You horrid man! I mean, I can't blame her. I can. Mm, no, I think I think I can still not blame her. Thank you, pig man. I'm leaving. I'm not leaving. Wait, why can't I leave? He's not here. There he is. The fucker. I have, by the way, I didn't mention this. To build up the strength meter, I have to mash the B button. That is not a hold, that is a mash. Uh, was there even a house this way? Well, fuck it, we're checking now. Oh yeah, there's this one. Oh shit. Ma'am, ma'am, come back, please. Ma'am, can you help me? Uh... <laughs> I just want a rattle, please. I don't care what I have to do to get it. Please, I just need a baby rattle. And that is gonna be the art prompt for tonight for just watching Eddie just. Or Valley Why just trying to find a rattle. these stores suck so much? Ugh. It's like, I want a rattle, please. Dude, I can't tell if we would have better luck if we just kept trying to get it from the RNG of the store or not. Empty. Dude, like, at this... It's almost becoming to that. But the, it doesn't seem just like... Just killed off? Sure! Oh, yeah, we... I forgot about this building. We kept getting killed here. That was when we actually had to continue the first fucking time. Dude, please. Ugh. Here we start quoting Nietzsche again. Can you help me? Sorry, I cannot help you. Oh, let's keep checking doors till someone can help me. Can you help me? Oh. Come on. Ma'am, can you help me? No. We went in that door. We are not cheating. We are not tainting the victory. Yeah, no, I'm I'm fucking earning this. This is revenge on the game. I I don't care. This is a Pyrrhic victory. It's a fucking victory. We're not using the code. 
Although I'm getting sick of these guys saying they cannot help me, that is not making this go by any faster. Good, great, fantastic. I only searched five out of you six doors. The, I was gonna say, the moment you get to the last door. There are so many ways this could be almost reasonable. And they managed I, to implement... Yeah. Any, like an NES adventure game can work. This isn't the first or only adventure game on the NES. Fucking King's Quest V is on the NES. Ma'am, I'm trying to talk to you. Empty. Empty. Just like our soul. Dude, I'm running out of buildings. <laughs> it's gonna come down to the point where I have to check caves. But it's caves gonna be guarded by too. snakes, so I can't do shit. There's like, what am I supposed to do here? Genuinely. You know, funny enough, the one simple fix you could have had for this game was fix it to where you could actually select the inventory of the store. That would be a simple fix. Another would just be making items predictable. I, I honestly thought, manner. for some reason, I, I as a kid thought you could change the item. I swear even Nintendo Power told you how to do it, but apparently not. Apparently it's a, a Mandela effect. Apparently I just thought that was the case. I also don't remember what building maybe Herman was in at this point. I feel like we should have bumped into him at some point by now, too. Uh, can you help me? Empty. Okay. Unless the game is just lying and these empty buildings are not actually empty, but that might be actually worse at this point if that's the case. What are the chances it's lying about a dropped item, but not about searching? You think it would say, like, the building is empty, but if I search, I would still find something? Potentially? Like, that's the one thing that I saw listed literally anywhere, was search everything. <sighs> yeah, but the problem is, if some of these are going to be impossible to search because there's enemies running around. And they're blocking the spots I need to search. Pig boy, can you help me? Empty. And so far, like, every building that's ha they say has you should search in has had something in it. So that's why I think it's feasible they're not lying. But we are running out of options. Very much at this point. Can you really call it a victory if the game is aggravating? I can! Yes. I can, because then I <laughs> Actually, never, yes. never have to play it again. After that, we can talk all the shit we want. Or I can earn, learn the fucking six-minute speedrun, which is also fantastic, and then I don't have to worry about it ever again, too. Just rub it in the game's face. Oh, I gotta move. Oh, wait, let's try again. Can you help me? Building is empty. Congratulations, John. We've raided like all the buildings in town. We are genuinely running out of buildings to check. It's got to be back in LA at this point. We right, might. We may 100% have to just keep playing roulette with the stores. And that sucks. That sucks a lot. There's not even any of those damn holes. John, are you gonna be okay? I had hope. <laughs> I had hope if I kept bugging him, he would change his mind. I love how Roger is just running around in the background when you do that anyway. Billing's empty! I'm dead! No, oh, nope, survived. Okay, I think we only have one hit left, though. Uh, don't think we checked this one. At this point, I can't remember. They're all blending together. I thought we did. Oh, it doesn't help when they do that. 
can you help me? Oh, I skipped your dialogue. Nope. You've been the most helpful character so far. Thank you. There's a big building over here I haven't checked. Fuck it, at this point, I'm just gonna hope for a random search. Could it just be a random ass search at this point? Like, I'm running out of places, like, if I search every place that they've told me is empty, we're going to be here all night. I genuinely hoped we would have been done this game by now, or at least at the final boss. And the thing is, when we get the last piece of the will, we are at the final boss! <laughs> we just can't get to the final boss because we can't get a rattle to spawn. At this point, we're actually gonna have the other problems, like this is our last continue and our last life. If we have to type in the password, the will moves! <laughs> And we need to find the dynamite again. It might be better if the will moves, all things considered. It might just move to a different cave. We might have the exact same issue. There's that, plus I think the dynamite was actually important for the end game. The dynamite I need to get to Toontown. <laughs> oh, right. So we, if in fact, if we need to use the password, we might have two things we need to search for that we can't find because we don't have a rattle. That's gonna hit me, that's gonna hit me! Ah, oh, damn it. You were supposed to help us, you traitor! Break time? We're not even close to a break. We got another half hour at least. And we're not broken yet. The, the biggest problem with that endless beat is that we need to get lucky enough to not have the will and the dynamite show up in a cave. And the chances of that happening, knowing this game, I wouldn't be surprised if one, if not both, are hard coded there. I, for I some think. I think. Reason. Oh fuck, that hurt. Uh, I think it actually straight up is there are. Anytime I've seen a speed run of this game, they've gotten a piece of the will in a cave in L.A. So I think straight up, like, one is in a building near Doom's place. One is in a cave. Oh damn it! All right, we need the password. I think they're all in like similar places to where we got them. L two H four three nine three B dash four V G H V nine dash zero B zero seven H D zero K. At least they gave you a long ass time to write it down. I yeah, I I feel like they shouldn't need a timer on this screen in the first place, but at least they give you a reasonable amount of time. 45 seconds is enough time if you know a password's coming. Even if Dude, that password's as ungodly long like that one is. It's kind of infuriating they put a timer on that page, I'm not going to lie. I it's didn't because even notice it's because that. it's the continue page. It's the same page as the continue. Oh boy, let's type it in. L2 H four three nine three 
So once we finally find what we're trying to get, should we go to the ma magic building just to make sure we have enough? Oh, at this point, maybe. <laughs> I'll, use, I'll use two normally, and then if I have to, I will fucking go to the magic building. Uh, 4v. For the GH. A9. Thank you. Zero. Zero. B zero. zero eight. That's a B. That was a B. Zero yeah. B zero seven H. Seven H. D. Doc, okay. M D zero K. Okay, what do we have? One bomb, eight flashlights, two boxing gloves, the detonator, eight crowbars, four bricks, one portable hole, six wallets, five cigars, nine baseballs, six six shooters, two fish bones, four hearts, three meat. Nine cheese, the password, spring shoes, seven roses, three quarters of the will, and nine whistles. We need to find the dynamite yet again. First and foremost, oh, and we also have to find Eddie, although I have a whistle. I'm sorry, I said it again, Eddie. Benny, we have to find Benny again. D oh my God! Wow. We take those. We take those. Yeah, Thank we take those. God. Okay, that's one search done at least. We still need the rattle, but now we don't need the dynamite anymore. There you are. Oh, if the other shop has the rattle, I may actually cry. Genuinely, I may actually cry. It's locked. Oh, crap. Cigars. Fuck. So close. You know what? Fuck it. I'm gonna buy the damn thing anyways. No, okay. he doesn't want a hug. He wants the rattle. I really, that's what really we've been saying. We want this entire rattle. time. I just want the rattle at this point, man. Uh, let's let's check LA. Let's check every building in LA. Rattle machine broke. The what use are you maniacal? Empty. All right, let's let's start this in order. Let's start in top left again. Would it be worth trying to go to the, um, to get the hint from, um, oh, Jessica? Uh, yeah, we can do that, too. I mean, that's one of the first buildings we'll bump into, so we'll just, we'll just start doing these in order, and then we'll get the hint. Oh, shit, it was back there. Uh, I don't know where the cops are anymore, either, or the weasels. Yeah, fuck it. I'm here at the shop. Whistle. God, they're all locked again. One of these days, I'll remember the order. Can you help me? Empty. Fifteen. Can you help me? Empty. Locked again. Ma'am, can you help me? Cannot. Yeah, this is a big one, too. Ma'am, can you help me? This building is empty.
I mean, that was cathartic at least. Sir, can you help me? Empty. Ink and paint. Oh, you need the passcode again. Because we technically haven't done that. Let me in. What's the password? Walt sent me. Okay, come in. Thanks. Like the monkey suit. Smart Alec. Jessica, I've got your favorite thing. Roses. If I could find them in my pocket somewhere. No, it's right next to the will. Here. Can you help me? Look for the will in a cave around LA. We still need the rattle. <sighs> yep. Yep. Yeah. Yep. I'm trying to. I'm trying to look. I'm finding literally jack shit. Yeah, I did some looking myself. Just nothing other than. Search literally everything. I would, but this dog seems to be really intent on knocking me out. They also mentioned, and I can now not unsee it, that when you search trash cans, it looks like he's peeing in the trash can. Oh my god! Oh my god! What? Ooh. The rattles. Oh my god! We came to 19 earlier, they weren't there. Ugh. And now they'll probably be in the fucking shops. No, flashlights are though. How are we, are we doing for flashlights? I think you're good on flashlights. Eight, you were fine. Do you want to risk going to the magic building just to make sure we got some more rattles? I'm gonna do two of them. And if it comes, if I get to one and we still don't have it, I'll go to the magic building. I will chance it without, unless we get in trouble. That's where the f you fucking found them in the first place when the the password reset it. Exactly. That's fucking stupid. Uh, but we got it. It was what nineteen. It was nineteen. All right. It's not in this one. It's gonna be in the far one. It's gonna be That's the same one where again. It's hard -coded. I'm betting it's the same one. That has to be where it's hard coded. It's not hard coded because I watched a speed run today and they grabbed it in that one I just walked in. Oh. Okay, yeah. then. Never it mind. actually is randomized, which explains why, as a kid, sometimes I could find the pieces of the will, and other times I couldn't. Because they were randomized, and I just didn't know what that meant as a kid. Flashlights. Spring shoes. No will. So it is, in fact, the same one. All right, Benny. Oh, no, wait. There we go. I'm gonna say, no way I'm out of whistles. <laughs> I love that bounce walk. That bounce walk is so great. All right, here we go. It's gotta be that cave. That has to be it. Fuck you, At weasels! Weas oh, never mind. The weasels aren't gonna be able to get caught on the ledge. No. But they have to navigate around the whole time. They're not gonna get us. We're fine. Never mind. They did get caught on the ledge. All right. There it is. Now to not <laughs> get knocked out by the bird. <laughs> I had to, I had to try. God. I had to try. I fucking had to try. Uh <laughs> Just don't let the bat bird thing hit you like the first we, time. We have 3 rattles. We'll be okay. The will is complete. That's new. John. I didn't know I could do that. Um <laughs> Please validate the will is still intact. The, it wasn't there. Yeah, it's it's complete. Very okay, good. good. Let's GTFO. Leave, I, I'm not gonna leave this.
this kind of game to chance as to whether or not they're protected against, like, death locks like that. All right, so here's where we play good news, bad news. Good news, we can go to the end of the game now. Bad news, the final boss is notoriously difficult. Yeah. Judge Doom. Fuck him. I still somehow suspect it's going to be less time spent on that final boss than we spent searching for a single rattle. Oh. Be careful what you say. Yeah, I would definitely be careful what you say because I have definitely seen and heard people have suffered trying to beat this guy. Fair enough. Remember, this was the NES era. A lot of these games were short, but they were exceptionally mean in certain aspects. Actually, wait, no, before we bounce out of town, I need to go see if Jessica's still at the club. Because <clears throat> if memory serves, in this part of the story now, she should be missing. No, she's still there. Can you help should me? Should we help her with her? She's supposed to be missing right now, I thought. Well, let's give her another rose. At least I thought that's what I read online. Here you go, ma'am. Mine, 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 mine! Can you help me? You have the whole will! Go Now go to Doom's warehouse. Okay. But why do we want to go to- Why do we want to go to Doom's warehouse? Shouldn't we give this to, like, the proper authorities? You would think, but... No. <laughs> Speaking of... What's worse than raining cats and dogs? Hailing Benny the Cab. So I forget, what was- I know making them laugh essentially blew them up, but was there a reason why they laugh- they blew up because of that? Because <clears throat> they're stupid. Cause... They're, they're idiots, they just start laughing. I think there's literally like a, a plot point of the movie where like, Eddie hates comedy and he hates cracking jokes. So, to get out of a, being captured, Roger gets him to crack a joke and that's how they get out of it. They just made this a, a minigame mechanic, essentially. Tap on the head, yeah. Thankfully, your your what is that joke bar? Punchline bar. Yeah, it gets only reset. At like seven. Yeah, apparently they laugh and fall into various death pits. They die laughing. All right. Actually, this also. This now just reminds me of that one meme I posted in VIP room with the the Betty Boop bit, bit but it's what? <laughs> well, it goes zub oh, zub okay. zub a bee flying backwards. I'm a little worried now. That's three times That's... they've stopped us since we've gotten into Toontown. That one's really bad. <laughs> Yeah, they're like, not. Like, most of these are bad, yeah. but... <laughs> Some of them are alright, but most of them are not. But to be fair, that's, again, in line with the movie, because, like, Eddie just is really bad at, at jokes. He's terrible at them. Wasn't the whole point he he was actually trying to be a comedian at first, but then his brother died? Yeah, his brother got killed by a tune, and he hated tunes. Wham, what would you like to be on a cold day? Oh, otter, right. We did this one already, because it's hotter. I'm beginning to see why you hate puns now? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I thought the whole... And the big twist was the fact that it was Ju Judge Doom's character that actually killed his brother. Yeah, that's the point. And Judge Doom was a toon, because he saw the eyes of the character. He said, a toon did it. I saw his eyes. And that's why... Or no, he or heard his voice. It's one of the two, I forget which. But it, it generally is he, it was a, he knows it's a toon. I think it, it was, was the eyes. Voice. All right, here we go, folks. To get in here, I need to throw a baseball. If I'm putting two and two together from a bit that was posted in the mod room, I'm pretty sure it was his voice because that's why he says, and I talked like this, yeah. really high on helium. All right, here we go. Final boss fight. Jessica and Roger have been kidnapped. I now have to defeat Judge Doom. The uh, the punchline bar is now our health meters. His is on the left, mine's on the right. We have to get his to the middle. If ours gets to the middle, we lose a life. If his gets to the middle, we start the next phase of the fight. 
<laughs> I'm gonna try the gun. I feel like the gun is not the right strategy. Oh, that's doing nothing! Wow! Okay. Huh. All right, it is what was, so I've seen two things about this game. One is like the gun I thought was some magic way to do it. The other is getting him in an punch. infinite punch loop. We have to do a punch loop. He is a tune, I mean, I guess, yeah. All right, so we have to charge up our punches and go to the fucking town. But he's also got Hulk oh. hands, so he does more damage than you do. The easiest way is just to get him stuck against the wall in a loop, but also, easier said than done. We will be here, likely till break. I'm trying to suss out any, like, patterns he has. That's gonna be a long shot, yep. Long shot, yep. You're in the corner. Oh, fuck. Yeah, we're, we're getting bodied. Ooh. Long shot. Dude, I can't get away from him. <laughs> We've barely he moved died. his meter and we're almost dead. Fuck. Th that health, his health bar didn't move at all. I mean, those were all I minimum strength moved. punches, but yeah. It's, it's, it's his health bar's moved, twice. it just hasn't moved much. There we go! Fuck. So there's a way to keep in max strength with all your punches. It's a weird rhythm thing. But obviously if I can't, yeah, shit, we lost it. But if I can't get in and actually do any damage to him, we're, we're SOL. Like I, I have to get him in a loop with like max power punches now. That's our only hope at this point. And we lost it. Ugh. The hearts do heal you, do they? Oh right, because some of the items work differently now in this mode. The game straight up tells you that, or the manual rather does. All right, does a bomb do anything to you now because you're a cartoon character? Flashlight, probably not. Boxing glove. He, oh, he, he did get hit by it, he just bounces back. Uh, crowbar. Rick. This is all literally. My God, just. Put a hole. Nope, stands in front of it. So tanky. Would you like a cigar? Uh, oh no, no, I guess if you don't get close from here, have a cigar. Have, here. Oh, the cigar's actually doing some damage. That does a reasonable amount, yeah. Huh. Reasonable. The fine reasonable. Can... Uh, not less than one pixel. Base of all. Oh, that goes very high. Never mind. That ain't gonna work. Uh, fishbone, no. Rattle, no. Heart would heal me, apparently. Meats, cheese, password, spring shoes. Ain't, that ain't gonna do shit. Would you like love? No. <laughs> he punches your love. Would you like the will? Actually, you would actually like that. No, you're not getting that. Uh,. Yeah, we got we got nothing, dude. We gotta go for it. We gotta do punch combos. I gotta I gotta make sure I'm moving fast enough to build this up. Power up! Punch! Punch! Ah, fuck! It goes away so fast.
Long shot. Fuck! Here's the thing, even if after we do this first part, we can still fail if we're not careful. Fuck. I can't get that rhythm down. Oh, I did that time though. I mean, it's moving. Fuck, I cannot keep that charge anymore. What's he spitting at me? I don't remember from the movie, but it looks like a rocket. Uh oh. There we go, there's a couple hits. Oh shit! Oh. His eyes are shooting daggers. Uh, it's the exploding that was throwing me off, but that makes sense. Again, it's been a long ass time since I've seen this movie. Damn it. No, oh, fuck. I wish I knew how to keep my, uh, my meter for the most part. Sometimes I can get it to work, sometimes I can't. There we go, there's a couple good hits. I have the, I'm gonna have to double check where we are in that end meter, and if love does actually heal us, then I'm gonna have to do that. Shit. I know that in phase two, no matter what, he will instant kill me, so it doesn't matter how much health I have for phase two, it just matters for this phase. Fuck, well if I miss, that also doesn't help. Alright, let's see if that heart actually does heal me. Love. Um. That did jack shit. You lied, chat. Did I use it in the wrong spot? Is that. Someone says they were thinking of Dick Tracy? I'm gonna assume that is. How about this meat? No. No, you fucked up. They don't. It doesn't heal you. Oh fuck! Then I have to do this all with. Oh god. Uh. Oh boy. Okay. Still, you're getting better. Relatively. Love is useless. Yep, yeah, that's it. It doesn't help that one of his punches is equivalent to like three of my full charge ones. I think his uh, daggers do less damage than his fucking Hulk hands. Yep. Yeah, and we can't leave now. So we have to do this. No stocking up on items. 
What we have is what we have. I had heard this always was rough, but man! Wow! I gotta figure out what- I wish I could figure out how the fuck to keep that power meter. That would make things easier. Cause then we could just keep him in a loop. Yeah, like that! If we can keep this going... Then you're set. Problem is, I lose- I lose forward momentum, so I have to keep him against the wall for this to work. Like, where he is right now? Perfect. But we lose it! Every time! I mean, at this point, we might as well experiment and learn some trick to doing this, because... The slow and steady game is not working the way we want it to. Fuck. But those full-strength punches are moving the meter. It's slow as fuck, but it's moving. I can't keep that rhythm. I am not going to lie, this song definitely does start to grade after a while. <laughs> Who thought having the final boss having this much health was a good idea? I need to have him against the wall, because otherwise I, I lose my forward momentum. It's the only way that the infinite strength punch combo is going to work. Fuck! 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 <sighs> but we got it to work. That's the important thing. We got that to work when we had no health left. Now with full health, I think we can do it. That's fucking progress. We moved his health bar a ton just then. Problem is I need him in the right spot. This looks like a lot of horse shit. No, it's toon shit. He could be a horse, you don't know. Would help if I could right. map jump to A, so I could charge my punch and jump. A literally does nothing right now. Long shots. Well, this round, I'm just gonna get hits when I can. But I'm going for that fucking combo if I can. If he'll fucking let me. Look at this mind games he's trying to play with me now. The footsies. Oh, speaking of... Had, had no plans to pick this game up after you trying to clear this game. Yeah, I made the right choice. Yeah, that's fair. 
I mean, the only reason you're you would be getting this is one, just out of a morbid curiosity. Or you're trying to get all or the games two. In this damn system in the first place. Exactly. Actually, funny enough, Ryan, I think he's almost he's almost finished up his NES collection. I think he's just missing one game. Oh, damn it. No, Cole. We're not doing that. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Despite how much this is be beating John up, he's not do using emulation for the cheats. Or are we're you telling this, that to everybody we're else? We're winning this fair and square with what the game lets us do. Okay. Co nice okay, Cole. Nice job there. Cole, Cole was talking about, like, everybody else. We're winning this! The way the game lets us! <laughs> nice job. You're getting it. This is for my goddamn childhood, Judge Doom. Get the fuck out of here! Y'all wanna see a fucking infinite? Okay, don't get too greedy now. You've got a major health advantage right now, John. I just need this guy to line back up. Yeah, nope, got greedy on that. Where is it? Remember kid? guys, we still we still got a phase two after this. I lost my movement. He's so close, though. Come on, go back. Go back in the corner. Go back in your fucking corner. Back in the corner, Eddie. No, that's not baiting back in the corner, Eddie. Uh, no. If John loses to the phase two boss, he has to restart the phase one boss again. Yeah, it fucking sucks. So I better hope I don't fuck it up. Come on, come on. Come on, get back in your damn corner. I know you can do it. He stopped my movement somehow. Come on. Long range. Fuck you! I think we're closer to dying than he is. No! Oh, come on, game! Come on, think of Kid John. This is for Kid John! I'm afraid to get in there at any other point. I don't think I can just get a, a pot shot in. I think I gotta get him in another corner loop. Yeah, he's not even attacking like right now. He's he's being surprisingly kind, which is worrying me. Fuck! Where are we? Whoa, Where? Whoa. Oh my God! Wait, come on, we're both right basically there. dead. This could go either way. No, you're gonna win. Mm, not if I almost get sniped like that. I swear to God, if I said that and I, that happened, I was gonna be pissed.
Like, Dutch Doom just giving you all the time of day just to wind up your punch. I wish it didn't take this much fucking mashing to get my punch strength up. God, that's still not enough. I'm afraid to try to wail on him now because I don't want to get clipped. No, that's fair. Right now, I think if one of those daggers gets me, it might be over. Yes! Yes! Yeah. Okay, we, we gotta go, we gotta go, we gotta go. We're on a, on a strict timer. We can fail this. We can fail this. Eddie? Get that dip cannon. That's game. Yes! Yes! That's game. Yes! That's game. It's done. It's fucking done. I did it! Oh, look how fucking close those meters are! Oh, shit. You had the pixel. The magic pixel. Oh. oh my god, that's a wave of relief. Oh my god. We Toontown is saved and remains in the hands of its rightful owners, the Toons. The end. We once again got revenge for Kid John. We are now at dual revenge. Jesus, I can see why Kid John never beat this. Oh my god. Fuck. Alright, I knew these revenge games were going to be hard, but I did not think struggle... F struggle non-stop hard. Holy shit. Fuck me. There we go. All right. That is that officially. That makes four games cleared on stream this year. Three revenges. One being a stream revenge and two being childhood revenges. Which now brings up the interesting problem we have now. We still have an hour left to stream. Uh, we're gonna go take a break now, obviously. Because this is the best time to do it. What do we do? I have a couple games that are short we can try to get revenge on, but I, that does not mean easy. We can try to learn a game now, so we, next we can make a strong push against it. There are options. Um... Maybe another short game, if possible? <sighs> the shortest option. The shortest game on this list... Uh... Like, we can do the Wacky Sports Challenge game we played on Cookie on Saturday, Tiny Toon, but that's a lot of mashing too, but... Um, we have passwords, so we're already halfway done that game. But I'm sure it will get way harder. Um... Uh... We could do another Gradius 3 attempt, but Gradius 3 attempt will take the remainder of the time we would have, essentially. We would basically only get one attempt. Uh, we could do a short game, like Double Dragon 1. We could do a theoretically short game, like Home Alone 2. Uh, what else do I have on this list that would be short-ish? Problem is, most of these aren't short, and most of them don't give me passwords. <laughs> I could do that too. That would be funny. Uh... <laughs> that would actually be kind of funny. Uh... No, I'm Maybe we do that. I can think of a couple short games that one or two attempts could be doable. Punch Roger Rabbit? You know, I'll do that. Hang on, let me, let me build up my punch speed. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Alright, at, at, at the very least, let's go to break.
Oh my god, what a terrible ass game. Dude, there's, again, I feel bad because there's so many things I feel they could have done to make it better. I mean, maybe, like maybe I said, not I make the items like disposable for starters, like an actual adventure game. Uh, make it so that you can control what's in the shop, like pick multiple items. Oh yeah, that. Make Definitely it so make that it the where... fucking psycho or whatever the hell the name of that uh, weasel is doesn't show up every fucking room you go in. Ugh. There's a there's a lot of fixes. There's a lot of fixes, and yeah, that final boss fight sucks. We basically had to use a strategy the game doesn't tell you, but you can do. You can the infinite strong punch combo, aka effectively stun locking. <laughs> yeah, basically. And well, here's the thing: it didn't stun lock him because he still got attacks in for the most part. It's just, oh well, no, I guess when we were doing it right, it wasn't. It was kind of sort of stun locking you, all things considered. Yeah, because I lost my stun movement. Locking so getting him against the wall was the strat. Stun lock you to not lose your punch. New tech? No, no, that's I've definitely heard of that tech before. That's that's a known thing. Isn't that very explicitly the speedrunning tech that you mentioned? It's very explicitly the speedrunning tech, yeah. Here, speaking of, let me bring up that speedrun. Uh <sighs> oh, wow. Okay, hang on. Uh, oh, that's a task. No wonder. Uh, Still probably be fun to watch, but... <laughs> the task is under four minutes. That doesn't surprise me. Uh, oh, this speed runs for both Game Boy and NES versions of Roger Rabbit. Here's the funny thing. The Game Boy version of Who Framed Roger Rabbit is Capcom, and it is extremely different. Yeah, the current world record is 4 minutes and 59 seconds, so just under 5 minutes to beat the game. I mean, Bleach Bummer, they probably didn't have a whole lot of time to make the game. As far as we know, LGA probably gave them, like, 5 months to make something. So probably. they could release it. That, that could have been it. Here, let's, let's watch this for a second, because I'm genuinely curious. Uh... Okay, so yeah, doing what I expect. You go... I'm sure there's some manipulation to get the right item you need to show up in there. Yeah, because Dynamite was in the shop, so that's definitely manipulation. There's the rattle in front of the fucking shop. I actually just want to see the Doom fight, specifically. Alright, here's the Doom fight. 3 minutes and 48 seconds. The record is, I think, 4.55. So even the world record has to spend a minute on this boss. Literally 20% of their time. It's the infinite. It's just the infinite, I guess. They must. It's just the infinite. It is literally just the infinite. Hit him into a corner, stun lock him. And punch. Yeah, that's all it is. It's just the fucking infinite. Oh, they're screwing around with your punch bar, so you're actually charging it up while hitting him, too. So oh, yeah, no, yeah, we were doing that earlier as well. Oh, did I miss that? Okay. Yeah. That's it. It's just get him in the wall on an infinite. Oh, and they fucked up, too. He, They thought he had him so he could walk away. Oh, no. This is still world record, though, which is the crazy thing, though. And you said you can screw this bit up, like this is on a time frame. Yeah, that that gun is moving towards Jessica and Roger. If it hits them, it's over. Ah, okay. Because it, it's, um, I forget what the actual name for it is, but it erases them, essentially. It's the yeah. dip. It's the dip, yeah. I think, it's, I think it says that's the dip, the dip gun, I think is what you're picking up. Yep. The dip, dip cannon, yeah. So the dip erases the two of them. Uh, I think there's footage out there of what happens, but I'm pretty sure it just is like they get hit and then Eddie gets sad and dies. I think that's exactly what happens if you let them stay there. Uh, but I don't want to go look for that footage. If anyone else wants to go see if that's the case or not, by all means. And if you find it, I can show it on stream, but I am good with not playing this anymore. Let's drop those eggs. I just closed the egg list. No, I didn't. Cool. Doombringer 0 for 91. Mega Ah, uh, almost. 
I almost got- I almost fucked it up again. Megatallic Hair. For 66. 77 Hockey for 34. Shin Marizu for 41. Zan Rising for 30. I Pity the Fuel, or Fool, P-H-U-L-E, for 37. Games TJ Plays for 4. <laughs> God damn it. I Pity the Fool says, I haven't seen The Hunt for Red October because I don't really like movies with subtitles. ba dum bum ba dum bum Daughter Earwig for 15, Kobolaris for 5, Primeba for 56, and Shadow704 for 32. Thanks for seven folks and for hanging out for that struggle. Your eggs tonight are courtesy of the following people. Struggle was real. The struggle was extremely real. Dip is a mix of turpentine, acetone, and benzene, which are used to wipe animation cells clean of all drawings. Clever. Yep. Oh, there's Paint nothing. Thinner. Um, they're all specifically rated to, related to the film industry, just in different ways. All right, nothing in the carton, so here's the classic. You will give me an egg. Uh, so, one of the things I actually had to listen for revenge, which makes me laugh, was a sports game. <laughs> it's okay, well, it's okay. not it's not revenge because I found the game hard. It's actually the opposite. I found an exploit in the game that made it so easy, I just never got around to finishing the store, the career mode, the, the Stanley Cup playoffs. S but the game has a battery save from what I remember. So we could fill some time by playing this hockey game to attempt to try to get revenge for Kid Me for getting too bored while playing the game. We can set the periods to as short as possible, which would be three five minute periods, and then we can just, every game clearing stream, we can just do like a game or two of it. So if you want to do uh -oh. something like that, we can set that up, because it makes me laugh. I have wanted you to do like a game spread out across the entire year for like the last four years. I love it. <laughs> All right, then when we come back, then we'll give it a shot. Then we'll play NHL Stanley Cup for the Super Nintendo with one of the funniest exploits around if I can get it to work. We'll see you guys after the break. So with that, how you doing, chat? How's it been going after that mess? Oof, mess is right. Yay, yikes. I'll be right back. I am. That's it. I am. Tired. Oh, yes. Always understand the feeling of tired. Doing all right. Finally beat. Just finished up Halo Infinite just a couple hours ago, and I'll soon enough have No More Heroes three finished up. Not too long as well. Virtual Bart versus Roger Rabbit, which is worse? Yes. I want to say. That's no a albino. Question. Get your own cheese. <laughs> it, it's Get your own cheese, uh, fucking albino. <laughs> Turn it out, Lino. Um, read the virtual Bart question. That that's a good question. I I want to say. I want to say this game. I I want to say, like this is the worst game, the worst game I think. Um, Roger Rabbit was a a worse game just from gameplay perspective, but because of the way virtual Bart works. And the time that John has put into that in the past, um, that can probably be classified as the harder game, just because you have to beat everything in one go, if I remember correctly. <laughs> I mean, yes, that just automatically wins, Bubba. How would you make your ideal video game to be? Um, I'm going to assume that that's a what, uh, Dusk? Um, 
I don't play too many video games. My ideal games are effectively Factorio, Satisfactory, and Shapes.io. I am very much a logical person more than a, um, a platformer or a RPG player. Uh, sorry. Uh, specific kinds of RPGs. I love Thousand Year Door. Um, I like strategy over quick reaction times. Um, okay, if money was no issue, I would give Nintendo a deal they couldn't refuse in that I would pay for, from the ground up, a rebuilding of every single Mo Paper Mario game for free that they could then sell and take all of the profits of. That is what I would do. Just to you, prove the point. <laughs> you Paper Mario fans are something else. It's a meme at this point. I mean, sure, it's also a meme, but it's also like... Like, part of it's meme, part of it's also just legitimate complaints that these they just want the turn-based thing to be back, and literally the main creator of the recent half for the Paper Mario games is just like, no, that's not what we want to do. Like, th there was the other question of, at some point, one of the, the Nintendo execs going, I mean, what's the difference between Paper Mario and Mario and Lu Luigi? And I'm like, my, my personal opinion is one of them is RPG chess, the other is RPG football football big numbers versus small numbers and yes a lot otherwise so yeah i don't disagree crytoxin it's unfortunate like there's they're kind of moving forward in a better direction but i yeah i just don't see anything coming for coming from it Yeah, I... Mario RPGs are basically dead. Yeah, it looks like right now they're not really interested because, you know, Alpha, Dr Alpha Dreams is basically closed down. Mostly because I partially also blame that for some... I forget. I think there was a reason... Oh. It was because Bowser's Inside Th Story was, like, their best-selling game, and they were desperate for, like, a better-selling game because I know from after Dream Team, Paper Jam didn't do too hot... So they're like, oh, we'll, we'll remake, like, Bowser's Inside Story, since everyone loved that. That gameplay Even over narrative mandate. Sorry. Cut you off, go. And I I, I picked up the, the first remake, which I'm like, okay, that's understandable. Remaking, like, the very first one, which was, like, a Game Boy Advance title, I think. But then you skip the second one, which probably was more deserving of a remake. Just probably had to fix out some of the things. And that game would be a lot better. But you had said Flip 2 3, which really didn't need it. It's gonna be that si it's gonna be a similar quandary that either Mercury Steam or even Nintendo's gonna find themselves in when they bring up the question, should they remake Super Metroid? Which I'm sure they probably will. But should they though? Because you have so many people who are so attached to Super Metroid, like, that game is already, in their eyes, perfect. It, and they don't want to touch that. It'd be something similar to how Square Enix messed up, kind of dropped the ball on the Secret of Mana remake they did. Remaking Super Metroid is a hard question. Is it available on, like, any form of virtual yes. platform? It is, it's on Switch, I'm guessing? Yes. It's, yeah, I, it's basically on the Switch Online platform, so there's no issues of trying to play it. Yeah, far I, from think it. At, I think at that point they should just stop. Like, <sighs> like the the weird thing, but then you run into the issue they can't really remake, like, say, Fusion. I I agree with because... Cole. Rather remake a game that needs improvement instead of a game that's already well praised. Yeah. I mean, Especially no, that... if that well-praised game is playable in a modern world without piracy or whatever. Piracy or emulation. I mean, that's fair, but that also hasn't stopped Capcom from wanting to now remake 4, which they've just released the original 4 to every single platform available. But you, for some reason, were like, don't want to remake Code Veronica, which that deserves one. 
and Resident Evil 2 was definitely the better description of a remake to a good game done extremely well. And then you once again drop the ball on Resident Evil 3. Yeah. Remakes are a very tight, tight walking rope. It's either you don't you do too much and you irk the people who grew up with it, or you do, or you don't do enough to where like, well, why do I bother with this when I have the original to play? What is the circumstance that leads to where a game needs a port to a new system versus needing a remake? It depends. It, it definitely depends on which like when the game came out. Are like, you, if are it, you I'm, I'm wondering if that's referring to the technical perspective or the, like, marketing perspective. Because there are reasons that you need to do... That's like, a, I think a little a bit of column A. Or... Yeah. I think a little bit of column, column A, a little bit of column B. Yeah, because if a game is old enough, like, th there's this weird middle ground. If a game is new enough, you can literally just recompile the code for the next generation of console. Um, if it's older than that, so let's say probably we maybe GameCube era, you probably have to do a reasonable amount of work to um, to go in and rebuild it from the ground up. But if it then gets even older still, you end up in the world of perfect emulation and it's like, why? We have perfect software em emulation. Just load in the physical, like the literal original ones and zeros and we're fine. So it's like, there's this kind of ideal middle ground where it's like, you. You have to do a remake. But then there's also the sides where you can do a remake and go, this could be better. Well, let's also use this for example. Re remember how I said earlier the Secret of Mana remake was a missed opportunity for Square? Now, Chrono Trigger has also been kind of in that realm of p some p fans wanting to remake. Problem is, they saw Secret of Mana and were like, they don't want that to happen. Because... You know, they, they they ported it to DS, because I don't think that took a whole lot of effort and add some stuff, but... Mm -hmm. Chrono Trigger itself, and they fixed up the, uh, the translation. But Chrono Trigger itself is still good, and many people don't want Square to do the remake, because odds are they could, they could potentially butcher it. Or they just port the Steam version, which is just the mobile version, onto Switch, and call it a day. I do. <clears throat> Excuse me. Bless you. Um, and now I don't remember what I was going to say. Great. <laughs> Chrono Cross. Actually, I think, funny enough, I think that's, like, one of the main things that the rumor uh, rumor mill spinning is that they may, that's maybe the re a big remake Square is doing. And how the fuck do I keep forgetting they're actually remaking Dragon Quest 3 with the, the Octopath Traveler guys? Because that actually looked really good, and I'm actually excited for that, that remake. I agree with Red Mimicry. Um, Ape Escape is an astonishingly fun game for the weirdest reasons. Like, it is the most bizarre concept of just you're hunting down apes, but they're a reasonable MacGuffin to go after. <laughs> like, I, I do agree that Ape Escape could do with a um... I'm trying to remember which I define as which. Wouldn't that just be a, a remake? I'm, I'm... So remaster and remake have different common definitions, and I have different personal definitions. Okay, um, so fair. I'm trying to remember which... Remake is basically building it from the ground up, whereas Remaster is taking most of what's there already. Right. Um, I think Ape Escape could probably do with a remake, but it would also probably be fine with a remaster. The game, at least from what I can tell, mostly holds up. But it, it does have some some pretty big flaws that would be better addressed in a remake.
Can you say Pokemon is a remake considering they copied so much from the code and the originals? I am honestly going to call Brilliant Diamond, Shining Pearl a remaster and not a remake. Um, I think that if it was a true remake, they would have taken a lot of the fixes that they had in Platinum and added them to the game. But because of how, like, true to form, for good or bad it is, it's, it's closer to a remaster. In my opinion, um, for good or bad. I mean, yeah, Ocarina of Time 3D, it's literally just Ocarina of Time. That's that's 100% true. The... And, and sometimes that's all you need. A good game can be a good game. Like, Probably you all don't you have to need do is much just... sometimes. Sometimes you just gotta pol polish up the visuals, because Nintendo 64 graphics have not really aged that well. Yeah. Uh, Blue Fairy, if they were planning a Platinum remaster, I think they probably would have done... Um, done something in the previous generations with Emerald, I don't see a Platinum remaster coming. Maybe Platinum DLC, but I still don't see that either. Um, I, yeah, because really even, yeah. even for Alpha, uh, Mega Ruby Alpha Sapphire, they just made uh, the D Delta Emerald uh, after game story. Yeah, that's that's what I could theoretically see. I don't see a new a Platinum remake coming down the line. Especially since they haven't really shown any interest in doing a third game anymore lately. So if we're talking about games that don't need a remaster, Bleach Bomber, uh, Skyrim. Skyrim has enough versions. It doesn't need any more. <laughs> no, it doesn't. Halo 3 is polished enough that we don't need a anniversary. You have not seen the, the Master Halo 3 the Master Chief Collection, because man, that game looks like ass. Okay, GTA 5 also doesn't need any more versions. We need we need the next Elder Scrolls and the next GTA. Like both of those need to come down the pipeline. It's it's been too long. You know they're not. Like God knows how I, long how long that Elder Scrolls 6 actually is. I I think and very specifically GTA. they've said that it is like in active development. It's just their other game is currently the primary. Like their other game is getting released next. It's some space game. Um and then it's Elder Scrolls 6. But I might right. be wrong about that. Like, all they did was release a teaser to show, yes, we are making it, but clearly that was all they had worked on at that point. I mean, even enough to say that means that they're very far along. Like, game development happens ridiculously far in advance. Um, like, you may not end up with the same, divi same vision as you had at the beginning, but game development starts ridiculously far in advance. I also forget that Majora's Mask 3D made some decent changes, but they also made some other baffling changes, like changing the Sora swimming. To... Wait, what? So, oh, you, have you not played the, the 3D remake of Majora's I Mask? I have not. I have not seen it. So, in the regular game, swimming in that game is probably the best that's ever been in any video game. And that's just like normal swimming for Azora. In 3D, they changed it to where you have to use your magic in oh, order to God, get that. Why? I no. don't know. That's ridiculous. That's a really bad... I, mean, I don't know I if can... it was because they thought it was too good and they had to nerf it slightly, but it was still the most baffling thing. Like, I, I can see slowing it down, because that's what Mega Nerd said. But, like, just free swimming in that game sounds great. No, yeah, it was, it was great in just the base game, but they changed it for some reason. And I think they also changed some of the masks' locations in the, the remake. I think the main thing was, like, the, the stone mask. I'm explaining it wrong. Oh, did they also screw with the physics of... Ugh, that's annoying. I mean, um, not completely unsurprising, but annoying. Yeah. Uh, Megan, also be I drop a description if you want a, a better explanation. I'd love to hear it. Who, me or? No, Mega Nerd. Um, no, like you, needed the, you needed the magic to actually get the same swimming you got in 64. 
You could still swim. Oh, they just locked your actual reasonable swimming speed behind magic. Yeah. Okay. If I, if I was doing a, if I wasn't doing fair enough on elaborating. I am sorry. Okay. I I still think that's kind of annoying. Um, no, it is. I have I have very strong opinions about Breath of the Wild, and I think locking running behind the stamina bar is one of the worst decisions of that game. For example, <laughs> like I hate games that require you to have a run button. We got pinged. Oh, uh, what a ah. mile send. <laughs> Did it? Wasn't this like constantly on my f t YouTube feed for like. Was it th this one. Yeah, I think this was the video that cop popped up for like months on my, my YouTube feed. Hello, I'm finally back. Hello, we are just talking about remakes. Sorry that took so long. I literally had to go outside and find Bagel. Oh no. I opened the door to let him have a sniff, and he decided he really needed to pee outside. So he went outside. <laughs> and then he was not deterred by the cold or the snow, so he ran into someone else's backyard, and I had to go find him. <laughs> God damn Bagel! Son of a bitch. <laughs> Your cat is a pain in the ass. I know! <laughs> Trust me, I am aware. I love him, but Jesus Christ, I've never had so much frustration with a pet than I have had with Bagel. No other pet have I had, had do I have to constantly run out in blizzard-like conditions to find. <laughs> He is too bored to stay inside. Or he refuses to use his litter box unless he has no other choice. I'm, I'm not going to lie. Part of the reason I'm very paranoid to let my cats out into our attached garage whenever I go, like, grab a soda or whatever is because I fear that they will start expecting to go out there and turn it into a bit of a bagel about going outside. Oh yeah, no, if you give a, a, a cat enough leeway to outside, they will take a goddamn mile. Yeah, thankfully for us, we have a, um, a detached shed that's pretty open. Um, not pretty open, but like, it's open enough for them to get in and closed enough where they'd be able to, to overnight if they needed to. Um, it was better when we had had horses because there was a massive amount of hay they could hide in, but um, like worst case scenario, cats had a place to hide when we didn't. When we did have cats that were indoor and outdoor. Wow. <laughs> All right, before Some we do, do alerts and art block, uh, I guess it looks like, no, that's not the clip. Oh, here we go. Aw, uh, that's disappointing. Yeah, so here. Dan sent me this link in the mod room. I don't know if anyone else mentioned it in stream at the time. Here's what happens if you just, if you let it get to them. That's it. Eddie just loses. They don't even get, they don't change the sprite or anything. Oh, right, actually, there's another thing I didn't, I should have shown, too. Uh, here. If, so, to use the, the item, the dip cannon, you have to hold the button. It's the only item in the game where you have to hold it. Uh, if you don't hold it and tap instead, he just walks up and punches you in the face and you immediately die. It's a fucking stupid boss fight. <laughs> Have you considered getting Bagel a catio in a closed space where he can uh, look and feel outside while not actually having to go out or let uh, be out, let out and in? It is minus 18 right now. Celsius. Catio ain't gonna help with that. I feel like the only way to properly do it would be to, like, fully enclose your backyard with, what is that, an aerial fence? So he yeah. can't get out on top of the fence and yeah. then make, like, a heated doghouse. Cat house. We would have case. to make a heated catio, yeah. And I think that would defeat the purpose of what he wants. I mean, 
mean, he really just wants space to explore and run around in, right? Yeah. He so also, he also he basically can... guards the, the whole neighborhood. Like, everyone in the neighborhood knows him. <laughs> That's fair. That's definitely fair. Didn't you say your place can't even have a catio? We don't have an easy setup to put one in. We would literally have to keep one window open, like a huge one. And uh, it, it would be just an absolute mess. The only window that we could use is the one behind our couch, which means the couch is going to get snowed on if we don't design the catio right. We might have to at this rate to get him to mellow out, but I think at this point, probably wouldn't even be happy with that. He would definitely rather free roam. I don't know. I don't, I would love to just do that, but I just don't think it's feasible, unfortunately. Yeah. And that's the situation we're in. And the worst thing is, if you do a poor quality version, you're more likely to hurt Bagel than anything. Yeah, exactly. All right, let's do alerts. Let's go to Artblock. Let me see where Artblock is at, first and foremost. Uh, apps on page two. Uh, last, first row of page two. Yeah, we can probably work with this. All right, let's see what we can do. Alerts, first and foremost. Shiny Nest 4 says, have been meaning to do this for the last few streams, but thanks for providing entertainment for me while I had my, uh, while I had Omicron. Though I didn't have any big symptoms, it was still quite annoying. Oh, well, I'm sorry you got it, but I'm glad that you're feeling much better. Good good job on the recovery. Good news to hear that. Westerford says, Who afraid Roger Rabbit is the first roguelike confirmed? Isn't actual rogue, like, extremely old? Uh, yeah. 1980! <laughs> so, no. No, it is not. Rogue-like, I guess you could say. <laughs> Maybe. But I'm going to assume something between 1980 and 1989 mimicked a rogue, rogue-like at some point. Oh, here's a selected list of roguelike games from Wikipedia. Are they sorted by year? My god, they are. And yes, there are many. There are many between 1980 and 1989. Way more than I expected, to be perfectly honest. Nemesis, Telengard, Sword of Fargol, Hack, Advanced Dungeons and Dragons, Treasures of Tarmin, Moria, Mystic Tower, Castle Adventure, The Dungeon of Doom, Island of Kesmai, Larn, NetHack, oh yeah, that would also definitely do it. Omega, Scarab of Ra, Morath's Revenge, Castle of the Winds, and then we hit Dragon Crystal on the Genesis in 1990. Or sorry, no, the Master System. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, it ain't, it ain't the first roguelike by far. By far. Uh, don't read out loud from Anonymous. Anonymous. Glad to help. I'm sorry things aren't going good, but I'm glad that we can help you in any way. Gokai says, Fun creator cameo fact. In Torin's Passage for the PC, if you make a fatally stupid move at the end of the game, instead of a death message, Al Lowe, the Laser Suit Larry guy, rewards you with a personal message about you sharing his sense of humor. Huh. Fair enough. I could see Al Lowe doing that. Like the just on purpose doing a really dumb move. Uh, Bleach Bummer says, Yo, John, I have I know I donated for month early luck back when I was celebrating in December at Disneyland with family. Well, it was more so to celebrate my niece's birthday. Hopefully I can still donate for official birthday luck as it is today. Despite having to work today, it was a good day with extra plans happening tomorrow. Got a pre-order confirmation for an Oculus Quest 2, which originally was coming in this Saturday, but it's now coming this Wednesday instead, so excited to finally try VR. Got some good game recommendations such as Beat Saber, a Halo 3 VR mod, and an Alien Isolation VR mod. But do you and, and I guess your co-coms have any recommendations not counting Five Nights at Freddy games or Resident Evil 7 and 8? First, try, first time trying VR, so mainly experimenting based on opinions I gather. Uh, 
Well, you said not Resident Evil 7 and 8, but 4 VR apparently is really good. Resident Evil 4 VR. Uh, and that's Quest 2 specific right now. There was also this mini golf game that Popsky and I played last week, which was really fun. Uh, but I can never remember the name of the game. Give me a minute if Popsky doesn't beat me to it in chat. Uh, Walkabout Mini Golf. That was fun. If you like mini golf. That sounds really fun. It lit. It, it's very authentic mini golf. Like, once I get the ability to properly stream VR, Popsky and I are probably just gonna play some fucking mini golf, is what's gonna happen. <laughs> Also seeing Job Simulator, I've heard about that one a lot. Walkabout, about that's what we were talking about. Um, Payday 2 apparently has stealth in VR, didn't realize that had a VR mode, but fair enough. Yeah, there's a bunch of options there, so. Definitely look up and see what's kind of trending in VR, because it's usually pretty popular. But like, you already got Beat Saber, you got, you got the, the core stuff. The Walkabout Mini Golf is the second highest rated VR game on Steam. Oh, wow. Okay. I knew you said it was high rated. I didn't think it was that high rated. I'm guessing Beat Saber's number one. I, it wouldn't shock me, yeah. Oh, someone found the higher quality secret message video from God of War. Nice. Oh, Alex. Of course. Half like Alex. How could I forget that? All That's right. also a good recommendation, too. Even if you don't like Half Life, it's a good shooter from what I've heard. Uh, Light, la uh, Light Lati says, uh, have you tried murdering Roger? Can't be framed for murder if he's a corpse. I mean, I don't know if it's the most sound logic, but probably won't keep my detective's badge at that point. Sly Guy says, you hit him with the flippy dippy. Fox McCloud with a mission accomplished. Light Lati again says, after many years of torment at the hands of Judge Doom, Johnny Valiant has finally pulled through, decked that gargoyle in a schnoz repeatedly, and melted him like an ice cream cube in a volcano. Congrats, John. We're free. Child me free feels so liberated. Uh, and with that, let's go to our block. And then let's play some motherfucking hockey. Art block starts right here. That's the wrong one. There, that's the wrong one. <laughs> Why is Negative acting so out of character? La la la. I guess he played Sonic Lost World for game clearing. So yeah, first game I cleared of the year and the first art for game clearing is Sonic Lost World. And like any other Sonic fan, I hated it. The stage design was good, but I feel like it does a bad job explaining mechanics. I didn't know about the kick attack until someone in Twitch chat told me. That was three worlds into the game already. Homing attack was also jank, and without spoiling anything, everyone just seemed out of character in cutscenes. Other than that, I had a fun time. Now, could someone please stop me from throwing petals everywhere? Fair enough. Thanks, Negative. I have, yeah, I've heard mixed things, so. You missed my resub message? Elo, what? I don't usually read out the resub messages, and you did it after, so I wouldn't even have read it now anyways. I wouldn't be reading this till next break. Uh, anyways, thank you, Negative. Next up, Proton One Half from Avi Miller. So the idea for this came from an offhand mention of Ranma One Half uh, during last stream, and the fact that Ranma is an anime slash manga character that was important in me making me who I am today. I wasn't able to finish it before the stream ended, but either way, I present one of the manga covers edited to be John and Luca. Notably for those who may not know Ranma One Half, uh, this John turns into a Ro to Rosa every time he touches cold water, and Rosa becomes John when she touches hot water. Yeah, that was the whole gimmick of, of Ranma, was that there was a cursed spring that a bunch of characters fall into, and they all had different effects. Ranma specifically was that he fell in one that uh, it was like the curse of the drowned girl. So anytime he got hit with cold water, he turns into a female version of himself, and every time she gets hit with hot water, he she turns back into his male form. But like other characters, like his father fell into like the drowned panda, so he turns into a giant panda that can't talk, and there's there's a whole plot, like so many characters get affected by the spring by the end of the story. But it is generally, genuinely well written, genuinely pretty fun, and it plays around with like gender bending and like tropes and shit like that like really well. And uh, it's written by the creator that you would probably know better for shows like Yu Yasha, which happened later, but uh, Ranma One Half was definitely one of their biggest hits. Styling matches. Also, hearing that description, that makes a lot of sense why it is constantly referenced in one of the webcomics I read. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, you're interested in Yurusei Yatsura remake? Uh, Reese would be. Reese loves, that's like her favorite anime. So she would probably be excited for that. Didn't Rama's rival also fall in love with Rama's girl half? Yep, that's another plot storyline too. Like I said, it's a, it's a whole thing. It's very entertaining to watch. I have the entire series on DVD now, and I will at some point in my life watch through it all. At some that's point. A, I think that's also where the Flaming Arms gift comes from. Oh yeah, it is. I use a bunch of Rama gifts a bunch. Next up, from Princess Pixel 7 I heard you were going to do Who Framed Roger Rabbit video game adaptation, and the first thing that popped up in my mind was Toontown, Roger's home, and my OC's former home. If you remember Toontown Online, from what I remembered was that uh, it was inspired by the Roger Rabbit movie. As for my OC, he has his own story where he used to be an average Toon local in Toontown until 2013, excuse me, when the game shut down. I can't go into full details, but long story short, I still have my Toon OC, CJ McWhatsit. And although he's become a human now, long story, he ventures into a variety of games like Metopia, Sonic Forces, even Pretty Princess Party. I thought I'd like to share a little bit about CJ since he this does kind of relate to the history of Roger Rabbit's hometown. Neat. Thanks, Pixel. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, I have no actual, like, nostalgia for Toontown, but I know a bunch of people here do. Let's meet the other alt, Keeper. I don't know. What if they hate me? They won't. They're good people. Are you sure? Yeah. From Yolk the Joke, let's meet the others. So Keeper lore time, Keeper lives with Rosa in the Comet Observatory. The Rosa's Comet Observatory is a bit different than Rosalina's. The domes are a large space, like the bedroom is actually a hallway that leads to two bedrooms, Keepers and Rosa's. Keeper rarely leaves the terrace due to him trying to remember who he was, and the terrace makes him feel calm and, ha and helps him think, also a good place to take a nap. Rosa wants to, him to meet the other alts, so she took him to St. John Buru. Keeper is a bit nervous about it. Sorry for rambling. It's a cute story, though. Thank you, Yolk. Forgot a Keeper can make his wings appear and disappear at will. That's why he doesn't have wings. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Thank you, Yolk. This is cute. I see you actually were going with what you said, too. You've been drawing Rosa a bit more lately, I've noticed. Good job on both. Next up, from AC Fan. Just a quick sketch done before the stream began. There you go. Rosa John as Jessica Rabbit, and Reese as the Gremlin. I guess Roger Rabbit in this case, but a much more confident looking Roger Rabbit, Reese. Very nice, Brandon. Thanks, bud. Next up, from Tenmar. Congratulations, John. January 7th, 17th, 2022 will be the day you have streamed 5,000 hours on Twitch. How do you feel? Uh -huh. I feel like it had to happen eventually. I feel like it took a while to get here, if you want me to be perfectly honest. But, uh, yeah, it works, I guess. I was expecting you to just say tired. <laughs> eh, also that. Thank you, Tamar, for tracking all that. I appreciate it, bud. We got a ways that to go for a thousand streams, but we are close. Yeah, that tracking spreadsheet is genuinely amazing. It's very helpful. I'm so glad he did that. I love riding Roger Rabbit's cartoon spin at Disneyland. Special character meet and greet. Oh. Uh. <laughs> well, now I won't be able to sleep tonight. I'm not bad. Some costume designer just made a mistake. Some people might see John playing Roger Rabbit and draw Rosa as Jessica Rabbit. I see it and think of the weird Jessica Rabbit walk around character that was in the Disney parks. Cartoon spin is a cute attraction, though. The queue sucks if you have to wait a while, though. Also, they changed it recently where instead of her being tied up in the trunk of a car, she's wearing a detective trench coat because she's now a detective. Makes sense to me. Now I just need to find more excuses to bring up the weird characters featured in the park. <laughs> Thanks for the Jessica Rabbit costume picture, Spawn. That is a pretty bad costume, yeah. you think Disney would have been able to pull off a bit better. Oh, here we go. That's a better picture, though. They're no longer blurry. You're welcome now. I'm going to bed like I should have done an hour ago. Thanks, Wakuichi. Next up, from Ditto. The moment I saw your tweet with the game cover, I thought, I need to draw this. So I have a sketch of Rosa John as Jessica Rabbit. So original, I know. And Luca Jin as Roger Rabbit, looking as cartoony as ever. Might fully draw the rest later. I'm not sure. Great, now I suddenly have the image of you and Luca cosplaying as this couple, but the question is, are you going to be the, be dedicated enough to be Jessica Rabbit? I bet Luca would love to see that. I gotta lose some weight first before I even think of that. And then... 
Yeah, no, really, it's just losing the weight is the big thing. We'd have to work on on that and figure out the rest, because she's pretty femme fatale voluptuous, and I would need to work on the bottom half, if that makes sense. The hips need to be wider for Jessica Rabbit, of all characters. Thanks, Ditto. Next up! It's Electron Gen, but done by Chaos Agent this time. Been a while since I posted something here. Originally, I was gonna give her a Y2K, specifically 2000s retro futurist fit for the drawing, but I couldn't figure out how to make it work, so I went with a variation on her normal look. I like how it turned out, so I may keep drawing her in this outfit for now. Honestly, Chaos, I, like, with Retro Futuristic, like, I'm surprised you didn't try to borrow something off of Ooh La La, one of her, like, more... Or less, like, revealing outfits. Or, like, even just kind of have some of that design with, like, the hoops around it, or just, like, piping and lighting on the jacket. Like, if you gave Chaos... Or gave, gave Chaos. If you gave Jen, um, like, a short jacket, like what Rock Howard has, for example, and the... the... Shit, what is the actual term for this? It's not crop top, right? What is the shirt type that actually shows off your stomach? Is that crop top? Either way, I think a short jacket with that would actually kind of go for the look you're kind of going for, and then maybe you could add like some accentuations on the actual pants, but I still really like the Letterman jacket look to it. But either way, I like the art. Thank you, Chaos. Appreciate it. Uh... From Ariel in. There you go. There you go. The image is from the famous or infamous if I scared you as a child, or if it scared you as a child, an image of the Judge Doom scene from Who Framed Roger Rabbit. The right one is what you saw in the movie, and the left is the scene without the special effects added in. I don't know which one is more scary. Nah, no, that's just a f picture of Christopher Lloyd at that point. So yeah, I think it's, I think it's the hypnosis eyes. Secondary fun fact, the producers wanted to get Tim Curry to play... Judge Doom, but deemed him too scary. You know what? <laughs> I can agree with that. I think I think he would have been a touch too far, as much as I love Tim Curry. Probably because he played Pennywise. So, with the black and white filter, I can definitely see what they mean about. Yeah. Like, but to, to me, this just looks like one. a like a sim image from like Frankenstein or like an old style like horror movie. So, I I think it's the teeth. Like, the fact that they're so stark white. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. I mean, that's the... Just go with the... Car that's, like, a cartoony effect they can do with prosthetics, though. Right. All right. And we'll have to end on this one here from Angels in the Window. <coughs> so I've really gotten into the art of Kamon, or Kamon, the Japanese family crest you see in Japan. And I found out that basically there is no special thing that says you can have one or not. There are like over 20,000 distinct individual Kamon in Japan, and I have been playing around with making some designs. Decided to make one for your family. I put Luca's horse with stars and maple leaves. Would put something in for Bagel, but was not sure at all what to add for him. You can just say the horse has only one eye and the other side is not there. I mean, that works. This is just something really fun I made based on the stream and your family. It's cute. Thanks, Angels. Appreciate it. Also, don't draw a horse that often. Surprised how well it ended up. It turned out good. It did good. All right, there's more art to go, but we'll have to get there next break, because now it's time for some hockey. Actually, it's time for me to run upstairs, because I left my glass of water up there, and my voice is starting to crack. I'll be right back. Well, I guess we're just on this... I guess we're just stuck on the screen, staring at the analog logo, looking at good old run cart cartridge. Maybe one day we'll get some super turrican action. <coughs> All right, maniacal. I know this is a bad idea, but what is your question? <laughs> blah blah blah. Gotta hate having to run out in the cold. All right. By the pound, how many pieces of cheese can I eat in one sitting by the pound? I haven't, I haven't tried it. I have no, no clue. In one sitting by the pound, three and a half. I hope you guys are ready for some motherfucking sports. NHL Stanley Cup 1993 no. Sculptured Software and Nintendo. This is some Mode 7-ass hockey if there ever was some. 
I used to play this game a bunch with one of my friends, to a point where I found out an exploit that really pissed him off. I'm gonna see if I can mimic it. <coughs> okay, this this music is actually great. Like, I really enjoy this music. All right, like, let's I see. don't normally like this style, but this is really good. No penalties, fuck line changes, shortest length of period, English language, or French, because this is the Canadian version. Uh, season play. Whoever's, let's see where the season was. No, there's no saves. All right, well then we're making a new season. I mean, I gotta be the flames. All right, who's in our, who's in our conference? The Mighty Ducks, of course they are. The Oilers, the Kings, the Sharks, and the Canucks. Oh, you can just skip games. I completely forgot you could do that. All right, Calgary versus Anaheim. All right, face off in the neutral zone. Do I even remember how to play this game? Who the fuck knows? All right, can I do the exploit? Let's find out together. Nope. So what is this exploit? The exploit is a uh, there's a button for doing wrist shots in the game, and it's just it's just X. But if you do it from center ice, if they're gonna let me. Oh, if you do it from center ice, uh, you can actually just guarantee a score every time. You can guarantee a goal. When I used to play this game, like my matches would end with like 30 goals. But I gotta remember where exactly I have to do it from. There we go. Right there. So, so the reason we're spreading this out over a year is because you can basically win every game guaranteed. Yes. This is, this is not going to be a hard game to finish. It is just going to take time because it's a 15 minute game minimum. I see. Penalties are off because fuck penalties. Line changes are off because fuck line changes. But man, wrist shots are on. All I gotta do is, like, I gotta remember exactly where I gotta skate for it, and then... no, oh, Unless they shove me around a bit. Once I remember exactly the right spot, like, that score is gonna fucking fly. <laughs> and this is one, like I said, I played as a kid. I remember doing the playoff mode, but I also don't remember finishing the playoff mode. Okay, that's too far, so... So C stands for cheater, got it. Yo, it's not my fault the goalie can't figure out the strategy I'm clearly doing over and over again. This, yeah, is, the this is the equivalent of me just fucking throwing Hadokens. Plus, this is the best the Calgary Flames will have ever done in their career. I think you just killed someone. I'm not sure who. I mean, to be fair, I, I root for the team. I live here. <laughs> and they've won the cup a couple times, so it's also not true, but it's still really funny. No, oh, if my own guy gets in the way, then... God, oh my god, my fucking captain won't stop getting in front of the fucking wrist shot. There we go. That Wait. is literally just arcing over the goalie's head. That's yeah, great. That's it, and the goalie doesn't account for it. The AI doesn't know what to do. And the AI never does it either. They never do it themselves. I just remember figuring this out when I used to play with my friend who owned the game, and he got pissed off because he couldn't seem to figure out the, the timing for it, but I could. But then once he once he figured it out, matches were fucking ridiculous. It was there were like twenty to eighteen scores. Like it was just a bloodbath. This period was NHL action at its finest. The Flames kept the Mighty Ducks scoreless in period number one. Now let's look at the Flames period number one stats. 
Number 14 gets one goal, 10 gets one goal, and so does number two. The Mighty Ducks period number one stats are not as impressive. The Mighty Ducks let in three goals out of eight shots on goal. Let's get back to the action. Period two is about again with the score three and oh. Face off in neutral zone. Ah, damn it. Well, if they hit the puck, I can't do my wrist shot. How dare you? How dare you stop this flawless technique? Flawless technique! Is that the read message now? Flawless technique? I mean, not necessarily. We still got time. Well, if you want to, since we got this going on, let's just do like a fucking Q and A session or something. Let's just have a, like, I was a chill time. About, I was about to bring that up. Because otherwise, it's just gonna be me just shoving around the AI for a bit. Like, and this is a nice palate cleanser, honestly, after the struggle that Who Frame Roger Rabbit turned out to be. Yeah, I'm about um, to say this could probably feel cathartic. <laughs> yeah, and just a wee um, bit. I might as well start off start off with a question. Uh, why did you? Because if I remember correctly, you graduated uh, with a bachelor's in computer science. Um, what influenced your your choice in in CS? I wanted to learn how to make video games, and that seemed like the only way how. Specifically, the University of Calgary had a concentration in video game design, which meant they had one course at the end of your four years that focused on video game design, but, you know, they leave that part out when they're trying to get undergraduates. Uh, so, <laughs> so that was it. That's why I thought to get into game design, I had to get into programming. And then I found out, oh yeah, A, you don't have to if that's not the field you want to go into. And B, I don't think it's a fit for me. I have, I don't like programming, to be perfectly honest. I get why people love it. I love the things it can do. Ha having programming knowledge is incredibly helpful. Um, but in the grand scheme of things, like it is not what I felt I was meant to do as a person. I'm still not 100% sure what I'm meant to do as a person, but I mean, the position I'm in right now seems to be where my life's currently led me. Um, it seems to be at all of us. How are y'all holding up in the new year? Eh. Yeah, that's about a, that, another... that is a good response, honestly. I don't think you need to even lead anything else in there, because I feel the same way. <laughs> eh. <laughs> like, A would be the actual answer, then the other would be, uh, give me till the end of December and let me tell, and then I can tell ya. For some reason, my brain filled that with January, and I'm like, eh, okay, it's fair enough to wait till the- No, you said December. You meant the literal end of the year. <laughs> yes. <laughs> um. I mean, no better way to find out how my year went by till the end of this year. Yeah, yeah that's a good point. Yeah. So how my, was your year? Uh, it existed. My, my, the, the first two weeks of my year, actually the, the last week specifically, have been kind of fun in the most chaotic sense when dealing with, with the site. Just because, as I said earlier, at least I think I said it earlier, I've, I've broken things like three or four times now. Yeah, you've said that. <laughs> and it's, it's been chaos to fix them. I really need to redeploy the site from the ground up on, on clean infrastructure, but that takes a lot of time and that will guarantee downtime. So, any goals for the year? Um, not getting COVID's one. Yeah, yeah, really. And um, as far as game wise, nothing's really stick standing out to me. I guess Elden Ring would be like the main one, I guess. But even then, I probably, I may not even start that game this year. I'm honestly mostly just looking forward to what most people are looking for, but not because I want to play them, but because I want to see other people enjoy them, game-wise. Um, as for goals, uh, we recently started a pretty big project at Twitch. Oh, I um, I can't go into any more detail, obviously, but, um, this is the first project that I'm really having, um, having some big input on, and so I hope by the end of the quarter, um, we've done a, done a good enough job that I can that I could be proud of my work there and say, hey, I'm I'm actually a strong contributing member of the team. Yeah. Suffice it to say that uh, while it sometimes looks like we're not doing much, we are always working on stuff at Twitch. 
Um, how did I get my job at Twitch? Lots of applications. Lots and lots and lots of applications. It was actually a... Um, it was a conversation on one of John's streams in... God, I think that'd be... 2019, 2020? Something like that? Where it's like, what's what's the worst that could happen? Just apply anyway? Um, I don't remember who, I, who all was in that. I mean, that sounds like something Tenmar would say, to be perfectly honest. So it might have been Tenmar. It, Tenmar, potentially Juker, those are the two names that come to mind. Mm. Um... And possibly Ryan, since he's... Yeah, I could also... That Ryan's also in Japan, like Ryan right? would say, too. Yeah, Ryan is in Japan. Yeah. Um, Ryan is, I think, second, and then Juker is third on that list of who was there. I don't remember. But, yeah, it was basically a what's the worst that could happen. So, over the period of the next six months, I started doing some looking on Twitch's job site, found some positions that fit me, and then started applying. Um... And over the following year and a half, um, my personal project started up with John. Uh, and honestly, I think that's what did it. Um, I mean, you said like you put it on your your like your resume and like and your code sample for when you submitted to Twitch. So yeah, um, my um, my personal project was the reason that I know almost anything about most of the technologies that, that we use at Twitch, like even now. Um, the um, uh, the 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 site John uses for cookie runs on um, runs on a Kubernetes cluster that I deployed myself, uh, all written in Golang, which is common language um the common language you, we use at twitch um all the database technology the high availability um su suffice it to say having to deal with uh chat hitting my website and keeping things stable is a bit of a task um you, you guys you guys can bring can bring websites down if you want to like pretty darn easily um, so having to plan for that was may, may, yeah maybe don't tell them that fun. don't give them that knowledge <laughs> that's dangerous knowledge to give anyone especially a chat <laughs> I mean it's just numbers like if you do the numbers of how many people and how large a normal site is you, you can realize oh most sites can't handle this There we go. We won 13 to nothing <laughs> over the Mighty Ducks. Uh, top three snacks. Yeah, hockey. Uh, top three snacks. Uh, mm. Hang on, I'm going probably... to read this first before I say. What exceptionally exciting NHL action. Our final score was 13 to nothing in favor of the Flames. The Mighty Ducks goalie was stood a barrage of 25 shots and saved 12. The Mighty Ducks were shut out in, fine defense, in a fine defensive effort by the Flames. Player number 14 of the Flames got a hat trick. Player number 10 of the Flames got a hat trick. Player number 26 of the Flames got a hat trick. Please tune in again for more awesome NHL action. Uh, snacks for me. Uh, Salminger chips. Ketchup chips are also there too. Um, almond bars. And... Birthday cake. Wait, birth just the act, literal birthday cake. You can get single single slice birthday cakes. Like you can get oh, sing, okay. single serving birthday you mean, cakes. You mean those? Okay. Yeah, not a not a literal birthday cake. My God, I would be like three hundred pounds. I think I would have to say probably the chocolate chip Quaker bars. Um, there's a specific. I think. July's salt and vinegar chips and uh, I can't really think of a third one right now maybe Dunkaroos I don't know oh wow Dunkaroos that's a classic 
Duggars came back, right? They were gone for a little bit, from what I remember. Oh yeah, no, they're they're back now. Like there, there's they don't sell them in, like in the boxes. They just sell them like the single snacks. Um, a hat trick. Isn't only a hat? Isn't a hat trick three goals in total? Or three is goals it in total three goals for in one player? Yes. Right. It, do, it does not have to be in a row. Right. Um. I'm pretty vanilla when it comes to snacks, albeit most of my snacks are chocolate. Um, womp womp. <laughs> uh, Kit Kat bar and Reese's Ooh, peanut good. butter cups um, for the first two. Um, third one, some form of sour cream and onion chip. There's a dozen out thing. there that would fit. Take your pick. Yeah, sour cream never grabbed me, honestly, for, for chip flavor. No, that's fair. Favorite food? Probably because where I live, I'll say tacos. Um, favorite meal is how I'm going to interpret this. Um, we have a restaurant close by that closed down um, just Aww. before the pandemic, actually. Um, the the manager retired, um, and they, they decided to close the restaurant and, and resell it because um, their, their contract was up. And um, they had just the greatest wings. But it was not that the wings were all that it was. It was that I had been going to this place for their wings since I want to say I was in third grade. Every single Monday. Um, I am pretty sure if you added up the total amount that we went there... Um, outside of the drinks from the golfers, because it was on a golf course, we probably accounted for an entire year's worth of their income. <laughs> <Jesus>. <laughs> yeah, we went there a lot. I mean, they were like two miles away, so. I mean, um, can't beat a place with good food and close by. Good food, close by, staff basically never changed. We were regulars, they were regulars. It was, oh, they, then yeah, they, it was you great. pretty much. We we went for the people as much as the uh, as much that, as the that food, makes which perfect is, sense. Which is why I said the food didn't taste perfect, but because the people that were there, and also they, I I look like root beer, um, and I can tell root beer apart very well, uh, and they had my favorite favorite kind of root beer to to the point of I stole the um, the root beer keg puller. I actually still have that. When they closed down, I stole that on there last night. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I saw a favorite go-to pizza place. Uh, I definitely said there's a local spot here that I knew existed that recently tried. And I was I find it was actually really really good. It's a thin pizza, which usually I don't really do thin pizzas a whole lot, but I make it I make an exception for this place. The pizza's that actually that tasty. I mean, for me again, yeah, pizza, easily. Meat pizza. Uh, whenever we used to go to a meals for uh, TRG recordings, we would always make sure at least once a trip to go to Mellow Mushroom because their pizza is delicious. They do uh, is it salt water dough or something like that, spring dough, but it's just it tastes. I have never had any other pizza like it. It's delicious. I think there used to be a Mellow Mushroom nearby where. In another town, but I think that place closed down. Partially, I think, because I don't know how many people went there and the, the pandemic. Yeah, pandemic definitely doesn't help. Actually, I ended up finding out a ramen spot next town over. They're open for very short hours of the day, but damn, do they have some good-ass ramen. When I was in college, we, um, my senior design group, before... Um, like one of a, we, we'd go out for lunch every so often, and then there were a few times where we went to, um, we'd go to like non-standard places because there was a burger joint that was real close where it's like, hey, burgers are a dollar, just go here. It's the simple option. Um, but then there were a few places where it's like, we we picked uh, a few different places around the area, trying to get to the point. Um, <laughs> And one of them was a ramen place, and that was the first time I actually had, like, real ramen. Um, the taste was too strong for me then, 
Um, because I have a garbage palate. I have not calibrated it at all. I, I like I, I like American food like burgers. Um, but e even still, I, I could tell that the ramen was quality. I could tell that it was very, very high quality. I'm just sad that I couldn't stand it at that point because my palate wasn't developed. Oh, right, shit, I can't still do that. Fuck. <laughs> I thought sort of that because penalties were off, that was still viable. My mistake. All right, what's another good question? Grab another one from chat. Uh, oh, no, that I, was... I saw one that was a while ago. It was saying the best game that, that you like that nobody else has heard of. Um, considering it's on Switch, I love Outer Wilds, but a lot of people have heard of that. Um, outside of this crowd, uh, Dwarf Fortress, though, again, a lot of people have heard of that for the historical reason of the game is absolutely insane. <laughs> I don't know if I have an answer to that simply because of all the games that I usually do like like that I stream so it becomes less unknown so I don't think I have an actual answer to that one unfortunately oddly enough I'm the one who brought it up and I'm like damn I don't even think I'm thinking of one either Um, well, while you're thinking on that, uh, you each fall into a cursed spring from Renma one half. What would your curse be? Do I even need to answer this one? <laughs> John, the answer is easy. This is, this is more so a, a question. I will, for I will also accept Hydra. I will accept either being super curvy, big titty girl, or I will accept being a literal kaiju. <laughs> I feel so. th those are the two extremes that I am willing to accept. So literally the whole thing was just you fall into a spring and it just so happens when you get hit with the hot water you change into a different form. Yeah, so the point was like someone died in that spring and that's like the ghost of them changing your body into being that. So like it was like it ran Milan into like the, the spring of a drowned girl so he became a girl. It's just the equivalent of that. Like is it for comedy effect like yeah it's whatever we can think of that would be funny in a story. Because the, at the end of the day it's, it's a harem anime but it's also like a comedy. It's like a, it's like a um, harem anime, a martial arts comedy. It's like a lot of things at once. It has a lot of hats, and generally, it's a very good series, both mm. anime and manga. Yeah, I, I have heard nothing but praise for it. Oh yeah, um, same here. For me, um, I I personally think that my my biggest vice is is my ability to stay consistently productive. Um, so I'm gonna say that I'd switch to a person who could be ridiculously productive and, and it, do ridiculously it doesn't have to be a person. It could just be any living thing, essentially. So. I, I know, but I'm I'm going with this. Um, a person who is ridiculously productive doesn't know how to program a character. <laughs> <laughs> you want to be computer illiterate is what you're saying. Someone who's like good at everything computer else but computers. That's you know what? Oh, that's fair. That's a fair fair switch. Eh, eh I'll go with. I guess I I say I get somehow I get turned into a. I guess a dog or werewolf kind type deal. I you know what I a bad beetle put, dog. That's a good take. I, I'll take I, since Deef you put that flip on it. I think I'll take a I'll take a swing at that way too. Um, I would love to be able to turn this to a musician. To be perfectly honest, I would love to be able to just. I wouldn't care about games as much as I would love being able to create music. And have giant tits. We'll keep that part of that. But uh, but otherwise, yeah, no, I would like I would give up game knowledge for being able to compose music, like it, to have a skill level of Carlos or Sab, like or, or Jules or like any of the guys from Coliseum. Like they're all fucking fantastic at the music they make. I would love to have like a modicum of that skill. Which oh, instrument? Right, like yes. <laughs> that's the that's have you the seen point. What Carlos yes, can play? is the answer. Have I, you I would seen love what Carlos yeah. Can I would play? love Carlos's variety in being able to play. Yes. <laughs> um, I like this question. Uh, since web comics were brought up earlier, any long-running slash guilty pleasure stories you go back to, games, comics, movies, or otherwise? Hmm. I don't really go back to anything anymore now because there's too much. There's too yeah. much. It's hard to keep up. 
I mean, I guess like I do it, still watch like Die Hard, RoboCop, Indiana Jones, stuff like that a lot, so. Uh, just reference the site, Mooch. Feel free to put my Discord on it. Sorry, just reference Stream Tech to be specific. And feel free to put my Discord on it. Um, and then if you can throw my Discord icon as the primary picture, that'd be great. Um, personally, um, if it's on my bookshelf, I've probably reread it three or four times. Um, but that includes a number of different series. Uh, One Piece, um, Girl Genius, Gunner Creek Court... Uh, Homestuck is an exception. I have that because I'm collecting all the books. Um, Overlord. Like, there's there's a whole list of stuff, and almost everything on there I've read through multiple times. Just because it's... It, eventually, I'll go back and reference something in the story because something new popped up in the daily. Here's a new page, here's a new page, here's a new page. Schlock Mercenary is one of them. Once... Uh, the artist releases the newest or the last book, I'm going to buy the entire thing in one set. Um, but yeah, every once in a while I'll be reading through the series go, oh, I need to reference something. Go to the middle of the comic and just read it to the end again. <laughs> oh, speaking of comics, so um, sorry to cut you off, Trey. Speaking of comics, Hello, remember Alex. how we did Flintstones for Game Clearing last week? Uh, yeah. appa apparently got announced today that there's that comic book series they did by DC, the super gritty serious one, is getting a trade paperback or like like a hardcover rather. So Yo. Uh, there's a collection for all those coming out surprisingly soon. So for anyone who was curious about that, go look into that soon for comic book stores. What video game? Oh, Trey, if you want to answer the, the yeah, sorry, I didn't mean to cut Trey off. Oh no, it's fine. Uh, I'd say probably rhythm. I was, I'm not that good at Guitar Hero, and I was just, as soon as I got over hard, adding in that fifth button completely fucked me up. That's fair. <laughs> um, where was it? What video game has not aged well for you? Hmm. Like, something we used to like, we go back to it, and then we just don't like it anymore? Yeah. I'm, I'm guessing that's the question, yeah. Mario 1. Mario Brothers 1. Fair. Although Mario 35 rekindled the love of that game that I forgot I had, so I don't know if that's really the answer anymore. Mm. Uh, for me, it is Harvest Moon, A Wonderful Life, and Another Wonderful Life. I loved those games when I was a kid and when I played them, because, I, again, it's a... It's a management game more than a, like, platformer or whatever. But just the total amount of gameplay in them is very limited. Um, Magical Melody is better. Um, given the, the scope of the world you're in. And I feel like there's more to do. But it's also... Like, because it has basically achievements. Um, but compared to, like, Stardew Valley... There, there's something to be said for both of them. I would have expected you to say Mario 64 Ocarina of Time. I mean, yeah, they're still good games. They're just not for me anymore. That's that's the difference. And I guess, like, Mario 1 definitely feels more aged than I feel 64 could be. In that sense. Hang on, I'm still trying to figure out what you get. I'm still thinking. All right, throw some more questions at us. Let's see. I gotta, I gotta kick Edmonton's ass as a Calgarian. So, what's that one game you could sink thousands of hours into? Um, if we are going by pure number of hours that I have had a client open, multiplied by the number of clients I have had open, um, I think I have somewhere between two and 3,000 hours in EVE Online. Um, oh, God. I ran 11 clients simultaneously as a fleet miner. Um, <laughs> I didn't spend that much, even though most of my, uh, most of my clients were all paid. I made enough to mine myself to, to profitability. Um, but if we're talking total time spent at a computer on the game, then Factorio. 
I have more than a thousand hours in that game easily. Easily more than a thousand hours. Tetris, Bomberman. Perfect examples, really. Um at least for games for actual hours. I think I I think I cracked in almost a hundred or so hours in Xenoblade 2. Like I because I think that game came out like almost the beginning of December. And I think that was all I played for like that entire month. And I think another game I clocked in a lot of hours in would be the first Disgaea game on PSP. Oh god, Disgaea 1, there you go. And really, any of those Disgaea games, you could just sink so much fucking time into them, and you're you're never gonna be done. Like, they, they usually jam-pack so much content in that game. <laughs> are there any Flash games or old online sites that are gone now, but, in, but you enjoyed and would want back if you could see it again? Hmm. Um... Oh, I think I actually got one. Comedy Central's old it, South Park website. They used to have a bunch of, like, Flash games on there. We used to play them a bunch in, like, grade school. Um, math games, cool math games, I think it was, is my second answer. But the first answer that came to mind was Stick RPG Complete. <laughs> because that was a thing. Oh, right, the Cartoon Network Flash games were actually pretty good. I think, but one game I was thinking of first was, a, it was a Dragon Ball Z Flash game. I don't even, Battle of Namek or something, I forget what it was. But I think you had the choice of Goku, Vegeta, Krillin, and Gohan. And you, I think a lot of it was like also random. You each pick a corner or an attack, and you just hope you took out like, <laughs> so I think you fought all, all the Ginyu Force. And then Frieza was like the final boss. I don't remember the name of it though. It would be fucking Edmonton too, wouldn't it? God damn. They got mad. I said I wanted to kick their ass. Favorite um. rogue light, light dungeon crawler. Um, um, it's the one I dip, dipped into the most, Binding of Isaac. But even though I don't go back to it that much anymore. I think I'd I, say Dead Cells. I could never really get into roguelike slash roguelites. Um, I just am of the opinion that you beat the game once and you're done. Like, I never really... It's real hard to oh. get replayability out of a game fucking, for me. Fucking Hades, of course. Oh, right, Hades. <laughs> That's a game. <laughs> yeah, I still haven't played it yet. Hades is great. I've uh, heard. I have it. Still don't have a Switch. Uh, game slash series you think it's too much hate slash praise. Pokemon. For both reasons. <laughs> yes. I mean, I'm gonna go with fair. yes. What did you go with, Teeth? I'm, I'm agreeing with you. Oh. Because <laughs> that's the answer to that. I used to give Sonic fans crap all the time. No, no. Certain levels of Pokemon fans have surpassed the Sonic fan crap. Yeah. Actually, you know what? I... I think I'll have to say I think a lot of hate to Mighty Number no. 9. Fair enough, but I, I, still, I still didn't like it, but I guess I can see some enjoyment out of it, yeah. And also to be- also to give the perspective, I wasn't part of that whole Kickstarter debacle. So I didn't have a lot of the resentment that they had. But also, like, I didn't think the game was fantastic or great. It was okay. The but because of that kick- <laughs> The red hot action into this pier and almost melted the ice! Six to two, I think, is what the score was in just this period. Um, any game you enjoy but still change the story. So I'm guessing, like, you enjoy for the gameplay? Like, wouldn't I mind changing the story, or... Uh, a bit confused on that question. Hmm. 
Um, well, if I'm gonna have to, if it's saying like, I enjoy a game, but I would change up the story, Kingdom Hearts. Oh, what the fuck? He stole that out of my from my goal. Yeah, uh, not a bad answer. Because <laughs> look, I enjoy that series, but he, he is Nomura has gone way out of left field with trying to make that that plot of that game completely. Um, I guess just a mess. I was thinking About of something as convoluted else, but... as possible. <laughs> yes, it is so overly convol convoluted. And of course, three did, has not helped. Of course, as figured, three did not help at all. If anything, it once again added to the mess. Favorite video game merch you own slash want to own? Um, I honestly want. This just first thing that popped to mind. I want to own a GameCube dev kit. Oh, nice. Um, I still want to own a an an actual arcade cabinet. But that's a lot of money. Uh, I have my somewhere. I don't know where it is anymore. My Master Ninja shirt from the Ninja Gaiden competition for Xbox. That's like one of my cherished items. They only gave out, I think, 50 or 100 of those to players around the world. Nice. Cat, stop pushing my monitor. Video game white whale. I'm assuming you mean like most price rare item we have, I'm assuming. Or would want, I or, guess. What are you chasing? Or potentially for uh, completion's sake. I mean, I would completed. love to have stadium events, but I'm never going out of my way to buy stadium events unless I win the fucking lottery. God, I got too much I'm trying to go for. I suppose in a sense the Jack Bros for Virtual Boy, I guess it would be one. Damn it. But... There's also a couple of DS games that have kind of gone up in price. Total Robo being one of them that I probably can't even reasonably get anymore. Damn it! That's three times um, now. Wait, well. Any game you don't want to replay because you know it will hold up and you want to keep your memories of it. Ooh. Secret of Evermore. I don't know if I could go back to that game because I watched a bit of Tim playing it for a Let's Play and I'm like, wow, it's more grindy than I remember it being. Uh. What was I thinking of? Damn it, I think there's something here. I just... Uh, shows I watched as a kid. Uh, we never had cable. Um, so... It was real difficult to really watch anything consistently. Um, so my shows were mostly, like, PBS cartoons type. Um, so Cyber Chase... Um... Cyber Chase is honestly the big one. I love that show. Math nerd. Um... Power Rangers for Saturday night for Saturday morning cartoons that always stuck in my head. Um, Do I have it set up? I actually have the Transformers like where you can disassemble them and reassemble them into the Megazord for. Nice. Um, mm -hmm. I only have it for two. Lightspeed Rescue has a set, but I damn it, the one I had belonged to my cousin, and I think I broke it. Oh. No. <laughs> Uh -oh. Yeah, that was fun. Um, getting... I, I honestly want to get a full set of those again, but getting a set is so difficult. Like, they are so expensive. Like... If I, if I had to say a show, it's definitely Dragon Ball Z. I mean, it's definitely Power Rangers for yeah. me. And, and Samurai Pizza Cats. Um... There was... 
uh, outside of Saturdays, like real early mornings on on weekdays, there was a series of Digimon that got released um, on on our public stations, and I really liked that. I just don't don't know which series of Digimon it is. I mean, there's only but, three seasons that well, got dubbed over here back then. Do you remember anything about it? Uh, it is the one where, if I remember correctly, they kind of merge Power Rangers style. Is and that they're the trying... one with the cards? Or is that I the don't... one where they become the Digimon themselves? They become the Digimon themselves, like, from I think the beginning. That's Frontier. Um, and, like, the end of it is them trying to face off against the giant evil Digimon thing that's slowly eating the planet. Yeah, everyone's saying Frontier. That's season four. Okay, season four. Yeah. I loved season yeah. four. Yeah, because I'm about to say there was it was at least four seasons of Digimon that we got dubbed over. Okay, I there forgot. Was, I forgot about Frontier. I think, okay, because I'm about to say I think the three third was the last was one I saw, and I think at that point I thought like that had been the end of them. So I think that was just me not knowing. Yeah, yeah. Um, I definitely binged multiple seasons of Digimon, hunting for that particular season for nostalgia reasons, and I am still a kid at heart, so I actually still found it good. Even mm -hmm. though the like character development is designed for a younger kid. audience, yeah, <laughs> yeah. You know, funny enough, going back, just uh, Damn it. I was kind of rewatching a lot of the the first, like not season zero, but like the original Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Monster season in Japanese, and just kind of seeing all the stuff that they had to take out for like the four kids dub, and then also coming to the slow realization of just how fucked up the manga was. Because it's the usual thing of where the manga is pretty gruesome, and they have to technically tame tame that a bit for the anime. And Kaiba's technically more badass in the manga. Okay, there we go. Bit more breathing room. Anything you like that is so bad it becomes good. Cheesy B movies, martial arts movies. That's why I like watching Rift Tracks and Mr. Science Theater. Pretty much, it's just anything that it knows it's being dumb, and just it's like you know what, we're just gonna go the full dumb. I actually cannot stand like, especially when it comes to comedy that tries to go full dumb. I actually cannot stand that. I think I depends. really, really it can't stand that. It, it, if it's yeah. too too heavy handed, it. Uh... It gave me a bit much. Like, I, I love Tropic Thunder. That movie's, think, like, a right dumb. Yeah, Tropic think, Thunder's probably hard to go back to now because of things like, oh, wait, why is Robert Downey Jr. in blackface? Like, we were all, like, at the time we were uncomfortable about it, but now it's like, oh, no, that's actually kind of fucked up. <laughs> okay, Mitch nailed it because I was about to bring up, I, at least I think he's in this. Um, mind you, knowing his style, it's similar. Um, I have watched, I think, the first, like, four minutes of 21 Jump Street, and the people around me were laughing their butts off, and I was like, I cannot stand this. At all. This is so stupid. No, that... That was that was definitely a lot of, like, the Anna, Adam Sandler films. Like, everyone around you could be laughing, and then you're just like, I'm not finding this hilarious at all. I agree with Portal Beard. Issues with secondhand embarrassment. Yeah. I don't like... I think that's a good way to describe it. Yeah, it's not bad. Yeah, I can see that. If you could have a stuffed animal of any video game or anime character, be it existing or not, who would you choose? Uh, pick any dragon from any video game, and I would have them all. Because I like dragons. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. I don't know if I have an answer to that. I'm trying to think of some cute character that I liked. You know what? I, I think I'll probably go with the dumb Emil response. I'll say Ricky from Xenoblade. I mean, that would be a fitting one. I feel like I need to give like the dumb answer be like, yeah, give me like a tank. Give me a nice stuff plush Optimus Prime. I mean, that's fair. 
Give me a nice stuffed plush I mean, Goldar. It's, it's a dragon, DB Koopa. I don't care. I like D dragons. D Steve likes dragons. This is why it's called. <laughs> like, I wrote it in the name. Blitz My wardrobe. So <laughs> yeah, give me a Blitz wardrobe. Tank plush. There we go. We found the one. We Just give me a plush <laughs> Blitz Tank. We'll get a Hawaiian shirt for me. It'll be great. <laughs> yeah, my my wardrobe uh, I described it earlier is somewhere on the line of 40 to 60 t-shirts that have dragons on them of different forms and styles and half a dozen pairs of cargo shorts that I rotate through nice and that's it and uh yes um to I have no idea how to say oh oh gee um <laughs> I just say oogie at this point Oogie. Um, hydras are a form of dragon. Magic does have, have some very good dragons, Blaze. Ooh, thank God. Uh, but yeah, even even in the fact that we're I'm in Wisconsin and it can get ridiculously cold. Uh, I don't care. I just go out in shorts. I don't feel cold in my legs. I know I need to be careful. Yeah, see, not because until they're gone, then you're you're definitely never gonna feel that again. <laughs> yeah, I know I need to be be careful, but um, but yeah, I just don't actually feel cold in my legs. Uh, dinosaurs that breathe fire, dragons. I mean, they're close, but yes. Get out of here! Get out of here! Tactician oh, Gate get out of here! on Spyro the dragon. Um, Spyro has a lot of history and means many things for many different people. Um, which makes it very difficult to to truly judge what Spyro has become with basically becoming like a side character in Skylanders, which is very unfortunate. All right, after this hockey game uh, is done, we'll wrap up. We're in the final period, so we got about three minutes left before we go to Art Block and all that jazz. So let's get one or two final questions. What is one game that you got for a decent price in the past that you are now really glad you got because it's now expensive? Chrono Trigger and Earthbound. Got them both for five bucks each. I sold my entire video game collection to buy a PC. Oh. It worked out for your job, I guess, but yeah, I can see where you're going from that. I, For my history, like, going through things, perfect decision. Am I still really sad that I lost the, like, 15 GameCube games and several Wii games that I oh, had and all their saves? Yes. Especially the GameCube. Uh, yeah. I, think I've, I think I've said this story on here before. Dragon Quest 4, 5, and 6 for the DS. I think I paid about 200 altogether for all three. And I think the current price they're going at right now, I could probably ask for... I could probably easily double my money. <laughs> have I ever lost yeah. any games? Yes, I've loaned some to friends that have lost them. Like Mega Man Battle Network Wait. 1. My ex lost our copy of Pokemon Emerald. So I have a box, Oof. but I don't think I have a cartridge anymore. I might have got a replacement one since. Uh, and yeah, in, in the breakup, because me and my ex both worked at video game stores, uh, I lost a couple games in the shuffle, but obviously they were, they weren't ones that were big deals. It was like my copy of Forza Motorsport 2 and Marvel Ultimate Alliance disappeared. I think my Dead Rising 1 disappeared, but like, again, easy to replace stuff. I think one thing I, I was still kind of disappointed in was the... Once again, I'm... Oh, jeez, you, you okay? Are you sure about that? <laughs> My cat was being a pain. Sorry about that. For no. you. <laughs> but... It was, it was this weird time after Pokemon Gold, Silver, and Crystal. And just that kind of that point where I, I still enjoyed Pokemon... But then it was that point where, like, my fo my parents were trying to say, aren't you getting a little too old for that now? And I kind of got stuck in that mindset, I'm like, okay, I guess I better move on. And I sold my copies of 
red, blue, yellow, gold, silver, along with some Yu-Gi-Oh games. And then after Diamond and Pearl came out in high school and I saw other people play, playing Pokemon, I was just like, oh, growing up I is bullshit. I forgot that I sold my DS collection. I never upgraded to 3DS. I think that was probably the largest single mistake that I made. Because most of my friends did. I did not. Oh, right. Um, I know this is towards the end, but username origins. Uh, I used to like Proto Man a lot in grade school. And one of my friends, when we were in science class in like grade eight or nine, we were uh, learning about protons and electrons. And he looks at me and goes, wait a minute, protons, Proto Man, <gasps> it's Proton John. And that was just it. It just became a nickname that stuck with me. Like I hated it for the longest time because <laughs> my friends used to say it in you know, like a mocking way or like try to get my attention. Oh. And then okay. when I moved to for university and I needed a name for Xbox Live, I'm like, you know what? That was actually a good nickname. I just hated the way it was being used. So, kind of, kind of co-opted it for myself for in a positive way, basically. No, that's fair enough. Trey. Um. I think it was my parents got me a wireless network adapter for my for our Xbox 360 so I could start playing games online. And I was having a when we were setting it up and it was showing like a name for online we're like, "Oh, literally just out of the list of like generic names that were popping up on the Xbox 9 uh, live names list, I just see Proof Gold. I'm like, "Here, we're just going to go with that one." <laughs> nice. The origin that, of... Go. And that, and that was just it. Like, there was no greater meaning. It was literally just... Oh, here, here's a name that I'll just pick. Sure, why not? My username, or at least part of my username, stems to first grade. Um, The deef part of my username was given to me by one of my cousins. Um, My aunt used to have a dog named Diesel. My real name is Jeffrey, and uh, when we were very young, um, my cousins and I would play just at our grandparents' house, um, and one of the games we played was like a, a dog game or whatever, and so we needed to come up with names, and my cousin went, well, I know you're a fan of Diesel, the St. Bernard that my aunt owned, um, she only had him for, like, three weeks, but I love large dogs. Um, so, okay. Combine Diesel and Jeffrey. You can pick between Jeezel and Deef. And I picked Deef because I was not picking Jeezel. Um, and that name stuck with me. Um, I didn't use it much in elementary school. I, I kind of kept it as, like, oh, this is an interesting thing. I'll, I guess I'll keep it in the back of my head. Um... And then, like, Webkins or whatever it was came around, and I had the username Deef1. Um, and then in, like, middle school, certain other things came around, and I had the username Deef0000. And, like, my username slowly expanded all the way to Deef0000 Dragon1, because I would either forget usernames or sign up for different places or have multiple accounts or whatever. Um, and I kept that one pretty much from, like, end-ish of middle school all the way to a few years through college. And then eventually I went, wait, this is stupid. No one has this name on most of the places I'm on. <laughs> so I shortened it to Deef Dragon. But yeah, the, the core fair, of my... I remember when you had the 000 Dragon yep. 1 here on Twitch, too. Yeah, no, I've, I've been following you long enough that uh, that was before I switched over. Mind you, I only switched over in like the last two or three years, so yeah. it's not not too much. But yeah, I've, sh I've shortened it to Deep Dragon, and that's pretty <clears throat> much what I go for everywhere I can now. Nice. All right, let's start wrapping up so people can go to sleep. Schedule for the week. Wednesday is going to be, I don't know if we actually came up with a proper title for it, but uh, we're going to be doing the game suggestions that viewers have been doing with their egg points for cookie. We're going to have a uh, suggestion cookie, I guess, is probably what we're going to go with, something like that. Player uh, pool? Yeah, 
<laughs> but the way it's gonna work is that it's gonna be five options per round of suggestions from users that use their points that got in the queue. So we're gonna go through a, like 25 options in that queue essentially on Wednesday. So it'll be it'll be essentially fortune cookie. Uh, and then obviously Saturday is regular cookie. Thursday is top down respective. Uh, we already did disc only for the month. Currently, it's looking like beginning of February is when YouTube comes back. Uh, yeah, that's really about it. Coliseum otherwise is at the end of February, like most people know. Uh, we are going to be figuring out what's happening in regards to being in person versus just online, like it has been the past couple years. It might be a hybrid this year. Or that's about it, really. Would you call it more like a variety pack cookie? Eh, I don't know about that. Chat cookie would probably work. Potluck's not a bad idea. I don't think variety box works simply because it's just... It, it would be, almost be the equivalent of games from the cookie anyways. <laughs> Chat cookie makes the most sense, to be perfectly honest. Cookie jar? Cookie jar is also not bad. I like cookie is, jar. Because it's coming from suggestions from viewers, so cookie jar is not bad. Cookie jar cookie jar's got some weight. Who 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 are we giving credit for that one? Ryan Curtis, looks like. Yeah, Ryan Curtis. Ryan, don't be surprised if we end up co-opting that and using that on Wednesday. Unless I have some absolute brainstorm happen uh, on Wednesday. Cause we could say we're just pulling games from the cookie jar. And everyone sends in cookies. That's not like that's genuinely a pretty good idea, actually. I think the more I say, the more it's it's growing on me. So, point for Ryan Curtis. Are other people having issues going to the live Coliseum right now? The big issue is gonna be me and Reese because crossing the border is getting complicated again, and we don't want to risk anything. Uh, if the outbreak is still on a upswing around Coliseum time, we're probably going to keep it to only people who can drive there, which will be a much smaller list, and then everyone else who can't will just be, like, will just connect as per usual from their homes. Well, Luca Jim be at Coliseum, not in person, uh, but she'll be doing some donation reading at the very least. Do you like that your theme for your stream is just various cookies and stuff? I find it funny that it it stayed with that as long as it has, to be perfectly honest. I always wondered if that was actually gonna be a thing that stuck. Just like the eggs. I never real I never thought the eggs would stick either, so the fact that both of those have stuck around for as long as they have is kind of impressive. Who is all showing up for Coliseum? Everyone currently that was at previous ones will be there. Uh, Marilyn is not going to be there again this year. He's uh, he's sitting this one out. We're hoping he's coming back next year for sure. But otherwise, yeah, it is the same crew. I don't know if Gerard's going to hop back in this year. Depends on his availability. And he's a very busy boy. But uh, otherwise, the regular Coliseum group is going to be there. Either in person or just online. Cookies, eggs, and alts. That's that's my brand. Carlos is in there despite retiring from content creation. He's not retired from content creation. He's just not making fan game stuff anymore. He's making his own music. He's still making content. Also, he's still our friend, so we're not going to be like, yeah, fuck you. So even if he was fully done, we wouldn't be like, yeah, you're not allowed anymore. Uh, damn it, there was another question I wanted to respond to earlier. What the hell was that? Oh, no, it wasn't a question as much. Uh, reminded me of the eggs thing again. When I got to see Mom for Christmas, uh, we got to see her again before she flew back with Dad. And she reminded me again of the story where uh, I literally gave up video games for a month because of eggs. It's like one of her favorite stories to tell at this point. For, the, for Wait, those what? Who, yeah, so for those who haven't heard this before, as a kid, I hated eggs. Absolutely hated it. My palate was, uh, is, and kind of still is to a point, a mess. 
so things don't always taste good to me. And uh, things that people think should taste good, I just, I hate. I was a very picky eater growing up. So, at one point, uh, we were having eggs for, I guess, dinner. Like, she made, like, scrambled eggs. It was either lunch or dinner. I don't know what it was. And uh, I hated them. Hated the taste of them. Absolutely hated it. So, I tried to get up from the table and I'm like, Mom, I hate this. I don't want to eat this. And she's like, well, you got to eat something. I'm like, well, no, but I don't want to eat this. Can I eat anything else or can I just step away? It's like, if you don't eat this, Jonathan, I'm going to, you're not allowed to play video games for a month. And apparently I looked at her I'm just and looked down at the food. And I'm just like, only a month, right? I get a whole, a whole month. And I got off from the table and left. I'm like, all right, Mom. I hated them that much. I straight up gave up video games for a month. That that's fair. And that's this some people can't hatred. And like some textures, some tastes, some people just can't stand. Yeah. And to put this into like perspective, I had just borrowed Mario three for the first time off of a friend, Oof. and I had just gave up video games for a month. You're actually, if I remember the reading I did correctly, you're actually really not supposed to force kids to eat. I mean, we wouldn't have known that back in the time. It was like the, like, yeah. like 91, 91, 92. Yeah. Like, I don't know how much it applies to older kids, um, but at least with younger kids, you're really, really not supposed to force them to eat because they know pretty darn well how much they're supposed to consume. Mm. Body's pretty good at that. Well, it's not, not a case of, like, not... Like not being hungry, it's just straight up. I just didn't like it, straight up. No, that's that's also fair. Um, what did you? Someone has asked, what did? How did your mom react? Well, considering she still tells this story to this day, I think it stuck in her mind pretty strongly. I think, I think at the time, she like she was mad because I didn't want to eat the food, which is why she gave the ultimatum like eat the food, eat the eggs, or you don't get to play video games for a month. But I think the fact that I committed to it, she's like, wow. He really hated those eggs. He really didn't like them. So I don't think she ever f forced me to have eggs ever again. Cause I didn't break the I didn't break my promise. I went a whole month without video games. I hated it, but I did it. And now eggs are my brand, which is insane. Also, I like eggs now, so I don't know if it's just the way she prepared it or what. What is more your brand, eggs, cookies, or boobs? I mean, it depends on who you ask at this point, but I feel like all three. Cookie, yeah, cookie for the streams and stream types, because we definitely use variants of cookie and for like the, the highlight reels or like cookie crumbs and stuff like that. Uh, eggs definitely for like fan interaction and just like subs and everything. I mean, Egg Farm's the name of the sub server, for example. And boobs is just, you know, this is for fun and an art theme and stuff like that. So, it's it's all of them, essentially. <laughs> or as someone just said, I think his brand might just, might be video games. See John tweet, sorry guys, no stream for a month. I'm grounded, I can't play video games for a month. I mean, I wasn't grounded, I voluntarily did it. And also, like, I still could do anything else, so I think I just watched movies, read books, and went outside. Like, I was a pretty avid reader back then, so I assume I just filled up the month with reading some books. Or board games, or whatever. Your brand is chaos? Yeah, that's probably more accurate. All right, uh, let's drop some eggs. SS2 Jet for 51, Diabito the CM for 31, and Z513 for five, Elo Boosted Animal for 42. Says, well damn, 42 months getting to those 60 months. I got a new job after not having one for eight months and I'm really happy about it. Also, John, do you collect other things beside games? I've seen some art books and other things in old house tours. Uh, decks of cards. That's probably the other thing I collect the most that's not a video game. I mean, I have some movies, obviously, as well, but I don't... It's just like, oh, I like this movie, or I think I might like this movie, I'll pick that up. 
decks of cards, if I see something with a cool design, I'm like, yeah, I'll grab that. Mr. Moody for 40, this page 90 for 28, and Cool Man for 62. Anything in the carton? Let's find out. Anything in the carton? Nothing in the garden. We'll play the classic one more time, because again, I realize I forgot to set up the you shuffler. Will give me an egg. Oops, and I'm gonna throw in a Rayman because I can. Yeah! <laughs> like regular playing cards? Yeah. I've got probably a dozen. Mm, I actually I lost a couple of those decks, so I'm probably back down more to around a dozen. I used to have a couple dozen decks of cards. I had a Mario Party deck. I had, uh, I'm trying to remember what the other Nintendo Power ones they used to give out. And there was a couple like that. My dad got me a construction safety deck of cards where each card showed off like a different safety thing you're supposed to do in like construction <laughs> zones. Just like weird things like that. Do I have any of the GDC decks of cards? No, I do not. I didn't even. Oh, no, no, GDC. Sorry, I was thinking GDQ for a second. Yeah, no, uh, I've never been to GDC, so I don't have any of those. Let's go to our block, shall we? Here, I think I'm gonna use this point right here to bounce for the night. That's fair. Take it easy, dude. You too. Thanks for having me on, man. No worries, anytime. Take care, Deef. Deef, if you gotta do the same, you're welcome to it, because I know your stream schedule, sleep schedule isn't usually as volatile as mine is. I, I can probably run to the end of uh, our block. Okay. Protojong Game Clearing Redundant Mega Sheet 2018 to 2021. Alright, from Dot Policia. Okay, now I'm ready to post this. What's up, DJ Proton, Fesser J? It's time to debut my totally redundant game clearing remix spreadsheet. Obviously, it's not super filled out. We've only beaten three games thus far, but that just means there's more of the spreadsheet for me to show off. This is remixes are monthly themes, just like how the rotations from last year are themed. Layout for the 22 sheets basically the same as last year. I did take the liberty of moving GameCube out of the other category for consoles since we wound up beating four games on it last year. Five if you count beating Sonic R via the Gems Collection. The abandoned slash unfinished columns always been there, but last year's only occupant was Fortified Zone, considering that we're theoretically going to be dropping problematic games more often this year compared to the last couple. I expect Mickey and his Dangerous Chase won't be feeling as lonely. I mean, Mickey's Dangerous Chase is now finished, so... And it's only because, I think, I feel like we confirmed it at this point, just could not play it on the Game Boy Player. It just glitched out on that. Lastly, the bonus stats. I wasn't expecting to be able to label a game as an other random pull, but Marvel Super Heroes technically wasn't a fortune, misfortune, or high-risk stream pull, so neato, I guess. Also remember when the Bag of Mystery was a thing? I do. Oh, Bag of Mystery. How I miss you. Uh, Cool, cool. Thank you, Policia. For the follow-up from last time, if anyone's curious about how my journey's... Oh, from Final Fantasy. I'm going to skip that. Sorry, because I want to make sure we get through everything. Of course, I noticed that in the rush to finalize this before I, uh, before I put Marvel's Wheels down as a PS1 game and not a Saturn game when I put it in the console tracker. Yeah, I don't think I have it for PS1. Not yet. That might actually be in the mail. I forget. But yeah, so far, four games cleared this year. So, not a bad start for it only being 18 days in. Thanks, Felicia, for the extra tracking. From Rhyme, went to Yosemite feeling invigorated by me going to Stomp and Snow. So here's Rose addresses my favorite Hololive EN member, Sukomo Sana, the Keeper of Space. She also has some large Jupiters, her words, not mine. Yes, I have seen many large Jupiter pictures of her around the internet, so... The fans do seem to like doing that for her. And as a flip side, I know I also want to draw Sana, but with the Rosa hoodie, turn this into an outfit swap. Nice, nice. Thank you for both of them, Ryan. Very cute indeed. Santa is big. Who ate Beefaroo? Proton John, Bagel, and Lucagen. A thrilling comedy drama coming soon to a John of our theater near you. Thank you, I'm not Batman. Beefaroo will be missed, apparently. Right before his birthday, too. From Sol Rock, what is happening in this picture? <laughs> 
TLDR, I remembered a scene in the Flintstones movie where Fred has to stop the machine and his first thought was a dinosaur chewing on his mother-in-law. Oh my god, that was- I remember that now. Needless to say, after last week's stream, I think we can agree Fred was imagining Godzilla eating those boulders. First post of the year and it's a shit post to better than nothing. Thanks, Saul. I completely forgot about that scene. Oh my god. God, that Flintstones movie is actually really good. We gotta figure out some way to do that for movie night. And maybe Who Framed Roger Rabbit now. Although that is Disney, so... From Tiny Seven Eyes, I wondered if someone was gonna bring this up. Uh, so fun fact, in Japan there is a completely different version of Who Framed Roger Rabbit developed by Kemco and released in 1989 for the Famicom Disk System. This version actually did come to the US, but it was released in the form of The Bugs Bunny Crazy Castle. There you go. There you go. That's the, uh, the origin of Bugs Bunny's Crazy's Castle. It was Roger Rabbit the entire time. Ta-da. And Rhyme says, is this the, this the for the love of God, please help me meme? I don't remember that meme, but I, I guess so, because a bunch of people are reacting to it. Next up, from Chillax, it's a bagel. Before stream, nope. Not getting out of this chair. Yes, bagel. He's sleeping in his actual chair now. So the chair I was sitting in during the stream is the chair he is now sitting in and sleeping. Thank you, John, for once again inspiring me to do art, a gif in this case, from a stupid idea. When I heard Bagel wouldn't give up the chair until I ironically finished making the frames, I quickly thought of that chair moment with Eustace from Courage the Cowardly Dog. You know the one. If it's not funny, if not, it's funny. Go look it up. No, I know that. Nope, not getting out of this chair. I've seen that clip. As for my status, I wanted to mention it sooner, but my mental appointment in December had to be moved since I was assisting my sister with something that day. She's going through her own health issues right now. I'm not going to talk about that out of privacy and headache reasons. Fair enough. So we got moved to January, and I've had a few between now and the last time I posted. They've been mostly great. Also, I wanted to do John art sooner, but not much from recent streams was inspiring me. Hell, I was kind of aiming to make fan art for Team Sass Kicker since I'm in a Pokemon Mystery Dungeon mood again. Damn, that was almost a year ago now. Uh, and it didn't help that I recently got what I assumed was a cold. You can guess what that was. Oh, fuck off. You got that too? I'm so sorry. Hopefully recovery's been going okay, or went okay. Hopefully you're doing good, Chillax. Sorry I had to go through that, and thank you for the lovely bagel animation. Next up, from... Oh, wow, Yoshimitsu, it's been a while. How you doing? So with Ellie Smash making Rosa John and different character creators, I decided to throw my own hat into the ring and use a game so underappreciated I'm likely going to be the only one to use it, and that is Soul Calibur 3 for the PlayStation 2. One of the things you can do in Soul Calibur 3's character creator is assign jobs to each character. Rosa John's assigned as a knight, giving her access to one of five different weapon styles, two of which are of actual characters, the other three are exclusives to this game. These weapons are a lance, a broadsword, a rapier, Siegfried's Zweihander, and Raphael's rapier. Oh, is there a difference between regular rapier and Raphael's? Oh, right, because because of Amy, she has a different style too. That's where they started doing that. And for the hell of it, I decided to make you as well. This time, assigning you as a monk, giving you nunchucks. I'll take that. Dual nunchucks, a bow staff, bladed shoes, or a bow staff that can extend or shrink at will. The solo nunchucks is maxi style. That's fair. I had a feeling. If you're raping fighting style? Okay, yeah. No, I used to play Soul Calibur 3 a bunch. Like, one of my friends unlocked, like, all the gear on it for us. He just grinded it overnight when we were sleeping. But we played Soul Calibur 3 a bunch. This was fun. And here's the both of them with the weapons I've assigned to them. Rosa John having a lance, and you have dual nunchucks. Kick ass. Thanks, Yoshi Mister. Appreciate it. Hell yeah. I mean, like, we already did so Like, Juker did Soul Calibur 6 for all the characters, so, like, it's not surprising that they work again in the other Soul Calibur games, but 3 did have a cool character creator mode, and you could, for some reason, create Cosmos. Because I guess Namco is just like, eh, we don't use this character enough. Fuck it. Throw our gear in there. Uh, da -da -da -da. Next up. Goat Rocket from Hypercole. Ready to blast off in action, it's the Goat Rocket! A move born from all the jokes about my fursona bonking into people, Cole can charge up for a fast and potentially painful attack, unless you somehow need a bit of bashing on the back. You're welcome, Rosa. It's by, Lu by Luigi's Green Missile from Smash Brothers. Thanks to everyone for who's been drawing my fursona, been loving all the varying styles and stories from this goat. Love y'all. 
Apparently now they've got a wiki page too. Cool. Thank you, Cole, for the green rocket. Goat rocket. Next up from Mika. I drew beef root cheering up pastel John after a long day. Been feeling kind of down recently, so I thought this was fitting. I originally wanted to draw this for Camille, since she's a part of Beefaroo and Pastel. On the other hand, I wanted to let you know that I've gotten into Pacross recently because of you. It was challenging at first, but it's become fun and addicting, so thank you for introducing me to it. Honestly, Pacross is a nice thing to do when it's like quiet and you need some chill time, so that's why I play it as much as I do. And there's the new one coming out soon, S7, eventually. So, yeah, good time to hop into it now. And hope you enjoyed it a lot more, Mika. Thank you for the lovely art. And hopefully you're dear blah, blah, blah. hopefully you will be feeling better soon. If you need to take a break, I understand. Cause I know you took a bit of a social media break a little bit back, so. From Isk oh sorry, yeah, from Iskabird. I thought the ponytail would look pretty. I am also here. <laughs> and there's and there's my lovely my lovely husband, slash wife in this case, Luca Rabbit. And Rosa Jess. Very nice, very, very nice Giska bird, very cute. Thank you so much. I just like the, I'm also here. From Dad, duh. Inspiration left me, I have no idea what to draw. Here, have this anyway. It still works, it's a lovely Jessica Rabbit Rosa. Thank you so much, Dad, as well. Wait, wasn't I the husband slash wife a little while ago? Am I an alt Luca? No, just, Rosa just, Rosa just apparently has a lot of husbands and wives. <laughs> at least, at least the Jessica Rosebud. What the bagel cam showed, what I, st oh my god. <laughs> okay, I mean, that's one way to see it. From Nico, first we were posted 22 and it's this. When I noticed the bagel cam, for some reason I thought the chair was John in some sort of racing suit, wearing the silicone boobs from the Rosa John costume and having bagel in his lap and I decided to draw what my mind had interpreted this as. To be fair, the stream's on my phone, and it was pretty far away from me at the time, so it was a bit easy to misread it. Had to set a lot of things aside at the end of the year, but this year I'm hoping to pick a lot of them back up. In between starting to clear games, work on side projects outside of work, and managing this after not being able to draw anything from the past month, so I'd say this has been a good start so far. Hoping 22 will be a pretty productive year for me. Alright, this is pretty funny. But I will also confirm, because this was tested back when I was wearing the, the costume parts, uh, there's not enough room in my lap if I'm wearing them damn things. <laughs> there is not much room for Bagel to enjoy, because he will eventually be squished. <laughs> so, especially because I slouch a bit. So, uh, no, this would never actually happen. <laughs> Thanks, Nico. <laughs> I love this was experimentally confirmed. Look, man, I had to test everything with the damn costume, and I figured Bagel being my lap was one of them. Racing outfit Rosa John cosplay when? All right, well, I'm gonna need a skin-tight racing suit, hips and butt to go with it, which apparently Maniacal fucking sent me a link to how to make your hips bigger exercises. Thanks, buddy, appreciate it. Uh, and bigger boobs, obviously, to go with it, because why not? So, uh, so probably never is what I'm actually saying. From Ryan Curtis, <laughs> shine in the name of tunes and smash everything to sketches. Big tune punch. That fight with Doom got me so hyped. Uh, so I got to thinking, what can I do to represent the fight that had to do with fists? Then I realized in Shin, uh, I was saying Mazinger, but I don't think that's right. Mazinger Z. Mazinger's finishing move is the giant fist of Zeus. I am not kidding dubbed the Big Bang Punch. That's a kick-ass name. So I decided to recreate the shot where Koji does the speech with John on the right, representing Koji and Eddie on the left, representing Zeus. Kick-ass. Thanks, Ryan Curtis. Appreciate it. John, you know your fans. It will happen. It always happens. Nah, it won't happen. No one sends me fake boobs, because that would be really weird, and they're weirdly expensive. So, no, it won't happen. I'm gonna go watch the Vodicea reaction when you first got the punch chain because I was busy at the time. Yeah, no, like, it was satisfying. The, the final attempt, we got, what, like, four punch chains going on? We didn't get it perfectly, but we... That last run was tense. It was tense. 
I've sent dumb things before. But yeah, but you did. But I paid you for those dumb things usually. From Ryan Curtis, reference for the previous post. Nice. Next up, from Blonde Lombax, the Acme Co. Booby Trap, tune tested, alt approved. For real, I'm surprised that bit of the movie wasn't brought up tonight. Eh, I had forgotten about it. So for those who don't know, in Who Framed Roger Rabbit, Jessica has a booby trap in between her cleavage. It's literally a bear trap just hidden in there in case anyone gets grabby. So I completely forgotten about that in the movie, but yeah, no, Rosa would probably have the equivalent. Thanks, Lombax. Next up from Junko, Chinese New Year Countdown Challenge Day 18, Aelita! With a little tiger tail, some tiger stripes, and just chilling on a little tiger blob chair. Cute, cute. Magfest 23, we're watching Roger Rabbit. Sure, I'm down. Like I said, I remember liking that movie. I was thinking about it, too. Some uh, some people were like, oh, you're just playing Roger Rabbit because of, of Jessica Rabbit. And, like, I watched that movie when I was, like, seven? So that was farthest from my mind. But at the same time, I was like, oh, I like her design. I wonder why. Uh, and then when I became much older, I'm like, oh, that makes sense. <laughs> so, yeah, it was just a little bit too early by a lot, but you get what I mean. Quick refresh check, and we've got one last picture from Tiger, I believe. <laughs> From Tiger. Felt like drawing Jen, vibe checking a tiger blob. You know, I feel like somehow Jen isn't much of a show off compared to all the other alts. Maybe that's why she doesn't show up as much. She's much more. I feel like Jen is the most that's actually female me. So she's just like, yeah, I'm gonna act pretty much the exact same as John. Just laid back, uh, gets angry at like the drop of a hat, which hence the, uh, the aggression part that she's usually showing. So yeah, I think it's just that. She's just still shy and revered to a point, but it's just manifested in a different way. Thank you, Tiger. I love that Tiger blob that has absolutely no idea that it's about to get yeeted into absolutely kingdom come. And the good news is that Jen's gonna score a goal for the team by using the, the wrist shot trick. Because apparently it always fucking works. Unless you hit the damn goalpost, which we kept doing constantly tonight. Alright folks, that's it for our plug. It was the hair. I mean, the hair was really nice. I always found it funny, too, because I'm like, yeah, I like Jessica Rabbit's physique, but she's like, she's super hourglass. She's got, like, no waist, and I'm like, no, I I like a waist. <laughs> she's got nothing. So it's still funny, but it's also, like, one of those, like, first kid crushes, so it makes sense. Someone else called out Tifa. Like, yeah, that was another one. What was the one? Because I got, there was a Twitter th trend for crushes a while back, and I was like, Jessica Rabbit, Tifa... Uh, Carmen San Diego from the cartoon, and I cannot remember what the fourth one I put was, but yeah, no, that all I definitely have a type. Sorry, the building is empty. God damn it! You know what? That's it's probably something that got repeated constantly in Roger Rabbit. That makes sense. Be careful what version you pick for movie night because there could be a vagina shot without warning. Yeah, I saw someone mention something about a VHS take of the game had a uh, had an undershot so fair enough we'll we'll be careful on that yeah i'm seeing a bunch of people saying sorry the building is empty yeah i think we're going with that i watched it by tricking my babysitter when i was a toddler i'm not kidding you amazing i remember me and my neighbor we used to my my dad and his dad were watching terminator 2 and there was a little, like, alcove wall into the living room that we would sneak next to and look in to watch the movie. Like, we could see the TV, but they couldn't see us. We were supposed to be in, like, the room playing, like, games, but we were just like, yeah, let's just see what Dad, Dad and Dad are watching. So, when I was a kid, uh, I am very much a nerd, and I always have been. Um, I wanted to watch Trading Places because it was a stocks movie even though there is at least one incredibly risque sex scene, if I remember correctly. Jesus. It's like, I didn't care for that. I just wanted to watch the socks, the stocks bit. <laughs> S 
Sorry the building is empty. Okay, so that was the message, the actual message in the game. Sorry the building is empty. Uh, let's see who's even live at this point. My parents took us to see it at an actual theater. My sister freaked out when Doom was crushed by the steamroller. I wasn't as terrified, but empathized with her enough to calmly ask her parents to take us out of the theater. We didn't, but it was still an amusing film for our dumb child minds. I mean, that's at the very end of the movie, too, right? Like, that's literally, like, what, five minutes from the end, if even? Uh, let's see here. Ooh, Honor and Glory sign, uh Rift Rex. Um, yeah, I see, your, I see your suggestion. Uh, Paul's playing Mario 3. That could tie into what we were talking about tonight. Mm. You know what? Yeah, I'm going to keep giving the, the dude a push because I want him to get it. I think he deserves it. We're gonna give the good Jared another another good push here because he's doing that partner push. Uh, sorry, the building is empty. Was that the message? Was that the whole thing? Sorry, the building is empty. Yep. The good Jared, aka the Hank Hill VTuber. Uh, he's currently playing Mega Man Legends One, and he's currently. Still Hank, but also wearing a Mega Man outfit, so it's kind of incredible. Uh oh. Now, tell you what, the building's empty. I'm assuming that our Mega Man's in another fortress. Dang it, Bobby. Dale? Oh, now that's a juker. I hope this isn't one of those god dang it raid viruses, Bobby. I tell you what, Ace Rocker, well. Thank you for the follow, but it does appear that the building is empty. The building is empty. Well, I'll just keep killing. <laughs> I love this guy. Dale, I love how well he can stay in character. It's that. genuinely impressive. Oh, God, he he does <laughs> a lot of voice acting stuff, but his Hank Hill is primo. I have no idea for, oh, it's no. It's don't, don't ridiculous how good it is. Yeah. I also love that he somehow got this rig for like the Mega Man outfit on top of it. Like that's 3D modeled. It looks like it's not just an overlay thing. I, I think it is. I, I'm pretty sure that it is 3D modeled. Yeah. But yeah, uh, I'll see you guys on Wednesday for... I guess we're calling it Cookie Jar. I'll find some some way to fully name it, but I think that's probably going to be it. Uh, subs, if you did not notice, today I made a post in the Discord giving you a chance to update your games for 2022 if you want, or if your game was played in 21 to make a new suggestion. So... Keep an eye on that as well. See I'll see you all next time. Not everybody. Hang on, I gotta jump back for a second. I gotta jump back for a second. God dang, uh, Mega Man Legend. <laughs> his countermeasures. Oh my god, his countermeasures. We've shown his countermeasures before, but the dancing Mega Man Hank Hill is new. And, uh, felt that needed to be shown on the VOD. If you're watching the VOD, uh, if you can, try to watch Jared's, the good Jared's streams, because they're pretty entertaining. <laughs> it's beautiful.